Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Bingus. All right, welcome back, you guys. <laughs> yeah, surely voice is not fucked, dude. <clears throat> um, okay, so we're gonna do some bingo practice. I'm not sure for how long. Like, I probably, uh, I probably won't stream as long as I did yesterday. Um, uh, but yeah, so some bingo practice, dude. There's there's a lot of changes that apparently have been made. Uh, I think we're gonna start at twelve. So before that, I'm I'm just gonna fight some uh, fight some millennia first, dude. Yeah, there's some new squares. There's there's an update to the mod, the uh, the the mod like they they give more graces now, and now I think there's a millennia square. Uh, what else is there? There's there's some new things, dude, that I'm sure we'll go over. Um, but yeah, for the next like twenty minutes, I'll just practice millennia for this nightmare kill because why not practice matches or any practice matches maybe, I, I don't maybe. think yet I'll give you the best but it, it seems like it's very easy to to set it up because um I don't know like that seems to be basically what everyone's doing right now is just practicing bingo so Who knows, man? I, I said yesterday I wasn't going to stream for that long, and then I streamed for a lot longer than I initially thought, and then, who knows, maybe today will be the same, and then I'll end up, like, finishing this nightmare or whatever run. Yeah, it's an early stream, because I, I woke up very early. And I wasn't really doing anything else, so... Um, Spleen, thanks for the 11 month resub, and uh, Houndar, thanks for the 50 month resub as well, dude. I'm still not really sure what to do for the. the jump attack thing, or like the double swipe. Because. Like I'm not sure if it's a if it's a timing based thing or what's going on, but maybe I should have rolled into that. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna start the bingo practice at about uh, probably in about like 15 minutes or so. If I imagine I if I just don't get hit, then I should actually be able to finish this fight before. But I think I still have some things to figure out. Definitely, this, this fight is more fun when you're doing it like this. I, I wonder, though, whoever designed this fight, like, whoever worked on this boss, imagine if they saw people fighting her like this. There's no way... 
Okay, so here. I'm not really... Not really sure what to do there yet. Yeah, there's no way they designed it to be fought like this, dude. No chance. Be funny to see a Miyazaki reaction. Uh, I just, I go on max settings, but I, I don't have the ray tracing on. Uh, Mil Sam. Maybe, Please maybe get away from the wall. I'll give you the best nut <clears throat> ever. Uh, Double Cheese, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. I think Millennia was actually designed for no hit runners. Um, that's not good. Uh, probably not. I think they just wanted to make a really hard boss, dude. And they, I don't know, like, I, th I think that's it. Uh, when she dashes with her sword, always roll backward to be in front. Maybe, uh, it doesn't maybe. really matter either way. I'll give you the best nut ever. I just find it, I think being in front of her is easier. But yeah, like, it, it doesn't, oh boy. Oh my god, dude. That's crazy. Um, One man, one tractor. Thanks for the eight-month resub, dude. Yeah, Axe is definitely not better here. No, I'm definitely doing worse today. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, did not get a, a fantastic sleep, but it's all good. Nearly got hit by that already. This fight is actually... It, it's... Because we get so many crits, it's actually not... Whoa. It's actually not that long. Or it shouldn't be, right? Like, our damage isn't too bad. And this is without the Physic or anything, so... Physic adds a good... I don't know what. Probably like 30% damage on the R2s. Uh, the Parry Strat's bad. The par Parry Strat is bad for any run that isn't... A run that's using black flame and we don't use black flame on this so yeah so so for the master run like this isn't the master run restriction this is without status or black flame but yeah pairing's the best for that i think just because it gives you a lot of openings like guaranteed openings well, that was not good but for normal millennia fights pairing is just worse usually why did I do that whoops I did not mean to do that Yeah, like I've been saying, though, the last few days, I think eventually I might do a run. I might do this run, but no hit for all great runes. Possibly. Oops. Uh, Sean, how's it going, dude? I think a charge R2 is fine on that, as, but I can't do, like, a charge R2 into a tap R2 on it. At least not every time. Wait, no torches work? What do you mean? What would I use a torch for? <laughs> You're saying on this? I, I guess I should also probably try to stay out of the water, but... It's not... Like, it's not a huge deal. Uh, this is level 1, plus 0, no stat boosting, no status effects on NG plus 7. So... Normal level 1 millennias go a little bit faster than this, you could say.
Oh, dude. Actually handcuffed right there. <laughs> That's insane. I think I think my uh I almost had some parry muscle memory right there. That's what I'm kind of concerned about doing this kill right now is that it's it is a little conflicting with the normal master run kill, but it should be fine. That was not a good roll. Yeah, I wanted I want to do a lot of these kills. Maybe not with like this intensive restrictions, but something similar. Uh, but just killing killing the bosses with a bunch of different weapons instead, instead of just like the best weapon for this run. Whoops, I should have done that. Probably just kidding. Spending watching any March Madness. I'm not really super into basketball, so probably not. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Okay, please get away from the wall. I can't remember if she can do a front flip after that. Uh, the DK, thanks for the burning prompt sub, dude. I appreciate that. That was a, an atrocious roll. She's not quite a modder foul yet, but I'd rather her not next to the wall. There's a lot of situations where you'd think you're able to use Flaming Strike, but then she can just cancel with like an immediate kick. Which is kind of dumb, but... I guess she's known as the Canceler for a reason. Uh, Block Flame's not a status effect, but I'm not going to use it on this run because... Not really the point. The, the whole point is to not use it, basically. Not use that percentage damage. But but no, like a status effect is something where there's a build up and um an enemy would have like a resistance to it. Black Flame's definitely not a status effect. Yeah, one day, I mean, one day for sure, I'll be good enough at all these bosses to, um, like, consistently no-hit them all with these types of restrictions. Because that's, that is basically what I did in Dark Souls 3, right? I definitely have to get significantly better, though, <laughs> than... Where I'm at right now. Just drink here, I guess. That was not good. Kind of messing up a lot of those rolls. Because I guess the angle... Angle's like... It's not precise, but... I don't know. goes any poise build up I had. It's probably also a lot of 
um, improvements that I could make how I fight her with this setup. Because I'm just not... I don't know. Like, usually I fight her with the bigger weapons, and also when you're doing no hit runs, at least when I do them, usually I'm not... Um, like, I'll opt for the safer punishes rather than being as aggressive as this. Just because, you know, especially... Especially when you're not doing low damage runs like this, then... I don't know. Like usually you don't go insane on a no hit run. Maybe but maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. What was I even saying? I don't even know. Uh Banksy, thanks for the nine month prime sub, dude. But yeah, basically. That's what I was saying. I, I think I was saying that I can improve a lot at the fight. Especially with a setup like this. Oops. The image here really isn't that bad. Like, and that was with no physic, too. So now, I guess I'll use the physic. It's this phase. I, I think it makes more sense to use the physic in this phase, because it you get more punishes, so... It's better use, probably, here. That's the tricky part here, is just, when you're fighting her like this, is actually being able to see. No, Brie, I mean, Brie can take her time. I don't know if she's started stream yet or something, but. There's no rush at all. Uh. Bit of rebuff here, probably. big shield in my, in my view when she jumps up in the air. Dude, I actually kind of do want to be playing Minecraft right now, man. Hopefully wouldn't mind that. Yeah, this setup is good. Like, this is a very... Like, look at the damage we've dealt so far, man. It's probably... We still have the Physic active, so it hasn't even been three minutes yet. Oh boy. That was some bad stamina management there. Buff, I guess. Some of these punishes, you, you kind of have like, you kind of have a choice on whether to do a charged attack or not. Because in, in some cases, like, if you do... Because it, it's RNG whether or not she jumps up uh, on a on a lot of the follow-ups, right? If you do... 
you, you could do a fully charged attack, but it just wouldn't consistently hit. But a tap R2 hits every time, so... I'm not sure what's actually the best thing to do. Why do I feel like this is the first waterfowl in phase two? I am, I'm also fairly certain we're getting headshots on some of these. Like, you can hear the headshot sound. Alright, well, I'm not sure if I should kill her or not, but... I don't even think that was 10 minutes, was it? Jesus, dude. This is such a good setup here. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I should go do like a parry kill now to make sure I don't forget how to do that. I think it just rusted. Whoops. Oh, boy. Oh, oh my God, dude. Again, Ensha. Oh, dude, I need Millennia's weapon. <laughs> That's the whole reason why I killed her so early. God damn it, dude. What is this supposed to be? Like, just her. Coffin, or like her grave or something. She died and she planted a flower. Torch damage really that bad? Um, I did a torch only run and it, it wasn't, uh, like the tor torch R2 is pretty solid. So, that being said, torches are still not good weapons. But, in certain cases, they can be useful, especially early game if you're looking for fire damage or something. I just want this armor set. I feel, I feel like... Not a bad armor set. Um, okay. Go burn the Ur tree, I guess. Does she not do phantom attack? It's it's simply because it's a ranged attack, and I stayed within range the entire time. Oh, deity, thanks for the, uh, dude, the $30. Holy shit, dude. You could've... I didn't even see that you said that. You could've gotten away with just not doing it, but yeah, thanks so much, dude. You do not have to do that. Alright, so, um... I guess let's go into Farmazula, and then Ensha will leave. I have long observed this world and death. Yeah, like I said, though, I, I wanna... I wanna do a lot of these fights with different types of weapons, and just... Because Millennia, I was saying yesterday, Millennia is a fight where the fight totally changes depending on what you're fighting her with. Yeah, we, we are doing bingo practice today, random streamer. It's just, I started slightly early. I think we're we're going to start at 12, which is, I guess, four minutes ago. But um, just whenever Bree messages me, then we'll start. But I just, I just wanted to fight Millennia for a couple minutes, and I guess I ended up winning. I wasn't actually, I didn't think I was going to beat her, but no, well, not in that 20 minutes that we had. Um, I have this one. Yeah, I love smashing my balls into Millennia's face, dude. My my flaming balls. Oh, 
12 is in 50 minutes. Well, where I'm at, it's five minutes ago. Yeah, I didn't left hand my balls on this one, dude. Usually, usually you left hand your balls, though. Usually that's the play. Oh, yeah, no, the, the balls are insane on her, dude. Like, and, and if I had more stamina as well, there's a lot of extra R1 punishes that you can throw in there. So, so for example, if you're fighting with the balls, let's say you're just fighting her normally, and you, you actually have decent stamina and all this stuff. Um, if you... So, if, so, for example, on her front flip attack, you can very easily get off an R1 and then R2, like charge R2 and then tap R2 very easily. And there's a lot of those extra punishes you can fit in when fighting her with fists because they don't stun her, right? The normal R1 isn't enough poise damage to, or not enough stance damage to, like, get the stuns. Or the micro stuns, whatever you want to call it. So... I think, I think Bree's streaming now, right? Just let me know whenever she's ready to start and then we will start. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Hello from Turkey, less than three. Uh, Nur, I cannot. Thanks for the two month resub. I appreciate that. Thanks so much, dude. All right, finally, Ench is gone. So... I'm here for the Hand of Millennia because I'm going to skip Godskin Duo for now. I, I will fight them later, but honestly, I, I, can, I will be able to beat everything else for the All Great Runes run 100%. Uh, just the only thing, I'm I'm just not feeling like millennia, or not feeling like fighting gods can do just yet. I'll probably do them at the end, so. Now, the real question is, do I remember the skip setup here? Because I practiced it a while. There's one no-hit run where I was considering using it, the Asthma Gold run. And I had a really nice setup. Like, nice mouse and keyboard setup, but there's... I, I'm not sure if I remember it, dude. Let's go on his ass. Maybe we should get the grace down here first. Just for when we eventually do fight them. Yeah, the rest, the rest of the run, I mean, there's going to be Gideon, which I'm going to die to. 100%, but... But, yeah, I mean, the rest of the bosses should be fine. Alright, apparently Breeze ready. She said she's ready, but she's not answering. <laughs> Damn, dude. Hello? Hello? So I, I I I didn't realize that I was playing with the bingo master here. Me? I was, wa I was, I was watching the the practice games the other day, and it was. I'm I'm in good hands, clearly. You think so? I, That's yeah, very I think nice so. of you to say. I I did win all the practice matches this week. Yep. With my partners, so that was <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. Um, I did have good partners. I will say that they were they were also good. But I feel like we okay, made being too modest, strong. Okay. I think we I think we made some strong decision making together and I think between you and I we mm. could do some damage. I think so too. I think so too. Someone said to me um I think both yesterday and the day before. So I've never properly learned Millennia's close range waterfall fall dodge. I've done like a long mid-range one. 
just because I've never no hit her um, yeah. like extensively. Someone was like, oh, that's fine. Just let Gino do it. I'm like, no, that's I'm not, I'm not <laughs> using Gino as an excuse to not learn. <laughs> but two people said that to me. They're like, oh, it's fine. Gino will do it without leveling or dying or upgrading his weapon. And I'm like, just, no, <laughs> I'm going to learn it. Well, um, <laughs> so we got the... Is it the Halig Tree Roots Grace that we get? Like the one right next yes, to her? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so, so, yeah. Yeah. So, we have some things to talk about. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not you... I'm not fully up to date on everything, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know how much you've been talking with your chat, and, like, you've been updated on some of the tentative rules, right? So, nothing set in stone, but they've been playing around with the line system, which I know we spoke about briefly. Hmm. Um, but to update everyone officially, uh, in the previous practice matches this week, um, we were testing out a system where bingo lines are no longer a win condition, but they give you more points. The amount of points that they give per line is still to be determined, but I think we've all kind of settled on two so far. So imagine this, when you get a bingo line in any direction, it's five squares, right? Yeah. But instead of it just being five points leading towards that final 13 that we've been striving towards you're now getting seven points right you're getting yep. you're getting two squares that don't exist on the board that your teammates cannot get so it's it's pretty two powerful points. yes two points um now it's a question of is that too much is that too little mm. i haven't really gauged that from other players yet i know when dom introduced the system he was thinking four i yep. think four is a little uh i think four is a little intense and i know maybe, three was like oh well that can lead to tie conditions but it should ever. never lead to a tie condition because it's the first to 13. so whoever yeah, clicks yeah, that the... square first like it there it doesn't matter it's the first to 13. yeah now i've had other conversations and i don't know how you feel about this but i'd like to get your input maybe um i have had some conversations with people about maybe if there is a bingo on the board available for the other team, we cannot win until that's blocked. That would be uh, another way yeah. that, yeah. So that was that was like another conversation. I don't know how I feel about it myself. I'm kind of like meh, 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 meh. Um, but I think putting more weight on the line would. I think three might be good because it's a yeah, bingo. Yeah. We're in a bingo league, brother. Yep. You're right. <laughs> I, I yeah. yeah I think I was saying between three and five. Oh my god! Oh, oh. but yeah, Sorry. just but yeah, no, three and three to four I think is probably perfect. Yeah, I think three. I think two is too little just because. Yes. Um, I, I I like bingo and if. Um. I think for it to play the role that they're hoping and primarily, I feel like. Um, when we've had conversations about this with other players, I feel like it's more of been like, well, it's a hope. Like, you can have a comeback if you're getting steamrolled. But, like, yeah. how much is two points going to help you when you're being steamrolled? Yeah. So, I, I, yeah. I, I think if we're trying to make it as, like, more of a Hail Mary act of desperation, like, final stride to, to come back, then it should be worth three. And I do think that like the waiting makes it more exciting for everyone, and it puts more pressure on the players. It, it allows us to create more pressure mm. for our competitors. Yep. I just think it's obviously more powerful. So, I maybe am leaning towards the three point. But two, honestly, Gino, two two was really good too. Pup and I, well, yeah. okay, Pup and I won. Yeah, I um, saw it. Yeah, yeah, kind I... of kind of because of it i mean obviously it was because of it but also because the other team made a mistake mm -hmm. um yeah i saw that too <laughs> yeah so yeah so um another important thing is we did clarify that if one person makes a mistake where they mismark and they don't unmark it in the time that they've mismarked mm. um the other teammate cannot go complete the square it is off the table for oh. everyone and so at first, I was like, ooh, like, should it be that way? Because, like, you're penalized huh. for the mistakes of your competitor. But simultaneously, I just think you'd create a lot of drama. Like, if if your teammate could go <laughs> and finish it. Like, let's just say um, I mismark, like, center square or something. And yeah. then, like, I unmark it five minutes later. And then you have an opportunity. Like, maybe you could have, like, gotten closer in proximity, etc. Like, I, I think that people would be a little worried or not worried but dramatic about like oh that was intentional 
Because I had that happen to me last season. I don't know if you um, watched my match with Bushy. But um, uh, I mismarked the square. Yeah. And I had counted it. And it took me I, it took me like a couple minutes to realize that I made a mistake. And I, my chat caught the mistake before the referees yeah. caught the mistake. So then it was a guaranteed um, square. And the line that Bushy got to push towards it was pretty good and he had a lot of priority on all the squares and then he had a little bit of an incident with fia's champs right mm -hmm. and i came back and i swooped up a million squares because he was pushing towards fia's champs and then we ended up tying and right. there was a couple people who accused me of doing that purposefully mismarking <laughs> a square i'm like yeah. are you kidding i literally was almost in tears I was yep. so embarrassed i would never do that but i think it's a similar situation where you'd have people being like uh, it just kind of stinkers about it, so. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I, I think... Yeah, I think the team being locked out of a square if it's mismarked is what makes the most sense, probably. Or, well, I, I don't remember... Remember at the end of Season 1, people were saying that... Or maybe it just... I, I can't remember. Maybe I had the idea, but saying that the other team shouldn't even know. Like, so, so let's say you complete a square and then you don't mark it for whatever the amount of time is, like 30 seconds or a minute. The other team shouldn't know about it so that it doesn't affect the strategy. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. I would have to look at the rules as to how long you have to mark a square now. Because it's it's short. So yeah, it's like, a miss mark, a miss mark, you have to correct within, I think it's three seconds. Three, um, well, yeah, if you click it and then it's yes, wrong, right? Yes, if you click it and you're like, three oh, Three seconds? Shoot. I think it's just like something really, 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 really <laughs> steep. That's yeah. okay. Because that was Jeez. to prevent strategic mismarking. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, like you could be wasting upwards of like a minute of, of someone's time if it was closer to 60. 60 oh, yeah. No, I, yeah, I was thinking more like 10 would be reasonable, but, or yeah. No, I, I guess I three makes look. sense because someone it's, could like be doing something and then fast travel away because they saw that it was finished already exactly. or something. So. It could be like, because we make decisions really quickly. We see a square get stolen. It's like, oh, shoot, I need to move on quickly. Yeah, that makes um, sense. But yeah, I think it was three seconds last season. I have to revisit the uh, the full rule set. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, but yeah, okay. So I think those were important conversations. Um, I think we should talk about the new graces. I think we should talk about the new smithing system. I don't know if you've played around with the new mod. No, um, I haven't, but I did see that it was sw swapped to, like, one stone, right? And you yes, gotta start with smoothing like, stone weapon? Yep, yes, exactly. Just like the normal randomizer that we're used to, um, if you do the reduced smithing stone pathway. Um, there are some, like, optimal pathways to pick up some stones quickly, and you're pretty aware of them. I mean, it's not, like, too far off from, like, an iron balls road, so to speak. Um, there's some other, like, if you're going underground, or if you're going to Kaelid, or if you're going so-and-so, there's different pickups to prioritize. Um, but there's there's pretty good availability of of a few different options, at least to get like a plus six or a plus twelve, so to speak. Well, yeah, there's um, a lot of those triple pickups, right? Like in yes. Liurnia, you have the mm -hmm. you have a bunch the of the Z threes, boys. and then you mm -hmm. got a bunch of the twos that are, and you only need three, right? So exactly, yeah. The 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 triple bunch actually works really nicely with the system, um, and I do think that you know it does give the chance for a smithing weapon. But I still found I think in every match I I used a a somber weapon i believe um but i'm not finding myself but i guess i played kind of an odd role i'm not finding myself going past like plus six very often um yeah obviously it depends on you know are we getting borealis are we getting vike etc but um so far i've been doing most of the boards with like a plus six plus four plus six um but yeah that's a big change the squares are the squares that we got are a big change, and then the squares that are removed were some big changes. So I don't know if you saw both of those sets, but we had some additions and some removals as well. Yeah, I didn't see those, but okay. So they removed a bunch of the early game rush squares. Okay. Um. So they got rid of. I'll pull it up really quick. Um. They you know what the version of, of the bingo randomizer is right now because i'm not sure if i have the latest one let me look to see if it says anything um bingo randomizer it doesn't have like a a version number um i i downloaded okay. it on march okay, I'm, yeah i'm getting march them confused 18th. 
Okay, yeah. I think I have the most up to date one. Yeah, March eighteenth is when I got okay, the. Okay. okay, excellent. Um, and then when we look at the list, so um, did you look at the added at all? Um, I did not, but it's it like well, millennia, it's kind of something I'll just see. That. I'll just see it when we we're doing boards and okay. Unless there's something stupid, like I I hate the there, yes, the, there is there is one that's oh. like fucking stupid. Okay, well, okay, sure. What is it? Both Estelles. It's not one. Estelle. Okay, no, that's fine. But it, no, I, I mean more like Estelle's. ones that I wouldn't know how to do. Like oh, if there's something okay, um, that I don't know where it is. Moon of Noxtella pickup maybe would be a little odd for you. No, I know where that is. It's fine. Like um, in and then, Nox yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you backtrack from Lake of Rot. So we don't get that Noxtella Grace anymore. You have just have to go oh. backwards essentially and then go past the like silver ball, which I still have to find an optimal uh, line for that. Um, so you, so you have to run all the way back to the start and then go up the stairs, right? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. And so there's also something <laughs> okay. else there. Okay. There's so six. there's there's the somber stones additionally. Yep. yep. And then there's also the bell bearing. So they added um a bell bearing two line for grave and ghost glove war yeah, bell the bearings. Chest. Yep. So if you go all the way up to the top of stairs to the left in a chest, there's the bell bearing. Yep. I don't know which one it is. I don't really care. Um, Wait, all the way up the stairs, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like once you get up to the very top, you go to the left, I believe, like to the first top of the yeah. um so there's a first left door right there's yeah like, it's the second left door up, right it's the second left door yeah 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 okay excellent good and then um, wait so you have to get the other one too right the yes so the other the one is catacomb in, yeah so then you have the backwards mountaintop so i did this the other day in one of my matches um you have to backwards mountaintops past the golem archer past the prelate into the yeah, like yeah, yeah. side catacombs yep. with the tree spirit yeah so the only thing for that catacomb is it's just a little like some like it's not that confusing you know it because you've done a bunch of all bosses runs so yeah just going through it and being aware of the pathway i think that's the most important thing for that and then it's just you know regular style tree spirit um the tree spirit gives a named ash i think maybe nope i lied i lied i'm thinking of something else i'm thinking of something else never mind forget what i said it's a tree <laughs> okay. spirit that's all you need to know and then you get the yeah, bell yeah. bearing um miss beyond crusaders you know whatever um okay hallie tree medallion is nile you can do tree skip for that to oh castle i'm gonna Snow. have to practice that then okay i have a good lineup if you want to see it i i learned it for the armament bounty and it it's i can do it so that means anyone can do it <laughs> um okay that is my rule of thumb um <laughs> and then yeah so the smithing stone weapons square you know how it used to be plus 12 yep it's plus 16 now because it's so fast. Okay. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, faster. So, <laughs> so have, you, have you guys figured out like where is the best pickup for that? Or because you need... A... I didn't even know. I didn't even ask how you're feeling. No, that's okay. How are you feeling? <laughs> no, I... <laughs> it was just straight to business. No, today. no, no. I, I, I get that so question bad. too much at this point. I'm, I'm okay, fine. I'm sure you're like, okay, chat. I'm done with the question. I'm fine. I'm gonna post a pin message. Do not ask me how I'm feeling. Yeah. I will survive. Okay, excellent. All right, never mind. Fuck you. I hope you feel. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 okay. Um. So, so the fives. Okay. Um. Old Altus Tunnel. Yeah. You might know something about that tunnel. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Um. It has the somber stones and it has three fives in it, right in the first area. Yep. Um, and then the falling star beast tunnel in Caled has three fives. Well, probably more than three fives, but it definitely has three fives. Like the the drop from the boss, right? Or you just pick them up? I can't remember. So to get to falling star beast now, you don't typically teleport. So you just go to inner Aonia yeah, yeah. and then into the precipice. Uh, no, the tunnel. Sorry, that's the word. And then um, it's just in that open area when you first when you first walk in with all the pests. But also if you go up, so if you don't do the skip um, and you go up the like ladder road, mm. there's like a little alcove essentially that you can um, pick some up. There is an enemy that you have to be aware of, uh, a miner, and then the pest will see you as well. So when I pick them up, I usually do quit out, unfortunately. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, it depends on what you're doing. If you have health, whatever. But if you don't have health, which you typically don't there. Um, it's a little precarious, but that's about it. Um, so those are more fives. 
those are the ones that like exist in my brain as options for the plus 16 and then smithing stone six uh <laughs> um the only one that like immediately i think of is radon arena or radon red main prior to radon in the little chapel after jaren oh yeah okay well so there's that's... there's some i feel like a statue in altus has some or, or like and same with the oh a breakable one yeah with with the rune mm. bear i think but i'm just oh like by the ariza side tomb area? yeah apparently there's two there uh, yeah and yeah i yeah, remember yeah. some being in the tunnel with the bell bearing If only Map Genie was actually accurate. I know. <laughs> and it's like the way that they like pile on um certain indicators like on top of each other, it's a little frustrating, but it happens. Well, it's just uh, they they don't even say there's any smithing stones in Old Altus tunnel. So What? <laughs> there's six fives really? apparently in Yeah, it just <laughs> okay, it says there's nothing great. in there. Well, no, there definitely is. Yeah, there's a lot. I was in there like two days ago. Um, let's see. I'm gonna pull this up too. It's too bad there's never a reason to go into the ruin strewn precipice anymore because that's where I know, there's like a no, bunch of there's Makar is completely useless. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, uh, I think that's kind of it, should, it is inaccessible. I was almost like wishing they'd give us a grace there. Just because it is another magma worm, it's a curved great sword check. It has a million smithing uh, stones, as you mentioned. I just think it, it like it is a cool area for some of the tasks, mm. but yeah. Um, oh, I didn't know there were smithing fives there. Where? In By a tunnel? worm base. Oh well, there's. Oh, a somber. It's a somber. Oh, it's a somber. There's, in the there's tunnel, there's somber things, five but there? yeah, it's it's circled by a bunch of the oh uh, the bitty weird the, guys. The mini, the mini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mini pukers. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one. I feel like this is the one that is meant to be old Altus tunnel, and it's in the complete wrong location. It's in the complete wrong location. Six times smithing stone five. I think that's the old Altus one, and it's showing Altus tunnel. No, I no. There's a bunch of smithing fives in there too. Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. But okay. So so I guess if we're doing bell bearings, and there's also a couple of somber stones in there as well. Where are the other sixes to get though? Doesn't the that's a great question. I don't know. The doesn't the to falling that. star beast in Altus drop? Like he definitely drops a bunch of oh stuff. You might be right. The he one definitely next drops to sixes. Tree sentinel duo. Yeah. Hmm, that's a great question. You might be right on that. I killed them the other day, and I do remember getting a bunch of stones, but I couldn't tell you for sure what they were. Volcano hmm. Manor for sixes, Hyperion? Where are they in Volcano oh, Manor? Oh, yeah, yeah, and there's some... I think there's a bunch of fives here, too. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, there are. There, so, do you know where the... Like, you know that town where the... Like, instead of jumping on the roof, you go to the right? By the seal and stuff? Yeah, more the upper part where the um, abductor is. Dude is. Yeah. Some stuff uh, up there. And then I remember there being mm. near the pots directly beneath that. There's I, there's some more there too. Okay. So you know what? These are probably the fastest sixes to get. In Volcano Manor. What is this one? I think if you're not Oh, going there's to one upstairs me. next to Giza as well. Oh, yeah. And we only need the one. So, I mean, I guess the, the two best choices would be, you know, if you're if you're going to Red Main for a reason, there's that one yeah. there. And if you're going to Volcano for a reason, there's those there. So I think that would be good pickups. I'll have to look at the, just briefly the pickup locations. And then Link is saying that the Falling Star Beast drops a somber five and five times smithing six. Yeah, so, that sounds and that, right. That sounds right based off what I remember. So that could be huge, actually, for getting a really good upgrade. <laughs> if you if you need a... I mean, it's not like that boss is super hard, so... um, There is also the full-grown Falling Star Beast. 
Um, but I don't maybe, think that's ever maybe, worth going for because you have to do this like super super ridiculous ever. jump. Yeah, yeah. It's like I looked into it. It's just not worth. Well, what do you even? What? <laughs> how many stones do you get there? Like, do you get sevens um, from him? No, it's just the same thing. I think. I think it's this like the same. That's so. Wait, Link, are you talking about full grown? Or are you talking about the baby falling star? Because this the, map is trash. The Altus falling star definitely does drop the sixes. Like I'm pretty certain yeah, of that. I would agree with that, and it's not on the map. But then, of course, the full grown one is because. You know, that's how it is. Um, what did I miss here, dude? Uh, Kipo, thanks for the brand new prime sub, and you know, thanks for the brand new prime sub okay. as well. Yeah, I'll need to go into Volcano Manor and, and look at the uh, the six myself, but yeah, those seem very reasonable. Um, anything else that you had questions about, or do we want to get into boards and just like try it out? Well, I kind of want to go see where the where the fastest sixes would be because sure, and, let's and do I that. guess yeah. I'll and, load and so up, uh, fours though. Save file. Fours? Yeah, where the fastest um, fours be? The fastest fours are in Kaled. They are behind O'Neill. I'm sure there's other options, but there is the um, three times on the like noble chairs when you are going towards like the death right bird and the merchant. Oh really? And, okay. Yeah. So on the little um, lake shore. Like there's there, three fours there. There's three fours there. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, and then there's also a somber stone right by it as well, the somber stone four, and it's yeah, on yeah. a beetle. Pup is practicing that jump. I'm gonna be honest. I just don't ever see myself going for the full-grown falling star beast over the baby falling star beast. Like, if you look at the proximity, so we get old. Oh, I'm not showing you guys anymore. If you look at the proximity, this is the grace that we get, old Altus Junction. If you go here. This is the proximity to this baby falling star beast. And if you go to Altus... Oh, we get the junction now? Or was, was that the same yeah, as before? we get the junction. Um, one important thing that you need to know about the new version of the mod is that it does not activate the Radon Festival immediately anymore. Okay, yeah, so, I think I heard that. Yeah, you need to activate a different grace. Um, it doesn't matter. To my knowledge, it can be any other Altus grace, but you do have to activate one of them. And that does allow you to access, you know, the, the Crucible Knight duel early, theoretically. I agree, for, agree with that because it, it's a nice Uchi check. Um, and it's it's pretty damn accessible with the grace that we get. And yeah, there's smithing stones. And it also gives you like backwards access towards third church. So you can yeah, do... Yeah, that's true. Um, and yeah. then in addition, so I was told the other day uh, that if you touch the stringy, the like warp stringy thingy, it actually brings you back to the front. So then it, you could get, um, you know, further access to the avatar, to the catacomb that's right there, to a bunch of other Caleb bosses, to the isolated merchant for ritual pots, bellberry hunters, you know, etc. It's kind of a nice Caleb area. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not writing off that square as like, oh, that's a bad magma worm because I still think it's pretty decent. Yeah, just uh, he's he's really tanky is the problem. Like no, for, he's not. He's easy as hell, Gino. But if you if you don't have a good upgrade, <laughs> it's not like some early game boss kill that is I did it not. Do. I did it plus zero as like my second yeah, square the other day. But, you, I can but with which weapon? Yeah, well, I had a spike club. Yeah, bleed's good, but I I don't know. I well, I think and bleed, yeah. Like it, it can make sense to do early, but definitely yeah, preferable so to it, do him with a decent weapon. I did it with uh, I had tunnels available right so i did i did that tunnel and then i immediately did falling star beast and there's bell bearings oh. on the board right so we don't so get foot of the forge anymore either we do not get foot of the forge anymore yeah mm. okay and then we got ruined labyrinth as well yeah let's <laughs> that's talk about weird. that let's talk about that i think that's an important one that we discuss so do you know the uh the statue jump or the tree jump for for what Okay, so like to get the, to the madness town? Yes, to get to the avatar. Maybe maybe um be the best nut ever. I guess you I don't. Okay. I miss your beautiful Do you want me to show it to you? Sure. All right. Let me load my game quick. Like it's just a faster way to get up to him? Yep. 
it's a very very easy way because you otherwise have to like i don't I, it's a very long path around even if you can get around i don't even know if you can get up there without yeah you just walk around maneuver i think yeah you have to walk around to the left then mm -hmm. but the statue jump is is pretty quick so let me load a save state that would have yeah we'll do this one do you want me to share my screen or do you just want to pull up the uh, i stream? could just pull up your stream okay I won a game with Lightning Ram the other day. That that's insane. That's a funny thing. Oh wow. Okay, so forgive me, I'm not like an expert at this jump yet. Okay. Um so we go. So there's actually a couple of things that I should show you here, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple of things first. So we're you're by the mausoleums. Obviously, these are not dupe mausoleums, so um that's not something to be like worried about. But this here is a small shield pickup. It's no, the, the spiral horn. Yep, yep. So for parries, that is a very, very, very quick uh, small shield check. That's the quickest that we have available now because we don't have South Rhea anymore. Yeah, yeah. Previously, South Rhea would have been the quickest, but not anymore. Um, and then let me just go. I believe it's this way that I have to go. Surely there's like another jump that's faster. And where I'm, you know, holy shikati! Do you know I'm lost? Yeah, I think you're going down. <laughs> you're going down. Do you know, around. do you know I'm lost? Oh no no! Hold on. This is right. Yeah, I think so. There's not like a more direct. Yeah, there it is. So there's surely a jump that we can do to get up here. I just haven't like. Oh yeah, really I just did it. Lab that yet? Yeah, so, yeah. um, there's like a way to like. Did you do this statue jump? No no no. Okay, so there's a way that like you can actually just jump to that statue from the ground, but I just like to do this, and okay. then you get all the way up here, and you do like a, um, a stationary jump. Yep. And then you do another stationary jump to that, and then you just jump here, and then you're at the avatar. Okay. So that is like without a doubt one of the fastest avatars, and it gives you three tiers. Yeah. Right. So, pretty important one. Um, and then, of course, Frenzy Village access. Um, there is Vike the Invader. There is a cheese for Vike. Um, I have not done it yet myself, but you can you can cheese them like every other invader. You can cheese them off the edge. Yeah. Because they're. Uh, and then there's the tier. There's in theory like the maiden there, but I don't think you'd ever really need a maiden anymore because they gave us access to Mogwim, essentially. Um. So. Wait, what? Oh yeah. So oh yeah, with the snowfield, field. you're saying. Okay, and yeah, then yeah. so with the sanguine invader there, you can cheese him as well. There's multiple cheese spots, but you can cheese that one. And then you, go, yep. <laughs> I just like, I don't mind them because invaders are, are are stupid. But like, I just it gets annoying to be like, yeah, there's a cheese for this and a cheese for this and a cheese for that and a cheese for him. Well, there, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Just just yep. assume it's an invader. It can probably be killed with gravity, um, including yep. all the Mogwin white masks. Yep. Um, okay, so then the only other thing that you'd want to know in this area, I think. Sorry. Let me just, let me just go. Um, I think the only other thing would be there's a talisman. Somewhere. <laughs> okay. It's towards the other edge of the lake. You, what happens if you clean these ones? What do they do? The ones that don't have the bell? I don't know if I know the answer. I honestly have no idea. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever... I haven't taken one out since probably my first playthrough, so... Same. Exactly. Watch this, though. Holy, what a cool guy. I love that. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Wait, so a, ta a talisman where? Somewhere. Somewhere West side where, of the pond, though? West here. West side oh, of the pond and up a bit. <laughs> so up here, Hyperion? Oh yeah, there's the the horn charm, right? Or yeah, something like that. There's a grace up here. Wow, look at that. Very cool. Oh, you can dupe non shard bearer remembrances. So all the trash oh. bosses. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can either parkour up or go around from behind. Okay, well, I guess there's a talisman somewhere around here, and we have nine Wait, so talismans. is there still that square to dupe a remembrance or whatever? Yes. yes. So you, you can use these guys, but just only if... It's a non shard bear. Do you want to see Castle Soul Skip at all? 
Um, well, I, I know how to do it. I just don't have a good setup for it, but you can We'll see show if I can even you do it today in front of you. We'll see if I'm good under pressure. So apparently there's a talisman um, overlooking the pond somewhere where I was. So. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, so I know um, where it is. So to get here, I just go north of the grace that they give us. And then, hold on, this is like super chunky armor, so you can't see shit. Okay. Um, I just go till my left foot is like hanging off the edge like that. Okay. And then I just jump, and then I wait a second, and then I jump again. And then you have to land on this. Yeah, okay. I mean... It's pretty straightforward. That's, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's exactly the, what I do, usually. I'm not screen sharing, no. Gino's just watching my stream. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the most important thing is just, like, slightly delay your second jump. That's about it. Um, I looked into the painting in Castle Soul because there is painting rewards. Yep. Um, okay. You can hit one of the ballista archers with a kukri, and then the other one doesn't really respond to kukris, and there is no good angle for me to hit him with a kukri. So it's a... It's it's an it's it's there for sure. I don't know if I would rush it. Um, I also tried to like look into. So I found a way that you can actually. Oh shoot! I needed to do it from being up there. But so like you can jump onto this, but then it's like out of bounds kind of, and I don't think it would be allowed because like you're clipping through assets of the game if you go up yeah. here. But then I got down to that roof and then I went over to like here <laughs> and I tried to get on top of that. And then I was also clipping through assets because then you could almost jump to the center thing from the rooftops. But I think it would be disallowed because yeah, like I was clearly out of, out of bounds. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I tried to look into the painting. Like I did find a way to like get to it, but it is a kind of a pain. And then it's on one of the bridges, the pickup. Is, is it? Is it how many paintings is it now? Is it three? Okay. Yeah, Gino is in the room with us. Mm hmm. Mm, what else? What else? What else do I feel like you should know? Oh, okay. Do you know the Halig tree pickup rune? Um, which one? <laughs> I'll show you. The it is the new Noxtella. Like, I know there's a big one down below. Is that the one you mean? Yeah, the Lord's Rune. Okay. And then um, there is, I think, a Newman's Room. Um, so it's just insanely easy to get plus 10 now, I guess, right? Like. Yeah, because there's the, the 10 down the hallway or the 9 down the hallway or whatever it is by the Crystallians. But yeah, plus 9. I don't know the optimal plus 9. That's on my list to, to rework that now that we have different graces. And has uh, anybody checked... Is it possible to backtrack to Loretta? You, Gino. Well, so, I mean, isn't there a Loretta Square or something? I forget. Uh, sorry, what was the question? Well, there's a there's a Loretta Square, right? But or is it only that one? There, there is a Loretta, but I think it might be Blue Loretta. It isn't. There's a wall. Is it? Oh, it's not possible. Very interesting. Okay, so obviously I, I don't I'm sure you saw where I was, but I think this is a Newman. So twelve and a half. And then down the hallway, I believe right here is the Crystallians, and then the nine, if I remember correctly. I think this is Yeah, and then the there's a ten nine. just to the left up here too, right? I don't know if I know where that is. In there? You just go up the um I'm not trying to get to it from here. You got to get to the upper level, probably. Sure. I wonder if you can once you've nice one. Thank but, you. But then there's also the there's also the ten that's, like, if you just keep going past the avatar back on this path, there's another ten oh, where you just drop the one down, down above the down there. Sure. Above the source seal. You'd probably have to get the ten first before jumping down here. Well, it may, it's right on top of that like buttress thing. Yeah, I don't think I or can get to that from where I am. I don't know. Yeah, so you could, I mean, if there's like I mean, you could climb somber the plus nine on the board, you could come here early and just yes. get your runes and then yep, pick exactly. up nine, ten. Seems kind of OP, but. Yeah. So, 
yeah, you probably know the Lord's Rune. I made a mistake. But it's just down this way, northish. You need to jump over and backtrack. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then the Lord's Rune is in, I'm sure this character already picked it up, but it's right here. Yep. And then, yeah, you get your free levels and your free plus four bare minimum. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to drop down, I guess. It's still doable. And so, yeah. so is the Millennia Square? Is it just kill Millennia, or is there anything yep. special about it? Kill Millennia. Not no hit kill Millennia. Nope. Don't kill you think millennia. that'd be hilarious, though? No. I think that'd be awesome. I mean, to be fair, like when many of us might have to try to do Millennia, it almost is a no hit fight, at least for like certain attacks. So, um. <laughs> It probably could almost be that. But yeah, we forced uh, Tom had to do it the other day. Uh, and I, I don't know what his weapon upgrade was, but it was mm. fucking painful damage. So. But he did it. Beautiful fight. But yeah, there's Millennia, there's Bike. Um. Oh, is a plus Yeah, I'm not five. really. Mm. Is there. Is... Yeah, I guess you really have to go back to get back up. Yeah, I think you'd have to do... I think you'd have to oh, go there first. I'm not you super familiar with this area. No, no, no. I, there's, a, there's a route that you can climb up, apparently. Uh, just from the elevator that we get? I'll, I'll take a look, too, because it is helpful for me. No, so I, haven't done, I haven't done a plus oh. nine since we got a new route, so... Why did they make this so hard to get up to? <laughs> because it's a somber... It's an ancient somber... <laughs> oh, hi, Revenant. Yeah. yeah, I guess you do actually have to go back. Isn't there another Lord Rune after the second Erd Tree Avatar? Um, I don't know if I'm familiar with the second Erd Tree Avatar is. I only know the one that is patrolling this bridge. I know that the Erd Tree Avatar itself drops another big rune, doesn't it? Uh, I don't remember. Fighting that guy is a either. pain in the ass. I know the bridge is not conducive for his squishy butt juice. Yeah, you'd probably just want to go for the... Yeah, there's... You wouldn't want to go for the chest 10, probably. See? You don't want to get this one? I think the other one's probably better. I don't think you're ever going to want a plus 10. Well, I just think it, it could be worth it if you're just going down here anyways, and you're like, okay, somber 9, and then... Sure. You have to but drop down. It, it would take probably an extra... I don't know. 25 seconds to get it. Did you see me climb that? Oh, straight sword pickup at the top of that tower. Which tower? Um, so when you first went up the elevator, uh, there's a massive ladder that probably took me 20 seconds to climb. And at the top, there's a straight sword pickup. Is that where the Michelin Knight Sword normally is? I, yeah, I honestly have no idea. Yeah, yeah, something. I'm, I'm too randomizer pill, you know? <laughs> I, yeah. I have no clue. Okay, so I'm going to go on this root, because this might be the root that people are talking about. Might be the what? The root. <sighs> like the roof. Ooh, smithing eight. Are you saying rough on purpose or? Yeah, I'm just saying rough, <laughs> like normal. Oh, okay, normal yeah, style. yeah. The rough and the rough oh. and the. The rough, yeah. Same. Same thing. <laughs> okay. Well, that avatar's not so nice. Um, I think I see where I have to go for this. Oh, is it oh, Clean Rot Knight? <laughs> yeah. The, the it's not that rot. I'm not following yeah, or sure sub you guys. It's that I constantly get so logged out of Twitch. Rot. This somber? I constantly get logged out. Let me see so. if I can fudge. Yeah, I don't want to do that on stream, but like, hold on. I'm going to get myself some, some kukris and see if I can distract her. Although I don't know if I would have a kuk. I mean, I guess you could get the four at the beginning of the game. The kukri? Sorry, the kukri. Yeah, Kukri. The Kukri. Forgot about that. Um, did you want me to show you my new Mimic tier kill, or do you want me to show you that uh, separately? Um, Because it's fast as fuck. Yeah, you can show it. Okay. Um, but we don't know if it's confirmed that it's going to count for the square. 
Okay, so... For for which square is it? Uh, kill mimic tier consumables only. Oh, so... Oh, this is a clean rot knight. I see. I see. That's good to know. It's a named... It's a named Ash of War. So if for some reason you don't have something that's going to give you a named Ash of War, because... So that's actually the fastest... You want to go over this with me? Uh, sure. Um, because I haven't picked these up in a while. So do you know the locations of whatever the grave or the ghost? I don't remember which one upgrades the name ones. Um, I guess we'll find out in a second here. Um, the but name ones are the ghost, I believe. That sounds right. Yep. It has to be because I'm down here. Okay. So ghost one is there. Hyperion. Don't okay. Wait, 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 wait. One second. One second. Because Shifra is the okay. fastest. And then I she told you about a different strat that's good for the other Mimic tier. And this is the, where you would go for that. Um, So here's the one. And then I don't mm. remember the location of like anything else. So you're just going to come along maybe, with me. We're going to find it together. I'll give you the best um, not The ever. next one is somewhere by the staircase. Yeah, uh -oh. honestly, when I when I got these squares in the first bingo season, I just never did them because. Yeah, but now they might be important, especially with yeah. some of the synergies that we have. So, is Hyperion. It... Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Two, and then you go towards the Spirit Spring, and then you have to jump up on the Spirit Spring for the three, and then the four is near the teleporter ah by the Dragonkin. There's also Smithing Stones down here. So, like, that could be a play into a smithing stone weapon. Right. I think there are two. I think there might be ones as well. Uh, um, okay, so here's three. Yeah, I remember looking at all these at one point, but <laughs> I just forget. And I it's never just, use these. Well, it's so. a lot of little details, right? Like, yep. there's just so many little pickups. Lots of errands. Lots of chores. So then we go towards the teleporter. One of these is smithing stones, I think, by a tree. Okay, that's not. There's definitely smithing stones around here somewhere. I do, um, I do not remember. All I remember is that there's a somber, somber like three or two or something. Yeah. Yep, somber two's here. Nice one. Excellent. Good parkour. <laughs> um sick sick with it but there's smithing uh smithing to somewhere around here i'm so freaking mad that i died i just don't want to run back but i will i'm gonna turn on no death too because i cannot be bothered right now. <laughs> i'll have you know i rarely die in matches surely That's like the, i really don't i'm not joking like I, I actually rarely die in matches i think if i have a single death per match it's it's like that's kind of atypical yeah. That's the only thing I have going for me. I just don't die. But well, now that I said it to you, I'm going to die every match. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're doing practice matches, right, Gino? Well, we can we can do a board. But... Yeah, yeah, I want to do at least one board with you, but I don't think we're going to do... Ah. Yeah, maybe you know? not today, but we definitely should do one eventually. Like as yeah, soon as can, as soon as the rules are up. fully figured out, then mm -hmm. Zoodle and uh, Tom are pretty much always available when you and I stream. Okay. So uh, they, I know they would one hundred percent play with us. Um, and then uh, Pup and Kata are kind of like still dealing with their like split situation, but I know they're pretty much always available. One of them. Yeah. Um, I'm just showing you a couple things. So. Yeah, I know the fives in here. Yep, there. And then I is this a sorcery? Uh, this is the bubble. So that's a sorcery pickup. Yep. If there's sorceries on night shard, damn. The real meaning of enlightenment is to gaze with undimmed eyes on all darkness. Dragon Gin. Um, and then I think uh, Elfman, thanks for the thousand bits again, dude. I last appreciate that. Ghost is down here. Wow, I did remember them kind of. And I only died one time. It is right here. So, you know, Scar Seal, Dragonkin. Yeah. Um, I guess upgrades. I guess if you're if you're doing this anyways, it probably wouldn't be that much extra time to just light the land. Like if there's an ancestor spirit or something. Yeah, this ancestor spirit is definitely the fastest. 
Well, obviously. yeah, I guess it just depends on. It depends on if, if you, have you to come down are here rushing Radon and you want to go down here for or go down to Nokran for another reason. Exactly. Really just depends on what our board looks like and what we're doing. Um, do you want me to try to show the, the Mimic tier kill with the Kukris? I don't know if I did it on this character. I don't think I did. I can actually check it. I uh, sure. Not. I mean, that sounds, I'm not going to lie, it sounds horrible, but. It's not bad at all, I promise you. You need like 16 Kukris, but I, I would have you buy, th I'd have you buy 30 to be safe. And you need uh, at least, I think, 37 poise on your armor set. So you can either start with it or when you go buy the Kukris from the Kukri merchant, yeah. the armor set he sells is enough poise because you need to be able to uh, just tank the punches. So are you watching? Yeah, yeah, I'm watching. Okay, so you go this way, just, I haven't done this in a little bit, so just <laughs> bear with me. Um, there's a little thing, yeah, you look for the catacomb statue, and then you're going to be next to a graveyard. If you're rushing this early game, this is a pickup for runes, and then there is a golden seed here if you want it. Um, yep. And then you kind of head just do southish. you'll see yep. like a caravan next to you. Um like for future reference, there is a somber eight on a beetle right here, but it's like mega tank. So if you're doing this early game, you're not getting it. Yeah. Uh, then you go up here, and you're gonna see a bunch of. Uh, I do think I want to be up here though. Yeah. You're gonna be, see a bunch of snail enemies, and then there's gonna be another golden rune eleven, which is here. And then if you drop down, there's a golden rune twelve, thirteen. I lied to you. And then you just follow the cliff line and you're here. So I did ask. We're still waiting for a response. I want to know if this counts for the mimic tier, mimic tier kill with consumables. And I yeah. want to know if it's a catacomb. Because obviously it has catacomb structure, but it's not it's not a named catacomb. It's, I mean? it's a hundred. There's no way this is not a catacomb. Yeah, well, I never got a response about it. So... I don't have the poise, but it's fine. Yeah, this is, yeah. I'm going to give myself, so like your starting character is going to have anywhere between 8 and like 14 bigger, right? So yeah. I'll give myself 11. So is, is are, are the cookies good for the bleed here or? Yes. I tried daggers. Like, I, it's horrible. You tried fan daggers, you said? I did not try fan daggers. Oh. But can you get fan daggers as quickly as you, fudge monkey? Mm, I think there's a I mean, jump you can that's get a few, better but... than the one I do. Arham has a better jump that we can do here, but um, just... I'm sure you could just jump um, off the left side there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't jump, like, immediately left because it's um lethal, but there is a jump that's somewhere left there. It's it's fine. Okay, so it does count for Mimic to your kill, apparently. So then it should count consumables only. So this is, like, the scariest part because of, you know... Yep. But I've done that a couple times on. I haven't died once I, like, understood... Just what to expect. Nice. That was close. Um, let me just give myself an armor set really quick. That's going to give me the poise. But like I said, um, to buy the Kukris and to buy the armor set from the Castlemorn Rampart Grace, uh, it gives you the the poise that you need. Mm -hmm. So I guess. Are you not going to get chased here? Or, or I guess the door. No, I don't think they chase. But it would have been funny if, as you said, that I died. I'll just give myself the Carrion Knight armor, I guess, because that should be good enough. I'm not sure if it's 36. I think 35 is not enough poise. I'd have to do more testing, but I, I immediately saw that the armor maybe, set maybe where I'm buying stuff I'll give you worked, the best so I just ever. stopped yeah. at that point. Sorry, this is taking me forever. Uh, Jobstar, thanks for the uh, 10 month resub, dude. Maybe okay, maybe, thirty-seven. So um, be best not ever. this is eleven. Also, uh, Camille, thanks for the brand new prime sub. And I'm not very good at it yet, so just bear with me. So he doesn't just in input read roll all all day long. I made or a mistake. Just you probably just quit out. Maybe maybe. Do you think I'll give you the best? Has yeah. Not I, ever. Oh, well, there you go. Praise the Gino. Uh, Aeronome as well. Thanks for the two month resub, dude. 
Is there a good indicator that I can like put my shit back on for these? I never really as, saw like, one. Like basically uh, immediately, uh, as soon as it starts an animation, you're good. Okay. Um. So you essentially just wait for her to punch you, and then as soon as she starts punching you, you're gonna want to like the baby punches is what we're looking for. Yeah. And I'm sure there's a good way that you'll find to bait them out because like the mega punch, that's so sick. <laughs> yeah. This guy. The bleed procs are huge. But fan daggers might be better if if where uh, can you get those easily? Nowhere. Like the I, I'm pretty sure you only get them from patches, which yeah, there's some pickups in certain spots like in Kalid, but Come on, punch me. They probably would be better, but Yeah. Getting them is not good. Is this with base stats? This is uh not with base stats. Like, how much dex do you have? 12. Okay, so, I mean, basically. Basically. So, like, if you get good at, like, baiting it well, out and just knowing when to throw them, she just dies like that. Well, what you could also probably do is use an Endure or something. Mm, yeah, if you have something that has Endure on it, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be reasonable. But, like, that's rushable, like, immediately. Yeah, so that's pretty speak. good. And then it gave me 50,000 runes. It gave me a named Ash... Spirit yep. Ash. Um, so you can upgrade the Spirit Ash. It gives you Death Root for Garong for a seal. Yeah. Um, and it gives you a catacomb theoretically. So when I timed it, it was about seven and a half minutes from the start getting Torrent. Yeah, that's good. Mm, before Stella Arhem, I just I feel like fan daggers aren't gonna do enough damage. Well, yeah, it would kind of be just something you have with it, but I think as mm. as long as like the problem I, I is with this is just missing stuff. But Endeggers probably wouldn't. Miss. I have never failed it as long as I buy thirty kukris. Yeah, and no, it's no, no. Taken me ten yeah. to sixteen of, or sorry, it it it's taken me like fifteen to twenty of them on average. Yeah, this is good. So yeah, something to keep in mind. Don't know if it's the best, but something to keep in mind. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if there's like much, like many other secrets that I have for you. They're not my secrets. Well, you're I just saving them all for off stream so that people can. Do you have some other stuff? Copy. Yeah. It actually, you know what though? It actually is. Like, I mean, maybe people think it's too try hard, but there's. It is sometimes good to not share everything that you come up with. You know? No, I agree. No, 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 I agree. And so, yeah, that's just. And then save it for the you know semifinal matches. of the playoffs. Oh, the semifinals. We're just like yep. so confident we're gonna get to that point. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I I enjoy the the confidence. Um, but yeah, I uh, I don't think there's much else that um. I feel like I need to tell you before we do a board. Do you have any other questions? I'm sure there's going to be something that comes up when we're like. Hmm. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. But there, I can show you my list of. Here, let me just pull up like what my practice list was. It's going to be not applicable to you really at all. Oh yeah, O'Neill cheese with the babooshes. Um, because if cheeses are banned, the branch cheese will be banned. And okay. the ground cheese will be not banned because wait the, the, branch, the which one the branch cheese that you're familiar with and, and so for, yeah the okay. ground one is just where you use the you use the geysers and you have to essentially just kite him around them um it's wait. kind of annoying yeah so that's okay that's kind of weird but. so the reason I think so Dom was kind of explaining this I think and I think his explanation made sense um but his i guess his reasoning was the branch one he can't respond to you and he can't do anything he can't touch you right so that's what he would say is like an, a true cheese where like they're really not even able to react to you very much versus um the babouche strat where you're like actually kiting him he's attacking you and you can get hit and you can die so not only can he kill you but he you know the geysers in theory if you're not paying attention the geysers could kill you as well so I think that was his, I think that's his reasoning as to like why he would allow certain 
quote unquote cheeses versus. Yeah. No. I mean, and then of course there is niche, there's niche um, instances. And Tom brought up a couple where he's like, well, that definition doesn't apply. Like DTS cheese with yeah. the shield, he's attacking you and you can fuck that up and he can kill you. But they're still counting that as like a cheese because of reasons. Uh, so, um, <laughs> uh, obviously that's, it's not like a catch all, but I think, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens with the Jesus. So, yeah, I mean, I just, I would, I think that just using the geysers at all is like, I think you either use them or you don't, you mm, know? So you're saying even the geysers. Yeah. I think, should, I think mm. it's either you just fight them. Like it's either the geysers are allowed and you can get on the branch or you just can't mm. use them at all. Probably that's, that's what I would think. But mm. yeah, I mean, I can tell I, you that he is not, he's thinking that the babushas are going to be allowed. Yeah. Okay. So, but I could also see your argument as well. Yeah, I just I just don't really even see them being different at all. Like whether, whether you're you're on the branch or not. But true. I, I guess fair. I. That's fair. It, it is like so. I think how your your definition based off what you're saying is like I'm cheesing a boss if I'm not actively doing the damage with my weapon or with my skills. I think that's like what you're mm -hmm. saying. Like with my like sorceries or things like that versus like I'm using some environmental aspect is that what you're saying maybe that's i haven't thought about it but gen yeah i know I, I don't want to put words in your mouth and maybe it's too big of a, a net or too general but um yeah i do need to think about it more myself but i mean we'll see what happens with the whole cheese situation It'll be interesting okay. yeah okay um yeah and then they remove consumables only um so oh. no more rush with the daggers oh um why, why was that removed so they removed all like the really really early game rush squares. So they got okay, rid just, of okay. um, boss consumables only. So Bofa with daggers. Uh, they removed mm. boss well on torrent. So Pumpkinhead. They got rid of Bach, give his needle back, and then they got rid of kill a boss spirit ash only. Okay, so I guess did they just not want. I think um, that they felt that it was too much of a mad dash in the beginning. Yeah, and that okay. it, like it kind of hindered like the overall. Um, like strategic planning and maybe that it was going to lead to snowball situations if there was a board that had all of those maybe um, yeah and then like with the spirit ash only now that raw dog is the better spirit ash over the the soldier of godric ash because it's really really fast to pick up uh -huh. i guess there's like a pretty significant rng component with the raw dog and whether he dies or not yeah so that's true. I, I just felt like i, I think they said no, I'm just theorizing. It's me. I, I think they felt that it was just like not as enjoyable of a square anymore. Um, and then they did get rid of revenants. Like I don't know if you knew this, but yeah, yeah, when the yeah, which I'm sad about. I actually really like the revenant square, but um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, have you looked at the scenic, scenic Isle Grace and what's around the scenic Isle Grace? Because that's what we get in Lyrnia now. So I know we looked at the Rune Labyrinth, but did you look at the Scenic Isle one? Maybe, maybe um, I'll give you the best nut ever. Not really, but... So the Scenic Isle is, like, right next to Raya. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I, like, I know what's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's really, like, the major difference. And then you have to go to South Raya from the teleporter from last yep. year. And then um, if you go... Like, I don't know if I could, like, picture this with my directions right now, but I think it'd be kind of, like, north, 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 east-ish. That would take you towards Jarberg, and there's the Knight's Cab there. That's, like, the north gate town where the Hyatta quest ends. And then, also, there's a couple gazebos on the way there. So, there's the yeah. Smithing 2s and the Smithing 3s. That's, yeah. like, the whole area is littered with lobsters. So, the biggest thing is just, like, look at the pathway and, like, try to devise something that you're not getting lobstered. Yeah. But I think that's the biggest thing to know for that. Oh, in my match the other day, I killed mm. the Mountaintops Mariner, which I think is the better option over the Altus Plateau Mariner if you have no priority progress towards the, the Altus Mariner. So even though the Mountaintops oh. Mariner is a massive tank, like 9k health, yeah. and it took me forever because I had a plus four ice rind. Um, so like he's easy. That's the nice thing is he's easy in terms of he doesn't port. The only like bad thing is there's the snails there. But um so he doesn't testing. he 
it doesn't even need to be a boss? Nope, it's just kill a mariner. That's oh, not a boss square. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that's the only like newest, most relevant, like new like non-boss kill. Um, but if you have like even a mildly upgraded weapon with sacred blade, it's probably gonna be better than like plus yeah, yeah. four or plus five somber, based off what I could tell. Um but yeah, that's probably the only other thing that I can think of. Sorry, I've been talking for like an hour. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> um <laughs> I'm trying to learn a lot. I, I think me playing with other people has been helpful too, because it's really good to get insight into their thought process and it's helped me develop, you know, what I would go for for certain mm. squares or like priority of squares. And then now we have to integrate, you know, actually looking at the board for important squares with center square and stuff now with the the line aspect. Yeah. Also, do you have you said you have no opinion on our team name? No, I don't. Okay, well there's some people that are like doing joking team names and there's some people that are doing serious team names and I don't do not know where we should fall in that. <sighs> yeah, I don't I don't it doesn't really matter. I don't think. Okay, so then someone said su- someone suggested Team Moose. <laughs> team Moose. Yeah, because like Canada and yeah. moose are some of my favorite animals. Mm. Um, so Team Moose was a suggestion, and then there was like a suggestion of Team Snow and Team North. But then I had a lot of people telling me that that's two Game of Thrones, and that they can't not hear those things and not think of Game of Thrones. Um, that sounds like a them problem. Do you like Team Snow or Team uh, North? I don't know. Like I said, I kind of don't <laughs> like. I don't really care. Uh, do you have a Do you have a lobby open? Yeah, I will make one. What color do you want to be today? Maybe, maybe blue, purple. I'll give you the best you purple. Nut ever. Oh, are we gonna do separate because of? No, 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 okay. no, no. Well, I, we can, I guess, but we'll I don't think do... it really matters, right? No, they we'll they did they made it so. Did they hmm? did they make it so that marking a square is a different color now, or? Um, we no longer see individual progress so like i won't see if you're marking like i have two of these bosses left which i don't like that all i wanted was that the squares could be different colors but i wanted to see your progress on squares but i don't think that they're going to be able to do that i sent you a lobby okay does anyone have a seed name for us i would say frost moose (laughs) team apathy no what do you mean i'm not apathetic i don't know about gino <laughs> um ocean bed thanks for the two month prime sub and oh i'm going with Maestro, brino thanks for the then. three month yeah, resub as well Machino's fine mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I i will submit brino machino as our team name i think it's fine uh do you have a seed for the thing? yeah do do snow moose Snow moose. I'll send it to you so you know caps. It's okay. I, I know I can spell. Wait, you said no caps and you just put a cap. I said so you know caps, but that's oh. why I sent it to you. Cause... Does it actually factor in that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well. All right. We're team Brino Machino. That's what we're doing. Maybe, we definitely have maybe the, well, no, I guess there's a I'll team that has Joe W. Joe W. Bush is a team, so that one's pretty. <laughs> Joe W. Bush, who's that? Yeah, that's uh, Josh and Bushy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes sense. And then, um, uh, Chris and uh, Chris and Adef are team name. Like their team name is team name. Mm, okay. And um, Zoodle and Tom are Zoom. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw that. And puppery and catalyst, I think, are cattery. Okay. The ordina Everjail should count towards four Everjails. Do you think? No, I don't, because there's no boss that you're killing. No, I, I think, I think it should actually. Why? Well, because it's an Everjail. Like it depends on the wording of it, but it. Totally, it's definitely never jail. 
They might have to change the wording then if they want it yeah, to be only bosses. Yeah, I guess we'd have to say, like, in my opinion, it would have to be Everdale bosses. Or if it remains Everdale's, then yes, I guess technically speaking, it should count. I think that'd yeah, be fun. I guess I... Hi Hyperion's really good at thinking of all these, like, yeah, it's good that we have people that are being critical about this. Wait, you can send messages in here? I didn't know that. <laughs> Don't do that. Stop. <laughs> this reminds me of um <laughs> the what's the online chess website? <laughs> Chess.com. No, the L one. Le chess. Le chess, yeah, that one. Um, okay. I do have like lobby start time. Do you want to do time pressure where we actually are like shotgunning it? Uh sure, yeah. I think we should. No pressure, but I think we should. Um <laughs> uh, okay. Um anything else? Also, sorry, I got very little sleep last night, so I'm gonna try yeah, my me too. today. Okay, sick. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Mm, you're not and my you Vagabond has a dagger, by the way. You're yeah, thank you. It has a blue shield as well. Might be parry shield. Um you're not available on weekends typically, right? Uh, usually not, but I mean, I'm going to have to be for the bingo anyway, so. So I just want to let you know that I am out of town next week, Thursday through the following Sunday. So just Thursday, Friday, okay. Saturday, Sunday. So, sure. and then we have the week after that. And then the competition starts, I think, the following weekend, I think. Yeah, that, I, I think that week before is probably when we should actually. Grind time? Yeah, like if if we sure. want to actually do the practice, because sure. uh, presumably yeah. the rules will be figured out by then. Yeah, I think it'd be good so that we have a de definitive rule set that we're practicing. But yeah, I'm good with that. And I'll probably continue to do like little practice matches here and there. You yep. don't okay. look like you didn't sleep. That I love that because I, I saw that comment and I thought it was going to say you do look like you didn't sleep. Mm. And it, it blew my mind that you just exceeded expectations. That was really good. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, um, money bags. Thanks for the four month prime set, by the way, dude. <laughs> so um we both can look at the board together but in the future we should probably have someone like look at the board and someone look at classes so can you see that i marked like star nope. to square no nope. okay you can't even see it okay right. no nope. oh dual ansper rapier um oh so these are all going to be smithing Iron Greatsword. Yes. Troll's Hammer. Hand Axe is really solid, actually. I feel like that's the play. I haven't looked oh, at it Knight, yet. I was looking at Square. Knight Rider Glaive is also here, though. Hmm. Let me see. I think it's, it's either Samurai, Samurai or Wretch. Okay, so what are the what are the super fast squares here? Like Rhea? Is that one still? Rhea is really fast. Uh, yep. Tunnels, Precipice Dungeons is really fast. Right. Grail without status effects, so if you have the right weapon, can be one Tree Sentinel cycle. plus zero is also there. Yep, Tree Sentinel plus zero is really fast. Memory of Grace 50k Margit. runes technically is super fast. Margit six plus parries. Explosive Physic is somewhat fast. Um, mm. There's Limgrave bosses. There's eight Limgrave bosses, and there's a million Limgrave bosses boss squares with cemetery shades black knife assassins knights nice cavalry yeah. crucible knights like there's a million of these like really crappy early game killing squares um i guess imbued keys are not so imbued super imbued, fast no they're not because of red wolf and like yeah. unless there's like an obvious square that would push me into the academy was that you did you just have a windows noise did i just have a what a windows noise no. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Maybe it was in real life. I don't know what that was. Yeah. I heard it. It's oh, the it's the so. the chip that's implanted in your brain. Oh God, no! I didn't sign up for this. I didn't want to be part of Neuralink. Um. Okay. Yeah, well. So. <laughs> um. So I think like when I look at this, I see like a, a strong Limgrave play, and then I see like nothing else. Then the rest of it is just like killing. So in yeah. theory, there's like the smithing stone plus 16, and then there's the somber plus nine. 
So the person that would get the somber plus nine, I would say, would do like more of the killing squares, like the God, Lance CX, Crucible, Misbegotten, Duel, Garonk, etc. Godskin Noble, even. And then the mm -hmm. other person would be a little bit less developed, but would do more of the Limgrave. So, like in my opinion, I'm gonna pause it because I don't feel like we're ready yet. But okay, sure. um, in my opinion, I feel like the obvious split would be okay. Someone's gonna rush a somber nine and then start just murdering. And then someone else is going to yeah. like start working on those crappy little squares. Now, in theory, they could try to get that plus 16. Mm -hmm. um, but I would I would strongly suggest that the first thing would be you do plus zero tree sentinel, obviously. Yep. And then yep. either like someone does that and the other person does tunnels or that same person continues to rush tunnels because tunnels is yeah. really fast. Well, yeah, I like I like old Altus tunnel, like for especially when you're trying to get a somber nine. True. I think for the Somber Nine development, Old Altus Tunnel is the better tunnel in this case. Yeah. But it's not the better. It's not the fastest. Yeah, you're risking tunnel. not getting it. Yes, exactly. But I think long game, I wouldn't necessarily be upset with that choice. And and so so bingos are also now important a, a thing. So like, yep. what's the fastest bingo you see? Because I I mean, um, column two. Um, column three. Well, there's a lot of quick ones, I would yeah. say. Uh, like, roll, like all of them. <laughs> They're all, yeah. this is a pretty fast board. It's a very fast board. And so, and then also the corner and middle squares are still like. Important. It's kind of tough because they're, they're not guaranteed to be like needed to get, but. Like you, if you, if I guess if you had a choice between two and one was a high, higher priority square, you'd just take the higher priority, even in. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see, but for the corners versus the center square. Well, yeah, like diagonal squares versus not. Yeah, sure. In this case, mm -hmm. nothing's really standing. Nothing's standing super out, standing so. out. Like they're all kind of equivalent to my mind. I mean, I guess like Finger Slayer Blade obviously is not, um, but the fastest corner squares that exist, the fastest one is Cemetery Shades without a doubt. Um, and then the next fastest would be. Oh, what are the two fastest ones for that now? So obviously the weeping one right the weeping and the caleb one so the caleb is uh yeah yeah the one yeah but but would would the liernia one potentially also come into play sure As um yeah like it's we a do have consideration the but it's just ass yeah that's true <laughs> the ads right like it, it's just, oh yeah yeah it's, it's it's a simple boss but the ads make it miserable um so i suppose like in this case maybe well and, and you got an assassin because of though the, yes so that's what i'm so. i'm considering right now i think maybe it would be the play because of the assassin um i guess it just depends on how confident you are of getting through the fight with the, the skellies the skelly boys it's not bad if you have sacred blade it's very simple but mm. like, i don't think a plus zero sacred blade will one shot them no but it's but it'll be close. it'll be close yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, so, so do you think Wretch or do you think Samurai? Or I was going to go something? with, uh, I was going to go Samurai. I think I like the Hand Axe better than the, the Glaive. Or I suppose Banish Knight's Great Sword is also there. Um, but I was going to try the Hand Axe because I haven't used it extensively and I feel like it, it's going to be a decent killer. Although yeah, the freaking Vigor, I mean, the Vigor's trash on both of them, but. Yep. You know, what are you going to do about it? Um, so when you see this board, what what is the path that like immediately you see yourself taking? Well, I would probably... I'd like to know how you would approach this board. So I can play around you or see if our thought process aligns or if it has a nice divergence. Well, I, I would go for the Tree Sentinel immediately. Okay. Yep. And then Same. probably after that, like I, I think one person probably does True Sentinel, and then one person probably does tunnels. Um, you're not getting both of those squares. Like one person is not getting both. One hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of quick ones. So like, Rhea's quick too. So it'd be one of yeah, those Raya's two. Very fast. But Raya isn't like a priority to me as much as like. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really shades. do anything. Yeah. So, like, Whereas for tunnels me, actually the tunnels would something. get me closer to 
a little bit, I guess, a little bit closer to the shades and like a little bit more progress towards another square, which is the Limgrave boss. But, um, but yeah, also market six parries. I, I, I'm like, that's really quick too. Mm -hmm. But I guess, what, I didn't it, it used to be four? Yes. Okay. I think it's like a very natural progression to do Tree Sentinel into the parries. It's not going to be a progression maybe, from Tree maybe, Sentinel into the tunnels because tunnels the are so fast. Ever. Right. Cheers, dog. Um, so I think that'd be our first split. And then in my opinion, like if you're going to do tunnels, it, now that would be the next question. Like, do you want to prioritize the plus nine or do you want to try to synergize more with the yeah. Limgrave bosses? Because the two fastest tunnels are Limgrave. So, you would, you would, in this case, you'd 100% want to go with the fastest ones. And I think probably I most cases you would, unless yeah. you, unless you're the leaving the tunnels for a really bit later. Good, yeah. And I, I think like if the plus nine was in like a really, really high priority spot, then sure. I think maybe sacrificing yeah. the, the tunnel, maybe your competitor does the same thing and you just do a little bit better. Um, yep. but yeah, I would agree. I would not really prioritize that at this point. I think okay. what I would do is. Mm -hmm tunnels into this is another really important thing that i feel like many of us have struggled with and it's when you start prioritizing upgrades and i can tell you that when we played against tom the other day we mm -hmm. all kind of did our initial rush square yeah. and then we went and got a weapon it was it was basically like we did our first one or two if there was like a second one to follow up and then yeah. we went and got a, a weapon so I, you know, I can't guarantee that, but like even like Knight's Calves, sure, they're like relatively simple bosses, but they just can be so freaking long with an unupgraded yep. weapon. So, well, it depends on the board. I think the way it sounds with some of the rushable squares getting removed, probably the earlier you get a weapon, the better mm -hmm. in, in this case. Like, because mm -hmm. sure, you can give up, like, even if you give up plus zero tree sentinel, yeah. Um, like there's still a lot of killing and you want to mm -hmm. get ahead on that. So, I do think it it could make a lot of sense on this one to honestly just go straight. Like, I don't know, maybe pick up one, one or two squares early to not fall behind, but you could just go upgrade and then just start killing stuff and let I them take a bit case, of the lead. I think in this case, I would try to do tunnels into cemetery shades and then upgrade. I feel like that's what my brain would tell me to do. And then, then yeah. get upgrades for the rest of them. Well, yeah, so I think I, I would want to kill the Knight's Cavalries. Especially if a bingo is going to end up being like four points or something, mm -hmm. I would kind of want that middle score, especially if it's relatively fast. So, and 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 so wait a second, the Ash of Wars are still the same, right? Like, so yeah. the Le Leonia guy is still going to drop maybe, Ice Spear, maybe, yeah, because that actually, I mean, ever. maybe is really just the play then. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, Ice Spear could be really nice, but yes, you're correct. Ash of Wars are not randomized. Um, but in this case, like, would you do Knight's Calves on upgraded? No, no, no. I, I would probably okay. still upgrade. Okay. 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 Uh, and you can, you're not allowed to, we, we can't cheese the one, right? So you cannot cheese. I mean, in, <laughs> in theory, I would play like we cannot cheese them. Okay. So what would you like to do first? I'm going to start I'm, this. I'm, and what would what would you I think you are the faster tree sentinel killer. I'm good at tree sentinel, but I would probably argue that you're just gonna be faster. Yeah, I'll kill tree sentinel um, and then Okay. Unfortunately, there is some overlap with Limgrave bosses. So like you're gonna do tree sentinel, and then in theory, if you go into like Margaret Perry's, just like in theory, yeah. there's overlap with that. So like maybe I feel like I would rather mm -hmm. upgrade than do Margaret Six Perry. Okay, and then I suppose it's just if we find a good somber or not, right? I guess so. Hand axe um, would be easily good enough if, like, if we just pick up, uh, getting a hand axe to plus sixteen would be fine. Mhm. Mm so if we were doing plus sixteen in this case, our four. You started right. I did. Yeah. I'm okay. Okay. I went. I went at the time of start. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can pick up some ones in the tunnels, but I like really need to <laughs> get a better. Like route in my mind for that. How much poise damage does the hand axe deal on a charger too? Um, thirty. It's probably like thirty. Okay, so it's, it's like a hammer. It's like a standard hammer. Well, hammer hammers do like thirty nine, right? Okay, yeah. 
As long as it's over 30, that's all I really It's care definitely about over 30. The, it's, it's either 33 or... Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming it's a strike weapon? Oh, it's a standard weapon. Yeah, the only... I think the only strike axe is the... What is it called? The Ice rind? Is ice rind strike? No, I think uh, the... I thought it was. Maybe I'm wrong. Jawbone. I did start with the... Oh, the jawbone. Yeah, you're right. I started with stone sword keys in case I do want to go old altos. Oh, yeah, that's right. That I... Have, has anybody timed thing. old altus versus tom and what's the difference i don't know if i know the exact numerical difference but the limb grave ones are faster yeah that may, it definitely makes sense like i assume he also did the quick kill on the troll right uh with the explosive stones yes yes yeah. okay yeah, I still need to learn the uh, the trajectory for that, but it looked pretty straightforward. You just wait for the troll to turn a little bit and throw them at the back barrels. I just walk maybe, in and throw maybe. them up in the air, just throw two, <laughs> you and just, and you just get them. <laughs> no strategy, just throw them. <laughs> well, I, I walk to, like, a certain rock. Okay. There's also, like, a little jump. Um. Oh, I trying to standard. I don't think I realized that. There's, wow. Well, there's also a little jump, I think, to get to the initial limb grave tunnel faster that I don't know yet. Yeah, there is. But I, I think that's why Zoodle kicked my ass the other day at the tunnels, because I didn't know the drop. So, should I look for it now, or should I? I, yeah, I don't uh, know. Uh, you can just do it later. Yeah. Gino rolls and takes three steps forward and yeets the clump. We have we have an exact outline of your every move. Yeah, that, that's basically what I do. And I, I just aim <laughs> max camera height and because because they have such oh, a big max, range. Yeah, max camera height is nice. I was wondering if you could do that. It takes the thinking out of it. That's like God skin duel, right? It is it is a little RNG though. Like whether or not I guess depending on which like so if you hit all the barrels and if I've they all seen... connect or something. There is a setup that I've seen that's like a guaranteed stagger. Yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. good tree sentinel. Sorry, I'm I got like Dragon not Halberd. trying to be so judgy. Just like looking at the time, it seems good with this weapon. Yeah, I kind of whiffed a ton of hits because the axe is mm -hmm. short. Yeah, I'm curious to see how this goes with this troll. Um, I'm just going to fall here and see what happens. Okay, that was fine. Yeah, there's like a little, um, maybe, maybe I, I forget if you just land on the wall or if you just survive ever. the drop. Yeah, I did Hope see like a little, sooner. what looked like stable ground above. Should I just like roll down? I feel like uh, to rolling where? down is, is, is faster than going down the lift. Like falling down. Uh, I think they're both about the same, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So I guess I should use Dragon things. Halberd, right? You got Dragon's Halberd? Fuck yeah, you. I did. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I could kill. I could kill Tree Sentinel too, technically. But it, like, is is Dragon Halberd? I mean, it's decent. It's very but good for bingo. It's so it's such a garbage move set though. I don't know where to go in this tunnel. I think this is correct. All right, um, so I guess it, the yeah the move set's not great, but just do jump bar twos. Yeah, that's true. Jump R2s are Search very good range and um, hitbox. So, okay, so those are two easy smithing twos. So the fastest okay. runes now are Hallig Tree, is that right? Yes. The Lord's rune I showed you. Okay, I guess I'm going to go do that. Okay. Because I, I just think I, I should just go upgrade right now, probably. Um, and you're gonna do, are you doing plus nine? Yeah, I'll do plus nine, because I got some. Okay, I'll go for the plus 16 then. Okay, two charger twos does stagger the... Like, yeah, most of the time, I like, most of the bingo matches I've ever done, the player who... It's very rare that, um, someone just wins immediately in a match, right? Especially with this one, it, like, it's gonna be impossible, basically. Yeah. And so, um, so like setting up for later was kind of always better. 
even just forfeiting the early squares to get a better yes. setup and then you can yes, start i agree like even if i that's the thing about like the way that i'm progressing currently like even if i lose the tunnels i'm still progressing limgrave bosses like it's not like i'm losing things i'm also getting upgrades on the way i'm getting some smithing stones so i mean it's just smithing ones but there is progress that's being made even if i don't get the uh the actual square i had almost an identical board to this against tom and zoodle Mm. And they were really surprised that I chose to continue to push Limgrave bosses after Zoodle beat me on tunnels. And I'm like, well, it, it had so much synergy with everything else on the board. And I figured that, like, he might think he has priority because he got that square and he had no idea where I was. So, like, pressing, pressing instances where, like, they think they have priority is not terrible. Okay, so this is the cave that I don't know where I'm going, but I hopefully will figure it out. I think it's this far. Oh, it is. It's super easy. What the hell? Why did I get so lost last time? Oh, there's a somber stone over there as well. What's What is the best five and six to get? Like if I'm just rushing a somber nine old altus yeah okay and then seven is it still the lake of rot one seven eight there's also a six there but it's far across the lake on a beetle dude the hand axe fucking butchers this misbegotten Okay, I'd have to compare that to Zoodle's time, but I think that might have been faster than he did it last time. Okay, so then in theory, um, mm -hmm. should I head towards... I was thinking Sacred Blade for the Cemetery Shades. I, I, I feel like know. the Cemetery Shades, you don't need it. Okay. I don't really think it, it makes them too much faster. Okay. Um, I made two wrong warps then. So I was going to do shades and then I was going to do um, an upgrade after that. And so I was going to try the plus 16 route and see how long that takes me today. Okay. Yeah, I'm just getting plus nine. We'll see how bad the freaking shade in Lyernia messes me up. I have a really bad feeling about it. But oh, so you are going to do that one? Yeah, it I makes no sense. I was going to try it because of the black knife. It's really not too bad. And if you have enough health, you can just focus the cemetery shade with like backstabs and... Just ignore the yeah, skellies. Yeah, yeah, I know the backstab cycle, so I was kind of hoping that I can just get into that. I've also seen people do a jump here, but I just don't know how to pull it off myself. Oh, I did it! I've literally never seen someone do that successfully, and it was not that bad. Okay, cool. I have no All idea right. what jump you're talking about. There's like a little jump you can do off of a spirit spring um, to give you a little bit of progress towards the catacomb and the, the avatar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend Tom the other night, but the other day Tom like missed it again. And I was like, Tom, I've literally never seen you make that jump. I, I don't believe that it's possible to, well, the, <laughs> to make it. <laughs> no, no, I, I do it every time. It's just the angle is maybe a little Yeah, the angle is important, but I think I, I, think I understand. <laughs> he got so mad at me. <laughs> oh, I don't have... Oh, I didn't... I didn't think about that. Forgot about the stone swords. Oh shoot! I should have so, reminded you. If, I guess Old Altus is probably still faster for four, uh, for five and six, right? Even well, there's Godskin Compared Noble. Compared to though. anything else that you might be doing, yeah, Godskin Noble is there. But there's you also, there's the Venomous Fang here. Well, I died. Yep, it begins. I think it's just because you make me nervous. I otherwise don't die. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Tell him Azaz. I think I should have gone to Volcano Manor. I think you should have too. It's not too late. Now that I'm I'm seeing it, because we've got the boss square on the yeah. diagonal. I go just go. Just make the decision now. Then you get your five, six, and seven, eight, and your nine you probably got from Halley Trinity. Yeah, yeah, I already grabbed the nine. Okay. So yeah, and then you got your Dragon Halberd, which you can not buff for the status, and it's just gonna destroy God's getting noble. I don't know about destroy, but it's gonna destroy him. I 
I don't know if I'm underestimating Noble or overestimating you, but I feel pretty confident in that. Well, I'll win the fight. It's just uh, it's, it's a not... comfy fight with like a plus five, Dragon Halberd. Oh, that is right too. Yeah. So, so I guess since I'm, I've gone to Volcano Manor now, Rhea's hand is not an option for me anymore. Mm, which is something. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, something to keep in mind for those squares. Sure. I could do that after. Um, I could do that after this, and that gives me some stone availability, kind of, for the plus sixteen in Volcano Manor. Yeah, I don't love. I don't dislike that. We rarely refascinate so. Nice, 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 nice. Do not die in front of Gino again. What are you even dying to? Nothing. Yeah, because as soon as I get a plus nine, Please I can. Please just be regular. <laughs> I can go. Like, especially the top right to bottom left diagonal. All those are just killing stuff. Fuck. But yeah, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe going for plus nine wasn't the play here. It's kind of, it's hard to know when like you're not playing square. against somebody. I don't like the square location, but we can do a lot with it, with like the location on the board. But like, Margaret Perry's, I think, would be gone soon. Oh, yeah, it would have been gone a while ago. So, like, I think it sets you up fine. I don't think you made a bad choice, you know? It's more than Knight's Cavalry's that I'd be. I'm not sure if if people other but people would prioritize like, that one, I'm but... Doing, I'm doing Cemetery Shades, and if yeah. we can prioritize one other corner square, we've already mitigated almost essentially, like, because I'm going towards Assassins, we've already mitigated the center square. So if you are making progress towards mitigation of that center square, it's not very powerful anymore. Well, well, only if you're trying to mitigate, but you're you're trying to attack. If you're not trying to utilize it, yes. You want I to attack. Sure. True. Especially, okay, especially cool. when you're just a faster player. Attacking is... Oh, boy. I'm getting faster. Yeah, attack is good. And, uh, yeah, like, if, if the bingo is going to be worth, like, four points... Three. That's huge. Three. That's going to be pretty big. Can we be so. on team three, Gino? Huh? Can we be on team three points? Why not four? I don't like four. I think I four, like four is too, too powerful. No, I like four. Three or four is good. Three or four is good. I'll agree with you there. How about three and a half? <laughs> well, then it should be four. If it's three and a half, then it should be four, right? Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, four, so you get nine. Like, I, I think nine is nice because it's not... Like, ooh, let's say somebody ooh. just run, rushes for a bingo. They still need yeah. to get four more squares. Yeah. But, like, it's you could recover from that. If you're yeah. the other team, probably, but you would have to get your own bingo. Yeah. Whereas definitely two, I think is it's like, well, okay, they got a bingo, but we got these other two squares that were just yeah. as fast as them going out of their way to get a bingo. So now, like, it, it's basically canceled each other out. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, I have to go up for the uh, the lever in the the black knife catacomb in Lyrnia. It's up, right? Like, kind of by the Yeah, you go knife. up and then you drop down. To, up and then to the right, there's an alcove? Yep, yep. Okay, thank you. Oh, am I going to want a memory of grace? Fuck. I definitely would have wanted to. That's not the thing! Okay. Well, rip my runes. <laughs> this is why we practice. Yep. I mean, it's like I had two, like 2,400, so it's not a big deal. Hey, I'm. I'm... Oh, you want to know what it is a big deal? Mm hmm. Like, you know, the the skeletons and my tiny VP. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably like a minute away from plus nine. Okay, I'm uh, like uh, probably like oh, 30 seconds to five minutes away from this next cemetery shade. Oh, the so rock does a lot of damage. Closer to the five minute one. Huh? What'd you say? This one's really bad, you know. Which one? The skeleton one. Well, I presume. You know what's really nice in Bingo is <laughs> having um. A second PC. I do have two PCs. I'm just not using my second PC. You okay, should. Okay, hold on. Oh! 
Maybe, maybe um, I'll give you the best nut what does, ever. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right, so now I will go for... So you're still working on cemetery shit and stuff, so I'm yeah, going to go... Yeah, I'm like doing things, yeah. Like, for sure, like... Yeah, no, it's it's really nice because you can hover your mouse over a square and then not you know, have to... this is so booty cheeks. It's so booty cheeks. I don't even know where to begin. Like, oh I think God. if you had Sacred Blade for this, it would be fine. But the skeletons are trash. Oh, yeah, you definitely want Sacred Blade for that. I thought so, that's what we said. I literally said, I'm going to go towards Sacred Blade. You're like, you don't know. Well, oh, well, that was before I knew you are going for the Lyurnia guy. No, I, I, well, what I what I meant is that... <laughs> what I meant is that for, for normal cemetery shade, there's no way it's worth it, but I see. It's so bad, and I have like 10 bigger. Oh, I think this bigger. moveset was better. Hi, Tom. Hello. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely wanted Secret Plate for that one. Thanks, That's so funny, know? actually. Yeah, and like the skeletons have more HP than the actual shade. Yep. I'm not even joking. I, I actually think they might. All right, I suppose you're right about this destroying this guy. I told you. Why did you know me? Do you know how many times I've killed that dude with a dragon halberd? No. A lot. It's a lot. I'm a leaving. Just kill me. I'm going to get Sacred Blade. For the sake of practice, I will continue, but I'm not happy. With this game, not you, Gino. I'm, I'm never upset at you. Does it pay to get the wet blade, or should I just go back to round table, do you think? Um, if it's only for one, you probably just go back to round table. Okay. I've never seen that enemy before, and now I'm shook. Shades are not bad with the right setup, and you don't have the adds one. Oh, I guess Garonk is not actually that quick, is he? Garonk is super quick, quick with a plus nine. No, you but have but, a frost but we don't weapon. we don't have the grace. Like I oh. have to run. Yeah, it's like one whatever to the third church. Yeah. Yeah, that takes some time. Is it faster to go from Kalid or from? I would say that. What do you have? Gate front or Agile Lake North? Um, I've got nothing. Oops. I guess I'll, yeah, I guess I'll do this. I'm actually so upset about this current state of the board, but I'm going to be okay. Going to be okay. Oh, I can get the physic flask while I'm here for the explosive physic, I guess. Oh, and, and I didn't think about the, the Kaled... Like the South Caleb Knights Cavalry. Gino, guess what? What? I don't think I'm ever gonna go for this Lyrnia catacomb. I don't know. It's <laughs> what's what's the issue? The I just think that we have other options for assassins. That I mean, I guess yeah. the assassin is fine. Like I I don't think that we need to worry so much about the synergy with the assassin and the. Mm the shade like i think the play would have been to go to the caleb one and then go to the lyrnia assassin separately like i th i think that because of our oh boy yeah our location of graces that that would be fine how's mm. it going over there well i just i wanted to go through celia to do celia scope because i haven't done it in a very long time oh yeah and are I'm you kinda... holding a heavy weapon in your hand because you should get rid no. of it it makes celia skip weird no 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 i i got it i just wanted okay. to make sure i remembered it all right, we'll see how this goes with um, Sacred Blade. But I, I'm I'm seeing Oof. now that I don't think that there's an, a world where I would I would do this. I'm struggling <laughs> somehow. With what? There we go. All right, I'm gonna go back and exact my revenge. Do you think it's yes. best just to spam the weapon art? On, on this one? On the skellies? On 
Well, I mean, I guess you could kill the skeletons. I was just gonna spam the 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 ray at the shade. Um. Oh no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm definitely gonna kill the skeleton. So this was the worst choice I think we could have made. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Because the skeletons just interrupt you. But the the sacred blade. Oh, you don't even have to. I see. Okay, that's good. Whoops. Oh. I'm killing Grail. Yeah, it's um a good idea. Do you know the quit out? The quit out? Quit out before every baby dragon, they fall back asleep. You can one cycle easily that way. Oh, I didn't know that. I will never go for this shade again. I do not think it's worth, but that's fine, because uh, I did it, and that's the most But is the quit out There's no way that's faster, though, is it? Yes, or maybe it is. it is, actually. It is. It took me a minute and a half to kill every dragon with a plus four ice rind yesterday. Oh, okay. Or whatever day it was. It was insanely fast. Because you get the, No, I, you yeah, get, that makes sense, because you just get a stun. You get it. Yeah, exactly. You guarantee. Yeah, and if I you're using ER that. tool, <laughs> yeah. And the final two, I can show you my route that I took, but the final two, I did not have to quit out for the last one. So. Bro. I don't remember where this is happening. Holy crap, dude. Why does everything hurt so bad here? It's insane. I'm putting out because this dude is being a hero to me. I'm gonna get deaded. Cool. Uh, where was that square? Oh. Okay, so that's, like, not worth it. Oh, Jesus, Christmas tree. Sounds like there's some issues. It's just damage. But otherwise, I'm going, I'm going right past this Knight's Cavalry, but... Like, the... Dragon Barrow one, but I still feel mm -hmm. like it probably is better to just not fight him. No. I mean, you have a plus nine, I guess. What? What is he? Is he a glaive one? Yeah, he's a glaive one. Uh, it, um, they're both basically the same. Yeah, true. So, I'm doing the Black Knife with, like, a sacred weapon okay. upgraded in the Black Knife Catacomb, and it, it's so bad of damage. Yeah. So I think that this is my like in, in the beginning I, w I did want to upgrade before doing this and so mm. this is my indicator that I would have I would have upgraded for this fight because it's it's just taking way too long. Um. So but in, so say we're in a real match right now and yeah. Getting those getting the column five, and and like actually getting all those squares is a legitimate possibility, right? Like, let's say yeah, I... Yeah, I, or... I agree with that entirely. Yeah. So, so what we would want to do in this case is probably just rush that. Like, I would probably go for Garonk, and then you would go for the... Yeah, I'd go for Radon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so let like... me, let me like, mm. try to finish this fight, because I'm just, like, oh, yeah, yeah, already for sure. committing time, and then I would go upgrade my weapon, which I, I, I should have done prior to doing this. I did not realize how much HP this one had. Like, it's a significant amount. Oh, boy. And I went in with no heals and half health, so we're just like chilling right now. I feel like I I'm should dead. have just taken the portal to Garonk, probably. Um, where did you go from? Well, I, I killed Grail, so I went from the central Halid Grace. Um, or wait, did I say I, Garonk? I, I meant Grail. I think uh, going from Third Church would have been a faster option. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Compared yeah. to anything that you would have done, including Sally Um I'm going to work on getting a plus 16 weapon. 
And then that would get me closer to Radon. With getting the fours in Kaelin. Okay. So sorry I'm dropping the ball, but I'm learning important information. And I I, I do think that we would never go for that catacomb that I just did. It was pretty trash. I don't know. I, I, I could see a situation where we go for it. Possibly. But maybe. Maybe I, just... I just it, maybe not. I think it's... Maybe if it's like a... Oh boy. If it's a later game know, and we it's still not open and we have weapons, then I think you go for it. If it's a later game and no one has completed it, sure. Yes. Yeah. In that, exa well, in that, yeah, exactly. In that situation, sure. I don't think this was optimal the way that I did this. I also don't know where the other gazebo is relative to me right now. That's a fucking lobster. I can't remember if Tom told me to do this the way that I did it or do it backwards. Yeah. So honestly, Gino, like at this point in the game, you are better set up for Radon. In theory, had we played this much differently, which we would have. Yeah. Um, I should have been the one pushing Radon, but like in this current moment, I would you would you should go towards him. It just it depends on how much the bingo is worth. Because if it's worth two, then I don't think there's really any way that you would actually want to go commit to trying to get that bingo because it's just too slow. Sure. But if it's if it's like four, then you would. So that's why that's why I said like once once the rules are set in stone, then mm -hmm. then we can like actually figure that out properly. I'm just right sure. now. I'm just trying to I don't know. Just simply do. Okay, squares. I I will go towards I will go towards it. Just dang, those smithing fours are really nice. I didn't even know those were there. Yep. I'll go towards it just to set up my weapon because I can't think of other better smithing fours right now. And it takes me towards the square. Hmm. Um, and then I'm gonna just get the bank grace Oops. wherever it is. Where is the bank grace? Here it is. And then I'll go to Volcano Manor and get the plus sixteen. I'm gonna so I what I'm gonna don't do know probably where these are. I'm gonna do the Knights Cavalries and then I'm gonna do Crucible Duo. I don't think I've gotten another Altus Grace, so. Is Old Altus Tunnel the better one to go for just smithing fives? Or is the Altus Tunnel the better one? Depends. Uh, probably Old Altus is faster, I would have to assume. You think so? They both have a ton of fives in there, though. Altus Tunnel is, like, right here. And old um, Altus, you gotta do... Oh, Celia Tunnel would have been way faster in this situation, you're right. I don't know why my brain just decided to block out Celia Tunnel. Yeah, Celia is good too. If yeah. you're just looking for fives, I guess. I honestly think Altus would be faster for just fives. Like, if I'm not committing to getting this grace and I just drop down, I, I guess I'll let you know the locations of them. This is good to, to look at. Because I've only picked up the mm. ones in old Altus and Celia. Wait, what was what were we saying again? I was I was kind of fighting somebody. Which part? If you're only going for fives, then Celia, right? Yes. If Is that you're what we only said? if you're only going for five, if you're only going for fives, then Celia is the fastest. And Azaz, yeah. it will definitely be faster from the grace. A hundred percent faster from the grace. The grace yeah, is really yeah. really close. Yeah, yeah. Oi. You, you there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, this is good learning for me. I say. All right, and, and yeah, usually, I, I guess, when it comes to actually getting the bingos too, I don't think that the... I don't I don't feel like it's usually the fastest bingo that is, like, actually the play, you know? No, I would like, agree. Usually it's, they're gonna it's get the, the slower ones that it's, people don't think the, to block. It's the slow burn cannot block them until it's way too late and then they're going to desperately commit um, to it bingos yeah. oh, this oh is i guess this guy's quick. so the so that's why i said like is... in, in this game i i think the column five that actually was probably the first thing i saw mm -hmm. if in terms of bingos that's probably there's not a five in here oh there is a five in here okay and then i just die <laughs> no that's good that's good i am intentionally dying because like you're trapped. 
Really so landed on that. The play would be like if you're gonna run into any of these tunnels that you're not otherwise getting anything from, you just yeah. you die your memory of grace. As long as you don't have runes, but yeah. Yeah. Well, you know me. Just living the dream over here. <laughs> With upgrades and runes. <laughs> All right, well, I got my fives, so then the question is six. I guess at this point, the fastest six for me would be Radon's. Yeah. If I was pushing that way, so I guess that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Radon. And I did activate a separate grace. You're not going to Radon, right? Uh, well, I'm going to go kill the Misbegotten for the Crucible Knight. Good. The Crucible okay, Knight yeah. plus the square. Yeah, sure. I kind of like gave up on my square just because of the way that this has progressed and like if I were to play it out, um, I'm just going to play it as we would yeah. have played it. What is this? But I like oh, 100% like in theory if this was real time match, we yeah. would be behind on this square because that's on which one? The glove board. The oh yeah, I mean, yeah, like we would want to coordinate that long before. Exactly. They even have a chance to Long see that. Long before I entered an a catacomb that I will never enter again. <laughs> it's it, it, like I think it's just. Bad, Gino. No, it's what not that bad. Frick? I got like, a where, did on you, all this. Where were the issues? Um, the skeletons, like the tunnel or the catacomb itself was fine, but the skeleton boss. Yeah. I, okay, important, and I forgot about this. Mm -hmm. Um. Fudge. So I'm gonna go towards Urchie Grazing. So the tunnels, yeah, I that's a stupid mistake. So the tunnels and um caves, etc., anything that's like a dungeon, yeah, does not count towards the Radon Festival activation. Right. So I I got the tunnel one and I was thinking that's fine, but that's okay. I'm gonna go towards Urchie Grazing because of the bell bearing theoretically anyways in the future. Mm. Is the choice I would have made. We need that progress. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The other big thing is, apparently, I'm being told in chat, is that it's important to um, show the enemy felled text for anything that oh. you do. Well, what about just sound? Sound no. not good enough? Nope. It has to be. You have to show the text, unfortunately. It's kind of... Like, what's the purpose for no, that? No, Demona. It doesn't count anymore for the uh, the mod. What's the purpose of what? Well, why is the sound not good enough? Uh, because the referees are not always using sound, I think, is the argument there. The referees... Well, what about... So then what about for, text. like... So for Garonk, then... Like, can you... Do you have to show well, the runes rune, coming in, rune or...? Ac rune ac acquisition, yeah. But you have to show it? You can't just... Yep. Like, what if, what if it's after... So what if you time it properly? Mm-hmm. And then... Because when I killed Garonk, I, I fast traveled immediately, but I got the runes after. Like, you could see the bonus runes, you know? No. That's not enough, really? No. Nope. <laughs> Why not? You have to see... You have to show that you've gotten the runes for NPC But kills. you would see them... Oh, boy. I know. Oh boy. I agree with you. Okay, okay. That, but that's just how it is. That's just how it is. Does this door not open unless I talk to Jaren? Okay. I didn't actually know that. Okay. Did you know that? You probably knew that. About what? The um, red main door to the six doesn't open unless you talk to Jaren. Yep. I don't oh, think I've ever tried to just like sneak in here for just this. Yeah, and I guess, you know, like, since we have access to so much stuff, getting the Physic Flask, like, even just going yeah, to the it. pickup mm -hmm. and getting the extra heal is quite good, I guess, right? You mean the, the upgrade? No, just getting the Physic. Like, so that's another reason why I should have probably... Oh, the Physic as a... Yeah, sure. Yeah. ...gone there and then just get mm -hmm. plus one heal, because right now I've been yeah. fighting everything with just base heals, basically. Yeah, base heals is very common for what I've seen with Bingo, unfortunately. You know, he's got the, the baby crap heals. Yeah. Raya hand and grab the six upstairs. Oh, that would have been a really good play. Okay, add that to my ba brain bank. I do like that, because the red main one, like, of course it's there, but you have to do the whole, like, Jaren dialogue. And 
Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. So I think the Raya into the six, really good thought, Hyperion. I wouldn't have thought to do that myself. Okay. <laughs> Just did a little sneaking. Okay, 35 minutes into the match. I'm pretty sure this is still on the board, right, Copium? It's fine. This is all for practice. I'm not going to allow myself to feel pressured. I think I learned some really good things already today with squares I should have gone for. All right, we got another square. Woohoo! What a time. What an absolute crazy. How bad is the Dragon Halberd on Lancia? Yeah, because it's still, like, okay. It's fine. Yeah, okay. Just do horse strats on the back right I guess. Ankle. I guess, yeah, pure physical anyway, so. No Wait, more horse back strats. Gino, Gino and I have only had two practice sessions, so we're not, I, we're not doing matches right now. We're just, we're working on boards together and figuring out how we want to, to play through them. Uh, sorry, what was the question? No, 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 You, I mean, okay. So, not horseback is probably better. Yeah, horseback is easy horseback headshots. Is... What? Like, headshots on Lanciax. Like, bait the bite. Oh, into... yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that is way better. Um, yeah. You're not going to stagger her because she's got, like, near infinite If your damage voice. is low enough, you could. Yes. Theoretically. You can, you can stagger her, but it's not going to really happen um well it just depends if you have a great club you're probably getting a stagger as sure. long as you know how to fight is it because her poise is so high or is it because she has like a weird poise regeneration it's the poise re resistance oh like, the ancient poise. dragons have i believe 120 poise oh. but they have the extra negation on it so Which obviously makes it harder because that means their poise resets like the normal amount of time for 120. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Okay, like I knew that she they had crazy poise, but I wasn't sure what exactly was dictating the crazy poise. All right, we'll see what how a plus 16 hand axe performs on Mr. Radon. Yeah, I'm I'm I like the hand axe a lot. I'm not disliking it. I like the uh, the move set on it. I'm gonna do no summons just for practice and see. But obviously, in this case, it probably would be just faster to do summons in the future. I don't, I, I don't like summons, but yeah, it I, is faster. I didn't until I um like got used to them, mm -hmm. and I just feel like it it can make it a just a faster fight with the stagger. Oh yeah. R1's doing... Summoning is 100% faster. It's just, I don't like doing it, usually. No, I get it, for sure. I, I think one time, I, I'm not sure... I've definitely done it and gotten killed as a direct result of them. Oh, yeah, because you can get body blocked by them, too, right? Like, when you're going for the pull and stuff, like... Alright, well, I gotta stagger on him with it. The, the one thing it's missing, obviously, is the status. That's kind of what I miss. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit by that. Sick! Whoops. Um, I guess... So the fastest small shield is now Ruined Labyrinth. Yes. Um, I kind of, <laughs> I don't remember where it is. Do you go up and to the left? And then left, yes. I don't know what right. the fuck I just did with my life, but it was definitely a choice that I made. Yeah, I guess that's the thing I didn't even think about with Margit's six parries, that you don't even necessarily just have a parry shield. Oh. Ugh. 
Is it faster to go to Bernal? Like, he, he still has parry, right? But I guess he's gone for me. That's actually so annoying. Bernal to get parry? Yes. What? Like, it's I don't even 600. know. I can't believe those hit me. I kind of don't always... have a parry option somehow. There's got to be. <laughs> Do you have South Rail Lucaria? Yeah, I already checked that one. How I'm about not really the sure. Shield parries. How do you feel about those? There's one down here, I think. There's the encampment behind War Master Just... Shack. But yeah. Uh... Oh, the merchants. That's right. Oh, right. Well, there's the merchant by height. And then there is. um. Oh, my God, dude. Come on, Radon. Yeah, maybe it was elevation. I'm not sure because I always dodge that the same way. So there's the medium shield by the. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Parry and retaliation you know I... should be the same, right? Yes. I like that. Yeah, I, I almost would argue, Gino, trying to go towards South Rio Lucaria for the small shields. Check there, because, like, the chances of you... Yeah, I already checked there. Up... Oh, you I did? Checked, I checked two small shields, and neither of them were parry shields, but... Yeah, um, I forgot. Yeah, there's also Stormwall, I guess. Stormwall would be the next best choice, I think, if... Well, I'm, I'm going to Pitya right now, because since I already killed the Retta, but... Okay. Sorry, I got memed by Radon's Meteors. I normally just, like, horse parallel, and I... You know, he had two shots left, and he... Yeah. You All know, good. balled me. Oh, you? I also don't want to tell you what I just did. You went to Last Grace. Is that correct or? <laughs> no. I actually didn't hear what you said. Did, did you like, did you die and then go to Last Grace instead of the stake? No. Sorry, I'm, I don't know if you can tell. I'm fighting. Oh! <laughs> I'm so confused. Just wait. Yeah, storm stormwall would okay, be. Okay, he's dead. So like. Plus 16 axe was fine, but, you know, it was definitely an experience. I just miss status, you know? Like, it, yeah. Well, didn't you go I into just, Celia? You could have picked up the Roth. I should I should have. I did not go to Celia Tunnel for those fives, and there's like a million reasons why I should have. Yeah. Dragon Grease? Dragon Grease doesn't affect Radon, no? Surely he's a dragon. <laughs> uh, apparently he's a dragon. Yeah, one of the greases would have been really nice, but you know, you live and you learn. I'm seeing so much fun stuff this Oh boy. Uh, what's wrong? I'm actually gonna die to a Limgrave enemy. No, you're not. I actually did. Stop. <laughs> you can't die. If you die, I die. IRL. Are you up here? He was dragging something untorn there. Yeah, he was dragging my ass when he melted me with his balls. No, I don't have Sacred Blade. I have Quick Step as my weapon art. Yeah, so, yeah, had you gotten... Like, Sacred Blade just a really solid... I told you I wanted to do that, and you're like, no. You well, I just... It. I thought... I thought you wrong. You don't need that. And then the skeletons subsequently, like, two-shot me, yeah. and they they, they pick, took, like, probably eight hits to kill themselves. But that's okay. I think uh, I'm not upset at all. I, I think that it was really good for me to see, even with the new setup, what that was like. So, yeah, I just I just thought you were asking on the cemetery shades, like in general. Sure, no, no, no I understand. Whether or not it'd be worth it. I know it was not your. I don't think it was your intention to mislead me. I know you just no. want to look really good on the board right now, but um, <laughs> I don't think that you would do that. So maybe though. You are kind of known for your 
Or what? Well, I just, like, have been told. I, I think it was less so when we did co-op together, but, like, I've just been told that, like, during some of your co-op sessions that... Oh, yeah. Sometimes yeah, I you troll. just like... To, yeah, you just like to make, like, do a couple tricks. Oh, yeah, I definitely do that. Yeah. That's okay. I do that, too. I don't know how Tom still plays uh, Seamless Co-op No Hit with me, but... Um, <laughs> It's kind of the same. I like I definitely play the Juno role in that yep. uh, in that relationship. His secret plan to get back to the master room, maybe. Mine? Yeah. Oh, like today? Yeah. No, that that run's probably gonna. No, have to I be wanna on do hold. another board. Can I request that? Today? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can. Okay. We can also do like I think it's good to finish boards just to finish all the squares but also yeah. there is the like concept of like just finishing what you can in about an hour because matches will only last an hour yeah or until you get to 13 squares so did you tell gino about the bird skip incident no so tom called me a bitch last night and it was really funny because like i i just wasn't expecting it it's like yep. one of those moments where you just like don't expect a person to say that to you and then they say it and it's like whoa that was like whoa <laughs> um and then uh but so what happened was um mm. he died on bird skip and then i was like prepared to do bird skip but then he like somehow did bird skip again and forgot his runes were where he initially died on the first jump so then he was mm. trying to do backwards bird skip, but I didn't know that he initiated backwards bird skip when I was doing forwards bird skip. And then we got stuck. <laughs> we got stuck on the ledge and he thought I was trolling him. He thought I did it on purpose. And so he tried to jump around me <laughs> and he died again. And he goes, you bitch. It was insane. It was insane. I just can't believe he thinks I would do that. I just- Yep. Yeah. I think he would do that actually. I actually would. I think he was but... right. He he was right in the sense that I for sure would do that intentionally, but it was not that time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but it sounded like it because I was just like sitting there laughing the whole time. So what are the fastest tree spirits? Because they don't have to be the bosses, right? So I assume. Manor. The one. So Altus. Altus yeah. one. Yeah. Other Altus one. Um, and then probably Stranded Graveyard. Or if you've been in Stormvale, which you have been with Margit, maybe that one too. But I still think Stranded Graveyard if you have a Stone Sword key. But it's a toss up between those two. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the other, like, readily accessible ones. Um. Oh boy. What's wrong? I just got hit oh, by the Lista. I can't believe it. Can't, I guess I do have a god boss. Can't can't believe you've done this. You do have one, yeah. It, it did seem really fast. Did he do stra stranded graveyard or did he do uh Did he do Stormville? I just feel like with Gino Yeah, Stranded Graveyard is definitely very quick, yeah. Yeah, it just depends on those storm, Stone Sword keys if you have them available. Yeah. And then don't forget that the the Rampart one, the the Morn Rampart, has uh, um, one. Uh, the Morn Rampart. So by ailing in Weeping, the Kukri Merchant, essentially. Wait, has... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought... Is dying better a... in this catacomb? I don't remember. I don't know where I'm going. Guys, I don't remember. Is dying better here? Um... Memory or dying? Okay. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Okay. In the future, I'll remember to die. Waiting for Bree to die. Yep. That's our new emote. Waiting for Bree to die. <laughs> what What is it of? Uh, just me getting smacked on, over and over again by an imp. Okay, so this is the door. I see. 
Do I remember this? Remember what? I do really like that column five play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, column five, I think, was... Like, I think if we would have done that soon and I would have just not made the choices that I made, it would have been super good. Well, against against other players, it'll be... Like, it's kind of easier to decide what to do, I feel like, almost. Yeah. I agree. No, I agree, because they... It, you, it evolves as you're playing, essentially. Oh. Ah. Uh. All right, you do not have time for that. Understood. All right, I guess I'll go kill the tree spirits now. I'm going to try the black knife assassins on Altus with this weapon. I'm going to try the invisible one, and I'm going to try the... Uh... Well, no, it's still really? not the best one in this invisible. case. Invisible? Yeah, why not? You have the water. <laughs> well, there's, there's no way that's ever a play. Why? Because it's just it's too far to the way. It's probably faster to get to that than the, uh, the Everjail, or sorry, the Hero's Grave one. No, um, I'm gonna go do the Lyrnia one with this weapon and see how it is. Well, I think... Oh, thanks, I think Link. Thank you. Limgrave one's basically always you do, later. right? Yeah, the Limgrave one is, like, always the one. For sure. Yeah, I guess, then, I guess you're right. I guess it's not that obvious. I think like this one, obviously the the current one, the Lyrny one is the second fastest, but you may have gone up towards the hero's grave. You may have gone up towards yeah. some of these other things for, you know, lightning ram, um, Altus bosses in general, right? Yeah. Like, there's a couple reasons. But yeah, we'll see. Cause this is, I, I, I ultimately did want to do this square with a plus 16. So I, I'm curious to know what this looks mm. like. Cause I think it, I think the HP of this one is quite similar to the Altus one. Do you think the Gelmir Maybe not. tree spirit would be faster than the, uh, whatever it's called, the grave one? Like soldier Godric one? Like no way, right? Mm. What is this? I don't I don't know, Gino. I think you might be right. I think it I think the stranded oh grave one just because of like pure HP. Yeah. Cause the 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 one on Altus is just a big boy. So I think I would choose to do that one if you had not made any progress on Stormmail. So not like Oh well yeah, yeah, I'm I'm saying right now I have done Stormvale. Vale, so like I have that one all set up. It's it's debating whether I do the Um That Gelmir run or the other one. Like which one's faster? I'm plus nine, so maybe I don't know. I, so, I think I'd do the Stranded Graveyard one. Yeah. The Torrenting is fast to that one, but he is tanky. I would be curious, though, to see how the plus nine performs. Um, but yeah, I do want to see, like, I obviously understand that the, the Limgrave one is the play with all, everything on this board, but I do want to see how this weapon performs. Um, well, I don't, I don't know if on, it is, actually. Like based on what I've gotten right oh, now. Right, the assassins. Oh yeah, yeah, assassin. I just want to see what a plus sixteen looks like for the, the Altus plateau. But they don't have that much health. So as long as you're not using holy damage, then. I don't know, dude. That was really underwhelming damage for that Lyrnia one. I I guess I want to look up how much HP it has. Cause it it was a kind of a tank lord. Does anyone know? I mean, I wasn't making the best punishes, but it still is, um... Yeah, like, you can throw in a bunch of R2s on them. Oh shoot. That's fine. Whatever. And the XR2s are pretty I'm good. good. Yeah, I was doing R1s more. I should have just been doing tap R2s. Okay, in this case, that this guy, the Gelmir, runs definitely faster here than... 
Yeah, because the Torn's really quick, and I just feel like your damage is so good. Yeah, my damage across, is really good. And, and so then the other consideration is, you know, do we need Altus bosses? Do we need uh, tiers? Because I think he drops two tiers. Um, yep, you're right. And so, like, there's a couple other reasons why you... Or tree, tree bosses? Is he a... Is, is he, yeah, Alterated Tree Spirit. Yeah, so, like, there's a, a few... No, I mean, the other one's the same thing. I'm just thinking Oops. synergies in my mind. But, yeah, I think... um. I think I'd go for that one. He he's basically the same except for one move that he does. Who? The Galmir one. He has one unique move. Uh, I'm pretty convinced he's got one unique move. What is it? Unless, <laughs> I, unless I can't think it's of just it. like maybe it's because the other ones are confined, so they just don't do it. But mm -hmm. he, he, when I was practicing practicing him the other day. He did like a belly splash. So like I understand that they can do like their normal fire spray like in a general area in front of them. But yeah. He did like a belly splash. So I don't know if it was because he was like somehow hindered with his movement, but it was a very odd attack. Mm, I think they're all the same. I don't know, dude. I would be curious to know. I, maybe it is so rare that I just have not seen the other ones do it before. I a mean, belly. I fought them a lot, but... The only thing that I can think of that's similar is that they have, uh... They have, like, a... You know the head slam? Yeah, the double hands, head slam. Well, right. it's not always a double head slam, yes, though, right? The, 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 yeah. But that's, that's the only one I can think of that would be similar to what you're saying, but... No, 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 no. This Are you is sure it wasn't belly... just like a landing animation that he no, did? No, I promise. I promise. You know, I wish I was recording because I remember thinking it was so odd. I, I remember being like, what the hell did I just see? Yeah. Um, But it, it, it was like his his fire breath. It's like, okay, you know, fire giant's tummy breath. His yeah, yeah. close range tummy breath. It looked like that. From Does a someone have a spirit. clip of it? Because I no, mean... I was practicing offline. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. Cuz uh, I I don't know. I, I like I feel like I fought them a lot and they're all basically the same. The only difference God, is this. Maybe the maybe it type. was something where he just like got stuck in his like normal you know, it's mid mid-range fire breath got like somehow collisioned with something else. Oh, I don't know. Oh, wait. Can you explain what happened again? So he was doing fire breath and then It was so like he i was really close to him it was super uh -huh. close range and then he did this like wrap around and then it it spewed on the ground in front of him you know how normally you could just be in front of him with the long range or mid-range fire breath this like was in front of him like getting me away from his tummy i'm in a situation right now where i have no idea how many how many uh limb grave bosses i've killed I, oh. I totally, I totally forgot Tree about Sentinel. the night ones. Margaret Tree Sentinel, how many knights cast did you kill there? Two? I killed two. So four. Well, and... so I killed, I killed. Oh, I didn't, I didn't kill Godric yet. Oh, I'm at six, I guess. Godric makes sense for the god. So bosses. I killed Margaret. I killed two knights cavalries. I killed Crucible Knight. I killed. No bot, not that attack. He did not do his he did not do his combo. He did not but, do the combo where but he does. But yeah, the, does the hitbox this. on his breath attack is horrible. Like I don't know if that's if you got hit by it something like that. It you, no, I okay. promise, Gino, I wish I had a clip of it because it was so atypical with how it appeared. Hmm. That's like, and I was like, oh, I haven't fought this one very much, so clearly it must just be something he does. But maybe I'm just, maybe it was an anomaly. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta believe me, dude. <laughs> no, you I, don't well, have I, to. I don't know. I think it, it was most likely just something weird that happened. I agree with you, because it seems like no one else has heard of this before. I asked a couple people when it happened, and yeah. I was tired too, so I don't know. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding.
the tracker is definitely nice to have, but it's kind of it's tricky to actually um like make sure you remember to mark stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Black knife, black knife assassins finally down. Huge. I know. I don't want to talk those squares. It's a bad start <laughs> for me. Well, it seems it seems like a good idea to go in that catacomb, but I would agree, and I'm happy that we both. Shut the frick up! Oh my god, I didn't know. Oh. 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 What happened? I use my Redon Remembrance. Oh. It's a massive hit. No, I thought, I thought that was your response to me using the Remembrance. No, I just, I smoked Godric in the face with a Frostbite proc and just a huge, a huge hit. Like 1300 damage. <laughs> I, am the Lord I was rude to the lady because she wouldn't stop talking. Um, how many god bosses do I have? One, two... You know, be honest. We'll yeah. Together. Have you ever died to a mausoleum stepping on you? I don't think so. It's happened twice to me now in bingo. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, not like in matches, but in practice. So, who's the fastest god boss to go for? Go to Froy. Really? God's gonna apostle. Godric. Yeah, it's one of those two. Soldier of Godric. It's a Limgrave boss. Yeah, already. Yeah, I already killed him. Go to Froy. Yeah, I guess so. It's so fast. Just go from the encampment. <gasps> Just go from the encampment. Oh my god. <laughs> that was... It was fine, is what it was. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know about the jump down. That's what you're saying. Why are you not clean? Huh? Clean! Or I know of uh, the jump. I haven't actually... I can show you mine. I, I like mine. Oh, that's not right. Really well, good. Who'd you play with, Zoodle? I forget. Uh, Zoodle, we learned to never go to the Black Knife Catacombs in Lyrnia. Well, I learned. Gino probably will still do it. Yeah, I, I like that catacomb. I like the idea of that catacomb. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the idea of it. Nice. How many did you play? Dang it. Dang it. Oh my goodness, it's outlandishly expensive as well. Okay. Well, I can nearly make it work with the Dex Knot and the Faith Knot. What are you trying to do? I was just gonna, I was just practicing the Remembrance. Um, remembrance only. Remembrance okay. kill. Um, yep. And the only one that's even remotely close to wield is Sacred Relic Sword. Oh, maybe oh, I that's... can. Oh no, no, no! I can do this. Does this sound Faith good? And strength. Oh no, I. Oh boy. Thirty-four. Oh. Twenty is thirty, so I would need twenty. Twenty-four, right? Oh my 20, god. Twenty-three would be. No, twenty-three would be okay. I can do this. I can do this. My game has been lagging a lot lately. I'm pretty sure it's because. It's because of me. No, I think it's because of I, I haven't I updated can't Windows. It's because of me. Oh my God! Yeah, you need to update Windows. Well, no, updating Windows just destroys everything every time. Like you, you update True. Windows, it messes everything up. You don't update Windows, it still messes everything up. So. Also, someone was telling me that you got sniped by the gargoyle before in, 
Outskirts? Is that true? I've been hit by him one time. Okay. Like, out of, like, probably hundreds of times. Like, what happened? Did you mess up, or...? So, I honestly can't tell you if my I had poor stamina management. It was when I was running the Legendary Armament bounty. Okay, yeah. And I just, I was spacing out, and I might have <laughs> had poor stamina, 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 mm. stamina management, and, um... <laughs> I got hit, like, I picked up the golden seeds, and then it clipped me as I just got past the golden seed tree huh. at the top. It was a very <clears> interesting <throat> clip. I feel like it was like a once-in-a-lifetime clip. Yeah, maybe. It kind of sounds like that. Yeah, I, I don't foresee it happening again. Why, who told you that? I, I, I'll i keep them anonymous. Who told you? Who told you? No, I just, I just told you. Who told you? Anonymous told me. Hmm. Oh, it was Link. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Link. Link is willing to admit uh, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Is it better to take the Spirit Spring? No. What? Oh, I did get hit by a squirrel too. Did you know about that one? Yeah, as well? I think I, I saw that one. But yeah, that that was actually yeah, that's, once in a lifetime. Yeah, that's pretty pretty rough. Yeah, it was funny. What's the timestamp of the practice? We're at 107 at 19 squares. And Gino has gotten 90% of them. <laughs> I'm but doing also, the easy ones. Like, I, 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 I mean, when we played the other day, it was pretty even as well. And I just know that. Don't say LOL to that. Don't fucking baby LOL to that. Are you talking to me or somebody else? Someone else, sorry. I would never yell at you like that, maybe. I mean, not yet. Oh my god. Oh. Not sure how much I like the Hubbard moveset on this boss. Which boss? Lance the Axe. Just jump bar two. Mm. You will not lose with jump bar two. I, I believe Landsex is weaker to thrust, but... Oh, the R1 pokes. Um, I kind of am just curious to see what an unupgraded Sacred Relic Sword looks like on Godric. How bad is it going to be? Um... Yeah, I mean, probably not great. Or sorry, not even not even the right thing. Uh, Malekith. Malekith weapon, I went with that one instead. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that'll be fine. Because the weapon art's going to do percent base, right? I've never really used it extensively. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll let you just die to Lance, yeah. No, this, it's just the terrain is so bad. No, I know it's it's trash. Yeah, the whole, the whole section. I, no, I honestly would not yell at Gino ever during matches because, I mean, what good does yelling do at, at someone Bops. during a competition? Okay, I wanted you to stagger. So. You're gonna... Oh my god. What's up, Gino? You're gonna, like, Are you talking force to me in the shape. Huh? Are you talking to Lanciax or me? you did you say force you into shape yeah you're gonna you're gonna like you're gonna coach me discipline yeah, me you need coaching um so <laughs> all right so what sh should i do We're definitely, I, I'm not sure if the board just way faster this time, but. No, I, I think like, we just like remember what we're doing, but this was a fast board. Yeah. And I think that plus nine early was like pretty critical for a board like this. Like, I think if you yep. see a killing board, you just, you go for those upgrade squares and then we kill. Which is yeah, what probably. I wanted to do. And then I decided to just not do it. Right. Um, funnily enough, that's just how it went. 
Wow, the blisters are so staggered on the, the gate front right now. I'm so weird. Thanks, Kami. Cue the training montage music. So do you think... I know you said practice matches maybe the week uh, prior to start. Is that what you're... Is that what we should yeah. plan for a time? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, yeah, I can, um, I'll get something set up for that week. Well, I mean, we also don't have to do practice against our competitors. You don't want to do that. Well... I'm just saying, it doesn't have to be. Like, I'm sure there'd be lots of other people willing to practice that aren't in the competition. That... Oh, you're saying, like, viewers? Yeah. Who, you know, aren't going to learn from our strategy and stuff, necessarily. Mm. But in that case, you know, you know, people are just going to watch, right? Well, we don't have to like... stream it, but yeah. Oh. Oh, I don't even have... Oh. Disaster. But yeah, we don't have to do that, but I'm just, like, it's an option. No, no. If, yeah, I, I see what you mean. Like, I, I mean... scheming, yeah. Practicing with other, with other competitors, it's just like... Why would we, why would we help them, you know? Sure, they could probably help us too, it's, but... Yeah, I think we need to look at it, like, mutually beneficial. Yeah, but I, no, I don't, I don't think so. No? I think I think we could more effectively I mean it just it depends whether you think um you can prepare better than the competitors, I guess. True. Watch out. Yeah, I mean we can crack. still practice uh, for sure. Against people in it. But. Oh, that's a long weapon art, but holy damage. Wow, that's cool. Oh, that's oh, that's a good point. Nobody <laughs> nobody can access the mod. Didn't yeah. re remember that. Yeah. Is is that is it, it ever gonna be something goes public or after the competition? Really? That's actually what it is? Yep. Is there a reason for that? Mm, I don't know. Like, that, okay. It's kind of interesting. Holy god, this weapon is insanely good. What the fuck? Okay, insanely good's a little bit of a stretch. You're using the Black Blade, right? It's on upgraded and just like... Well, it does Black Flame, so... No, or... but even like the Charger 2s are kind of just destroying. <laughs> is this a Colossal weapon? Yeah. So technically... Yes, it is. Colossal Sword. So would this be both a Remembrance Kill and a Colossal Kill? Or can you only get one? Yeah, yeah, you can get two. Dang, as far as I'm nice. aware. It's so good. I, I would definitely do that on Upgraded. I would not even worry about the upgrades if you're doing it on Godric. It was actually so good. But but Dang doesn't it, how much it. faith does it require? Um, 20? So with your starting class and the tier. So I just got the tier and the strength tier. Yeah, okay. Which, you know, obviously is a commitment, but I thought it was good. Yeah, practicing, if Domo's up to, like, I've seen him practicing with other people, but he would definitely be. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, Dom would definitely practice against us. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm just going to go kill him. Killing balls. Isn't a colossal sword and a colossal weapon? No, it has colossal in the name. My boy balls. You're what? No. Do you think this I... weapon art one shots Bogart? Um. Nope. It does not. I repeat, it does not. 
Yeah, that's not surprising. Why are you trying to kill him? For Raya. Oh, yeah, true. Just to do the process. Okay. All right, I'm doing uh, imbued, so. Sounds good. And, and then we can do... race to Finger Slayer Blade. Okay, I win that, but okay. Okay, well, you, okay, we'll see. I won't 100% win that. I've already killed the the Mimic. Why? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, <I haven't. laughs> oh my god, this guy. You should be able to win to it, but... I will. Maybe I'll even do you the You would skip. think. What's, what's the strap for Mimic at this point? Is it Magic Pot or... Like, what do people do? I mean... Just depends kill? on your stat. Uh, is it, like, if you have a plus nine weapon like you do, just kill her. Right? Yeah. 100% just kill her. But, I mean, if you are talking, you know, the, the, the other kill, then I, I showed you one kill that's really fast. Which... Um. Are there are there only three imbued keys in the game? There are yep. right. Yep. Correct. Oh. Uh. Oh. I guess technically the fastest way to. You actually have a leg up on me here. I no, don't. no, 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 not that, not, not that much. I don't. I'm. I haven't even killed Redan yet, so. Yeah. And I'm going to get the imbue keys. True. Yeah, this board was fast though, but we did like, like the board was completed really quickly. And by yeah. completed, I mean like Gino completed the board really quickly, and then I was there for moral support and scream. <laughs> but wait, are there four imbued keys? I no three, unless there is a fourth that I just have blocked out of my knowledge because I don't need it. I don't know, but I was pretty convinced there's only three because there's only three belfry towers, right? I uh, I cannot remember. You killed the annoying stuff, yeah. And I learned the annoying things for us. He did get the souped up weapon. I'm gonna be honest though, dude. Like plus sixteen is still so underwhelming <laughs> compared to any somber, somber nine. Well, it it just depends on what buffs you're getting, because if you had like axe talisman, plus that like R two physic, then. That's True. pretty big That's boost fair. in damage. You're so. right. You're right. You're right. If I had gone out of my way for those things, it's just like I feel like that whole like the axe talisman that section of the map is such dead space yeah. now. Like you don't, yep. you almost never go that way. I guess Oops. if you're doing talismans or tears, then potentially yes, but it feels so. Even then, the twig doesn't count anymore, right? I think I saw. Yeah, the sacrificial twig does not count, so you really only get the axe talisman, and I guess like theoretically setting up for knock run. But yeah, true. But yeah, it used to be niche. always that you would basically go there. Exactly. Huh? Yeah. You the map presence changed significantly with this. Well, it's not even. It's almost not even really a consideration anymore. Mm -hmm. Like the the only thing is getting like capital for map presence, right? Yes. Yes. Which is something that I wanted to talk to you about, actually. Um. The fourth key is the friends we made along the way, yeah. So, when I did some practice, um, all of my practice matches, I think the most important thing was being cognizant of, like, the two long game pathways that, like, I feel like you're commonly seeing are Capital and yeah. Underground to Fia's yeah. Champs. Right. So, the worst situation that I, I found myself in playing matches was when I was the only person that could do both of those things. 
So yeah. I think like when we look at boards, the most like one of the most important things is to identify are there two obvious pathways that have a lot of squares blocked behind them? And if so, we need to plan accordingly for that. Because yep. yeah, when you're split, you, it's just impossible. So I think that's one of the biggest considerations. And maybe the biggest consideration for long boards. Um, and then, yeah. like, in theory, I have seen some matches where you have, um, not, not myself necessarily, but watching other matches, um, sometimes it's easier to, like, Delegate it so such that as like you're a killer and I'm a collector or vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes that works out nicely if there is an even split um, between the squares. But I, I again like if that one collector is stuck with no character development, then yeah, like, yeah. they're kind of floundering at the end of the match. Yep. So I guess we'll have to talk about if like we ever do want to take those roles. Or if we think, like, even if we sacrifice a couple, couple collection squares, having the long game development might be more important. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know why I'm going this way. Oh, oh, no. No hit pathing just took over my brain. No! Yeah, I, th I think probably most of the time, um, preparing for, like, longer maybe, is maybe better. I'll give you the best nut ever. I agree. But, of course, it depends on the board. Like, this board is kind of... No, even this one, like, even if game. you want to say this is, like, a faster board or something... True. You still, like, getting upgraded is still basically the most important thing. I can't really imagine a board where not... Like, skipping all the upgrades would be better. True. And especially with oh. bingos not ending the game immediately. Yeah. Um. All right, where are you at? I'm just getting the last key. Okay. Good, I just wanted a little intel on my competitor. Well, there's no possible way that... I don't know, I'd dude, be able the to... is pretty scary and I have a lot of health. I'm really worried about her. Oops, I already made a mistake. If, imagine if imagine I beat you to this somehow. There's no possible way I could, right? No, I, I actually think it's impossible at this point. <laughs> There's no way that you're gonna jump off a, a roof and Do you know the skip by the way to the finger slayer blade? Oh wait, no, but don't That's banned. have you killed Loretta yet? I just did a little bit ago. Okay. Um Sorry, what did you say prior to that? You, like, you know the skip do down of the skip. blade? You, oh, yeah, the finger slayer skip? Yeah. I know that skip. Can I do it 100% of the time? No, but I do know it. Yeah, I need to practice it a bit more. Yeah, same. Wait, so the, the wet blade square got removed, right? Is that correct? Yeah, it did. What was the reason for that? I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I liked it. I just felt like it like forced us into... I don't know. I just thought it was an interesting square. But Well, I, I like that, that it, it forced you to go into basically one of the legacy dungeons, right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And like, I don't know. Like, I feel like Stormvale feels really dead to me again like i feel like there's a lot of 
I mean, I guess there's Crystal Knight, True Spirit, and Godric, God Boss, I suppose. But yeah, I don't know. I just like having a little bit more synergy towards those remembrances, or like towards Renala even. I felt like it made a little bit more sense for me. All right, let's see. Oh, damn. No way. Oh my god, that's What did crazy. you do? Redan survived with like pixel HP. Well, that's what he did to me with his balls. I think he's just on something. He was really weird for Tom and I, but we were also doing seamless last night and it just gets really weird sometimes. But he's on something for sure. How close are you to getting the blade? Really close. Okay. Did you kill a rudder already? Yeah. Why? Did you do that like in between the imbued keys? No, it was it was literally a square. Oh, it was. <laughs> Sorry, I was like too busy dying to the fucking skeletons in that shit ass catacombs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think a lot happened when <laughs> when you were in there. Yeah, when I was mad. Like I was just going around killing stuff. I know. But I will never make that mistake and I will be No, I, will be I a think better it's, partner. it's it's simply Don't just I needing to practice that catacomb. I'm <laughs> sure that maybe that too, but I had like 12 vigor in the skeletons. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do so much damage. And, but no, if I had a plus 16, it would have been very reasonable. Yeah, yeah. All right. Are you, like, telling me that I have to do the skip in order for it to be a valid win? No, I'm just... Is that what you were suggesting? N uh, sure. <sighs> Can't believe you'd do this to me. Well, I don't I don't really remember the setup for it, so No, it applies to you as well. No, I think we're gonna do one more board after this if Gino's up for it. Sure. It's up to you. I can always do solo practice as well. But I think it is really helpful playing with you, I'm not gonna lie. Like I it just helps me to know what your preferences are. Yeah. I can't believe you don't want to play against people. I think it would be good for us. I no, I, I will I will I, advocate for some practice matches because I do think that having that pressure and having to pivot from squares. No, no, is I, no. Really yeah, we should practice with people, but I, I no, I didn't say that we shouldn't. You you literally did. No, no, no. You did. Don't gaslight me. You did. I literally did not. I said the whole week before we should practice matches against people. Oh, and when you when you said when you said that, I thought that's when you transitioned to well, maybe viewers. Well, yeah. Well, okay. Well, what people do you mean here? Because the competitors. Okay. Well, are the viewers not people too, or the viewers are definitely real people and very talented people, but they are not our competition that we could learn how to get in their brains. I. But we've already played against them. We already know. We already know what they do. But yes, we can practice against the other competitors, though. I knew that was going to fail. <sighs> <laughs> Did you die? No. You quit out? No. I died. I'm catching up, except I still have the entire quest line part to do, so I'm still like a mile away. He has to do the skip too, so it's fine. Yeah, I cannot remember the setup for it. I think Azaz showed me it at one point, but I, I just can't remember. Yeah, I think this was Azaz's setup that I'm trying to do. Is Aquito better here with the mimics? Uh, I don't think you need to quit out. They follow you. We'll just do it quickly. Thanks, Gino. Fucking balls. Is it better to use keyboard for your directional? Um, in this game, you don't really have to, but it's obviously, but it's definitely better for lining up like on the compass. I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work. 
if you, I, I actually don't know if it works because I, I only practice this with my controller. Maybe I'm on the wrong. Oh, that's not right either. Am I in the wrong pillar, Azaz? I feel like I'm going for the wrong pillar. I think it's the lit pillar that I usually look at. I feel like Have you already talked one. to like oh, Randy and all that stuff? Sure. This one. You've okay. already talked to Randy, right? Okay, I did it. Um, yeah, it's. I'm about to pick it up. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was Arham showing the setup potentially. Go, go, sprint. All right, I got it. Uh, GG's, dude. But see that huge delay between saying you got it and marking it? Yeah. That's why you need that's why you need to use your second PC to have the bingo application up. It's so try hard. Yeah, but it's it, it's actually like it's so much better though. I believe it. Because then you don't have to do any tabbing or weird manipulations. I believe you. Do you actually want me to set up my old PC to have the bingo board up? Well wait. Do you stream from one PC? Yes. Oh. Okay, My well, PC is perfectly equipped to do streaming from one PC, and it doesn't, it's not going to benefit me in any way to have a two PC set up. Really? Okay. Okay, yes. well, if that's the case, then yeah, it's not worth setting it, it up for it. But it I just, is. I thought you already streamed on two PCs. No. No. No, not, not since I upgraded my PC. I went full full upgrades on everything i it's two pc still really good though like i i highly I do recommend i do believe it i do believe it you stream like your streaming comes from your separate pc and then you run your game on your primary pc yeah so that you have less um i mean i guess mostly cpu usage but also gpu well Depends on a lot of things, it, but I know, yeah, yes, yeah. But yeah, I used to I I mean, even on like a decent PC streaming and playing Elden Ring at the same time, I would still get the occasional eaten inputs and like spikes on stuff. Sure. Which just doesn't really happen anymore, except for now this Windows update nonsense, but I don't yeah, I feel like it's been really good for me. But yes, I do I, I would agree for the bingo board specifically. It would be really nice, Gino. Um, okay, do you want to take a break and then do another board? Or what do you want, sir? Your time uh, I don't need is... a break, unless you want one. Can I just go use the restroom really quick? No. Okay, I'm going to go use the restroom really quick, and <laughs> I'll be back in a couple of minutes, and then we'll okay. do another one. Can you guys develop a new seed for us? Why are you asking me or your chat? Your chat. Oh. I lumped you in with you guys. How does it feel? Okay. Are, have you left yet? I can't leave. Goodbye. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, we gotta. We simply gotta do the practice. <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. I. It depends. It depends on if. Like, it actually is a really big advantage to have certain strats that you know, but nobody else knows, but I'm not sure. Like, you, you can't... I like guess basically, that's what I... In Season 1, that's what I did, right? <laughs> with, the, with the Stormhawk Axe. I just waited until the matches actually mattered to start using it. And then... You know, that's what happened, but I feel like at this point, it's probably less likely for something that big, a, big of a, a deal to... Just nobody knows. And and some people might think it's like too try hard and whatever, but I mean it is a competition to be fair. So Yeah, the lines so the lines are gonna give you bonus points. And so that's why in the case with this game, I think Bree said that column two was probably the fastest one she saw, which is probably true, but since since you know, bingos are so fast, like a a bingo that's that quick. It's very unlikely that you're just going to be able to go uncontested. I think she deafened, dude. I thought I was talking to her chat, too. Apparently not. Um, 
Uh, I think I think I know about the Lanciax cheese. Like, you mean just getting getting her stuck? Dude, she didn't want she didn't want her chat to be influenced by me or something, dude. Oh man, I'm <laughs> not sure if I'm gonna stream tomorrow, you guys. We'll have to see. Currently have a 39.5 Celsius fever. Well, hopefully uh, that gets fixed, dude. I don't actually, I don't have a fever right now, but I kind of do at night. But yeah, we finished this, we finished this board relatively fast. I mean, we were done 13 squares in like 45 minutes, I feel like. Um, But yeah, like I was saying though, you know, she pointed out column two as a quick bingo, but like I was saying, generally the quick bingos are also quick to block. And it's it's usually those longer game bingos that actually end up happening, right? Where, you know, map presence plays a role. In this type of bingo, it's gonna, definitely going to be much harder to bingo. Because people can, can just, like the map presence isn't as big of a deal. But I think we legitimately could have gotten a bingo on that column. Um, I guess I also, what did I miss here, dude? Um, Unmedicated Theory, thanks for the six-month resub. JP, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Uh, Eluro, thanks for the nine-month tier three resub as well. Thanks so much, dude. Uh, Chubby Willy, thanks for the two-month Prime sub. Competent, thanks for the 10-month Prime sub. And Rattle Labone, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Bushy Tom and Kata have spreadsheets. Dude, really? <laughs> that's so funny. Man, that's crazy. People really take this seriously, huh? That's that sounds pretty intense. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna make spreadsheets on stuff. But hi, Gino Machino. Why, why did you? Why did you deafen me? Because I knew you were going to talk to my chat. Yeah, but what? But what's the problem with that? Because I was just a little worried about what was going to be said to my chat. What, what could I have possibly said? Like, so many things. What is one example? I cannot say. That's why I deafened. What? Um, my board, like... Crashed? I can't. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Are you ready for new board? Well, uh, as soon as we figure out a seed. Yeah, your chat was supposed to develop one for us. Uh, the seed is seed. No. Seed, no caps. No. <laughs> I okay, veto go, it. Garf, garf, no caps. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I'm I'm getting getting some intel that everyone's making spreadsheets on how fast squares are. Yes. <laughs> Gino Gino season two bingo was like a day job. Like like Well you it sounds like it, yeah. Like yeah, actual bookkeeping occurring and like intensive timing occurring. Four squares. Oh, Dom <laughs> says Ordina does not count as an Everjail. What is it? 
Ordina does not, or Ordina, however you say it, does not count as uh, ever jail. That, that is, that, I don't like that. I think that if he doesn't want it to count as an ever jail, then it should say yeah, complete yeah, bosses. for ever jail bosses. Kill for ever jail bosses. Simple. Yeah. I think that that it should be in the language then because technically you are completing an ever jail if you do Ordina. To be fair, it's also not like a fast one either, but. Yeah, I, I wish that Elmer was considered a bell bearing hunter. Oh, because... I just realized. What? There's a shit ton of assassins in there. There are, and they're really tanky, and they're also invisible. Well, you just got the sentry torch, and could. Yes, it has been considered. You can try it next time if you'd like. Um, are you yeah. ready for me to start the board? Sure. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, torches are randomized. Yes, they're in the weapon pool. You're right, Kami. Yeah. We're Gino Machino. Or Gino Machino. <laughs> yeah, we're just Gino Machino. Like, that's our team name. It's just Gino Machino. That would actually be so funny. <laughs> it would really play into the perception of <laughs> how everyone makes me feel about playing with you. You don't have to try. Your partner's with Gino. Just like Gino Kilmania. <laughs> Don't blame me for that. Blame them. No, I would never hold that against you. Um. Gino okay. plus one. <laughs> I see a Gil and kill three friendly NPCs. Um, I see lightning ram ash of war. Yep. I see worm face to center square. Yep. All right, I'm going to start with the flame burge, I think. I think that's the best one. Yeah, I see that on the starting class. It has really good stats too. So, so one of us does a gill, I would assume, right? Mhm. Mm Who wants to do a gill? I'll do a gill. Okay. Do you want me to do fast agile or can I do torrent agile? Well. So there's one person that I've seen so far has done a non torrent agile and he got the best RNG I've ever seen in my life. I would usually do non, but it depends. Because in this case, like, if someone else is going to be rushing for it, mm -hmm. there's nothing else that a agile does for you. So if you just lose on that lose out on that square and you like I don't know, I just I don't think it's tough. It just depends how well you know what to do, I guess. I don't think I have a good setup for non torrent agile yet. I would need to work on a setup for non torrent agile, like a specific place to stand to hit yep, the head yep. and guarantee yep. the stagger. So I think at this point well, I would do torrent agile. Well, you can't. You're so sniffly. I feel so bad. <laughs> you, you can't get a scripted stun, as far as I'm aware. But I don't. Think but you but like you, you don't fight him on the horse, you're, right? No, no. I'm just saying, get torn, go to. Okay, a okay, okay. Yes. Which is. Oh, uh, what three else? Is it? A sleeping plus. golem, I guess. Um. There so is... I don't know what to do. Tomer plus nine's also there. Where the hell is sleeping golem? Uh oh I see here. On five, row three. There's not much else in weeping. I guess sacred flask plus seven goes with that. I could do those. I could do a gill plus zero into sleeping golem into sacred flask, because there's the oh. three tiers in weeping. Yep. Um like so three NPCs is relatively fast. Very fast. It's the next most oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah. What is so heavy here? The first weapon. My precious. Yeah, Golem. Yeah, I love this armor set. It's one of my favorites in the game. I am heavy loading still. 
classic heavy load. I also need to work on grafted scion. That that's on my list for practicing. Um, yeah, yeah. I I mean I that, I feel pretty, pretty, pretty good about scion, but. Bunda, there's an inherent timer to this. I don't think like we're being not considerate of time, but right now I think we're just learning squares and how we want to play the boards. Um, All right, so I'm you're doing a gil. Gil. Yeah, I'm going to try huh? a gil. What were you saying? I had not heard what you had said prior to me. Um, I'll probably... So three NPCs is probably... Very fast. Vari, Bok, yeah, yeah. and then Bernal or Alexander mm. or Height or Yora. Fastest is probably Yura, but... If you can kill Yora fast, then yes, it would definitely be the... I would consider it faster than Bernal. I think I almost feel like Bernal's not even an option. He's, he's too he's too tanky and too slow. Okay. But I'm uh, gonna skip first step, Grace. I hope that's a fine choice. Okay, I was gonna do that too. Actually, just kidding. Makes no sense. For you, Vari is there. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's two duelist bosses. I didn't see that. Yeah, I don't know why, guys. I also couldn't. Like see this golem square, but yeah, it's the teleporter and weeping peninsula, which is why it kind of goes with the tears there. And I haven't done the tears collection in a while, so you have the one at third church technically. Um, you have the three in weeping. I'm just, I didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> I'm just going over the best sacred tears now because okay, I feel yeah. like they might be different. So weeping is fine. There's the three there; they make yep. sense. And then. There is the Kalid one, but that one's kind of up in Celia Skippy. It's kind of, um, it's, it's there, but it's not ideal. It's There's, weird now with the other graces, right? Because I know. I guess the one that's uh, next to Foot of the Forge isn't really good anymore. We yeah, because we don't have Foot of the Forge. Yeah. Patches is considered an NPC boss. But it's only there's some weird thing. It's only if you kill him, right? The it's rule? A, when it's when you kill him, like you let him do his little grovel thing. But I, but and I thought there was something where you. Him. I think you have to do the dialogue. I would have to like relearn this, but you have to like forgive him so he becomes friendly, right? But I thought and you then... weren't allowed to do that. The rules. Like I thought you weren't allowed to get like. Friendly NPC plus. You cannot do both. You, like you, you can't forgive him and get like you can't get a boss and a friendly NPC. You right. can only yeah, do yeah. one or the other. Right. Exactly. Okay. Had a servant, you. I can play turning wood to aid you. you I suppose there is the frozen lake one. Me. Ah, I bequeath. Nah. It will be it's just well, kind of just... far out there. Yeah, but seven's a lot though. I can't believe he didn't stagger. Help us out, Cully. Okay. How? Now, you too, is it? The story of. Mom. I feel like since. Okay, so if if people are really timing stuff, and. Like I'm, I'm. That is actually something that I did time in season one. Was which three NPCs were the fastest? So probably mm -hmm. most people will go for Yura if they're going to go for it. I think so. But it is riskier. The good at Gale. really good RNG. It was very fast. With Torrent, of course. If you were to do that, um, yeah. Without Torrent, it would be like three and a half. Maybe faster. Hello? So I was thinking of like collecting the tiers here, the three tiers, and then I was going to go do Sleeping Golem. And then continue continue on. Kind of what my brain is telling me. I see. I see it now. Humans all lose their wits at the end. Oh. Then there's nothing left to say except... How are you doing with those NPCs? Good. <laughs> Good. 
Yeah, Gestock, Gestock is an option, but unfortunately, like typically, Gestock. Yeah, Gestock at Stormfist. <laughs> yeah. How no, do you no, say he's, it? he's no. Wait, what would you say? How how do you say it? Gostock. Isn't it an O? Gestock. <laughs> how do we say every single word differently? Oh, the steeple's in the uh, oh hell yeah, Lord Take Swarm on. chest. Let's go, hell yeah, dude. That's my favorite weapon in the game. Really? Aren't you from the cool. same country? <laughs> no. Okay, so Halig Tree, I guess. Halig Tree Italian. I'm I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go go get a plus nine right now. I'm gonna up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that square. For us um I'm, because there's nothing finish. really else that i mean sure there's lightning ram and i don't know you agree oh we we both missed o'neill yeah i saw o'neill i don't want to do just, that yeah i don't like doing that square either like, it especially, is just nice because it's a corner square but i don't like oh that square oh, this avatar is so annoying are you killing avatars currently? No. I'm just getting the 50k. Mm. I guess there's... A oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. I'm going to see how this is with a plus zero. I mean, I guess it's a great sword, but... Yeah. Is there any anything in Volcano Manor? This... No. All right, wait, so are you going to go plus 16 or I kind of... <laughs> yeah, and I'm wondering if I should have done that before I'm going for the golem. I'm at the golem tower. No, I, I think it's fine. Like, I, I, I really think no. that in the early game, one person... One person upgrades, one person does quick stuff. Because you don't want to like you don't want to fall yeah. too far behind, right? I I think, but yeah, I agree. You like you don't you can't sacrifice all all of the early game squares just to get set up. But yeah, I agree. But yeah, I can do plus sixteen. I'll try it again. We'll see how the 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 flamberge performs. So in this case, what's the best six for me to go for now? Because volcano manor is not a good play. Um. What were the options again? The Falling Star Beast dropped, a, or was it was that a five? The Falling Star what... Beast dr drops, drops one six. Three times five, one six. I forget which six is. Oh, I guess was it Volcano Ooh, Manor? I don't like this. Volcano Manor for smithing six. Yeah. What? Or Radon. Well, yeah. Which is what I did last time, and I didn't like it. I hate it. You think? Do you think it's just faster? It, it must be better to just kill the, the troll, right? Especially since I already popped my runes. Oh, I don't have a the troll for what? For the old Altus, because I kind of went there. Oh, like just to get out? Yeah. You know what? Maybe. Wow, I really thought I was on the other side. Okay. Maybe Volcano Manor is. I think it might be the fastest six for me. Is Volcano Manor? Whoa! I think I just double. I think I just double hit his legs. Whose legs? The golems. I think I just. That sucks. No, 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 no. It was interesting. No, I died is what I was saying. Oh, sucks. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, this. I, I should figure out a better path into this uh, tunnel. Oh. oh. I 
see. Ki ki kind of. I see. Oh, I'm trapped. You can hit both of his legs with one swing for the poise. It, it like, double... It, it builds up poise. It's two times. Right. I didn't I didn't know that it would register twice. I honestly did not think it would. I Imagine actually it. had no idea you could do that either. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go learn about the Volcano Manor 6. You know what? I guess it's not, like... Not necessarily the worst idea ever to have two people or like have one person get the somber nine square plus the um oh i do i uh, sorry you're saying like the somber nine us? and the plus 16. yeah that's what i was going for yeah i'm or just saying that? like it, it's possible that one person we could get both Oh, yeah, true. 100%. Potentially. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do think Castle Soul 6 might be faster. I don't know. It depends on how quick I can get through this area. But yeah, Ca Castle Soul is really, really fast. Oh, Castle Soul is 100% the fastest 6 then. Well. If it's if it's truly in that room right before Nile with the screaming cages, then yes, it is. There is one there, yeah. So... Yeah, and there's no other reason to be in Volcano Manor. So I'll get oh, this just... grace for practices later, but um, I'm going to go look for that that one at Castle Soul. I kind of messed up. I, I forgot the nine in Hallig Tree. That'd be a disaster. Uh-oh. Yeah, Rancid. I think it's because I was double hitting the legs. It was really weird. I, I honestly did not know it would register poise like that twice. I guess that's good to know. At least this class has some good starting vigor. Yeah. So what eight or what nine should I get then? Like, should I just go back? Um, I think that's the only one that's really close. Oh, um, Emma, is there any way that you could post it on my Discord so I could look at it later? Because I am very curious about what we saw. Thank you for doing that. I. Okay, so in the room here, apparently, there's a six. Damn, that's such a good six. Thanks, Ninja. That is such a good six. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome, Emma. I, I just can't look at it right now when we're practicing. We're trying to simulate speed. What on earth is the point of this Halley Tree elevator? Um, Something I've tried to think, I, I've tried to figure out since the game came out. What is the point of the one that they gave us access to? The the what? one that we used to get the Lord's Rune? Yeah. Just in case you want to go back to that area. And re relive it. Oh, I don't like where I'm going. Oh. Thank you. There was also an item on the ledge drop before we were picking up the legendary item in the church. I need to check. There was also an item on the ledge drop. Are you saying that you're thinking that might also be a six, Azaz? I, I think I know what you're talking about. The one that we, the drop that we did in armaments. Also, does anyone know if these are the fastest twos? I feel like they have to be. How much uh, does a boiled crab cost? I think there's 600 a piece. Okay. I think I think there's 600 a piece. <clears throat> Chat says yes. Mmm, that'd be great, Azaz. Okay, so we decided that in the case of um no other like compelling reason to do like old altus that the Kalid um the Kalid tunnel is the fastest fives and I think that is correct. Yeah. It's also easier curious. to run out of the Kalid tunnel too, right? Like Yes. When you're in old Altus, you're kinda of stuck down there. Yeah. 
True. That's uh, that's a really good Which point. Which is quite and, it, and it's imbued keys too. So there's like a couple prerequisites that make it a little annoying. All right. I'm yeah, about to I'm get gonna the get the rock nine. for sure. So we have an incant and sorcery square. And you're doing, you have um, steeple, yeah? Yep. So then you would theoretically. I, I would probably go to your... worm face because it's center and. Yeah, I would 100% do worm face now. Um, yeah, and then, yeah. And then, like, I'm just thinking for those remembrance squares, you would probably do the sorcery one because you're going to have more intelligence than I am. Because isn't it like 22? I have no idea. I'll have to find out. I believe it is 22. And then at least you can get the in tier if you need it there. I don't actually know where the best fives are here. One, two, oh, all of these are? Where's the other five? It is 22, yep, yeah, 22 that and... one? No. I actually don't know where these fives are. Is it behind here? I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't get the graves. I think it's behind the shack. Good learning opportunity. Yeah, I think you're right, Rafa. I think it's behind the shack. I'm so happy that I chose to get the grace. <clears throat> yeah, so now that I'm plus nine, I simply kill. Yep. Worm face and then probably Garonk yeah, after that. The Commander O'Neill is another corner. Yeah, I am... Um... I like a really, really, really like column three. <laughs> Cause it's like, you can be really sneaky yeah. about it. And if you have a plus nine, mm -hmm. I don't want to put fire giant on you, but like you could easily do fire, not easily, but no, it would be very easy. You can do fire giant plus nine. And then yeah, I, could do I guess the avatars cause I had yeah. weeping and then either of us could do miss beyond crusader. Yeah, that's true. I just, yeah, I just don't like the collection, but. No, I don't like the collection either, but the collection can be really sneaky. Like, you can try to w make them waste time, but one of us could have already been working towards sorceries, theoretically. Yeah, again, it kind of just depends how how many bonus you get from bingo. Yeah. True. Oh, I do I? still like, like that we're setting up and things like that, so. Okay, I'm actually getting out of this tunnel. Very cool. If I remember how to fight the worm face properly. He's such an annoying fight for me. I really dislike him. Yeah, the, it makes it a lot worse that there's so much garbage around his arena. Yeah. No, like when he's on flat and randomizer, it, he's perfectly fine. Exactly. It's like the, it's not even just like the terrain. It's the bogus, um, now the rocks. extra enemies too. Yeah. Yep. Classic Elden Ring. Yeah, kind of. I still don't know the oh. best sacred tears to go for. Um, I'm gonna get my plus 16 and then I'm gonna give it some thought. I'm but... not rolling. Oh, that's less than ideal. How much money does it cost to upgrade to a plus 16? Does anyone know? Depends on the weapon. Mm. I'll find out if 11k is enough. We'll see really quickly. The one thing that I really love about this mod is that you don't get Melina people talk. Um pretty much at all because like regions are already basically found. Did I not get ones? I I think this is the fastest ones. You get yeah, see, like all this no, is No, you don't get Encha. If we actually got this in a game, look how quick we are setting up a bingo here. Yeah, no, this is really good. I love the squares that we've taken. Like, so I in think... a real game, probably mm -hmm. I would go kill Elmer at this point. Or at least consider it. I would 100% kill Elmer. It's really, really, oh really, really good pressure. And I'm basically set up to do Redon, theoretically. Um, so I could even force it. But I would, I would, um, I might even kill Redon for a little bit of character development. Yeah, I, that's kind of why I wanted to finish the Sacred Flask plus seven. Which I'm still considering. I don't know what the fastest flasks are anymore.
the the church up by um okay so the church by eleonora that does not have mm -hmm. a tier right it's the one by the assassin that has the tier or does eleanor, uh, eleanor one in altus does have a tier yes okay Third church, Eleanor, Stormcaller for six. The gods demand repentance. Is Stormcaller the Borealis Lake, Hyperion? Yeah, that's that's you know what? Like that I'm not gonna have the money. There's for this. there's a lot of stuff around that church. Like there's the there's the summer bell bearing. Um, I just oh like it's not a big yo, deal. Yo, Dan, thanks so much for the uh, fifty dollars again, dude. Dang, it's insane, it really... man. Do not have to do that, dude. It sucks that that's like <laughs> just the path that I feel like we're all gonna end up taking. I, it's not the biggest deal. So sorry, which one? The Halig Tree roots for the money. Yeah, I mean, probably I no matter only... what, there's gonna be something like that. Yeah, because then I have the money for sorceries too, technically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's gonna be double of what I just spent. Yeah, I need to. I need to get more familiar with that Halig Tree section or the. Alpha L section because it's kind of I don't really explore there too often. And there's a bunch of room pickups, a bunch of upgrades, all that stuff. Yeah, there's it's an interesting area for sure. Yeah, this is you know what this is a board where it's very easy to get a lot of bingo pressure on, and I feel like mm -hmm. just with the way maybe all maybe probably agree. all the boards are going to be like that. No, I, yeah, I think so. Well, did you hear that Zoodle and Pup got a double bingo on uh, oh. Josh and Bushy today? So it sounds like there happen? was just like a, a, a collapse of squares and lots of snipes is what it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. Probably just like early game mistakes and it just, it, it can crumple so quickly. Yep. Um, yeah. And if you're not set up, like if, if you lose out on those early game squares and then nobody set up for you and you lost mm -hmm. out and mm -hmm. you have like zero compensation at all. Exactly. And you're yeah. just toast. Yep. Especially when a player doesn't like people don't make mistakes. Yeah. No deaths is really, really, really huge. Which in season one, people made mistakes, but I don't know. I like people. I mean, people always make mistakes. There's no way. Definitely. Like season two, people still made mistakes, but like even, yeah. even then, like, there was lots of players that are just so efficient with their pathing, right? Like you have people timing, yeah, like almost every, every running section. So yeah. even like one death can be completely minimized by just optimal pathing. Yeah, I mean, I still yeah, think I people do, die, and I guess I guess I don't getting know. this grace first is better, and then going back for the church. I don't know what the right call is. Uh, sorry, repeat what you said. Well, people are gonna die. Yes, they will. They will with the pressure. They will. I died on Noble the other day, and I haven't died on God's King Noble in such a long time. It was so frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like most most of the main bosses I fought a lot at this point. So. Does anyone know if Eleanor's Church is faster from Ultis Junction or the one that I just got? Probably Junction, but. I also went back to Junction. I think that's correct. She's going to invade me, right? Um, probably not. Usually, it's a a noble there, as as long as you haven't like progressed the quest. But if you killed Yora, okay, so we're good. Well, Got it's it. yeah, well, it's not quite that, but not unless you kill Yora. Okay. Or well, I, I think Yura has to be dead, yeah. Okay, I guess in this situation, we are going to quit out. I don't like these tears. They're annoying to get to, but it is taking me towards the Ash of War. That's fine. I just, I, I, I hate these collection squares. They actually are so yeah, annoying. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't feel like I'm doing anything. Well, it's it's more the... Like, I think the Sacred Flask one is okay because at least you're going around and you're making your character stronger, but the sorceries and... Oh, like, that one's the worst. Mm-hmm.
I'm gonna do Knight's Cavalries. Okay. I'm working on oh. my Sacred Flask still. And then... I'm gonna... I was going to do the Lightning Ram Ash of War once I get this... What's wrong with you? Nothing, just this guy's being annoying. And that's a nice hitbox right there. <laughs> yeah, Knight's Cavs are, will do that. I guess there's the tier... Or the... The seed. I don't know if this one's worth getting though. I'm gonna die. I'm not getting that seed. Fuck that seed. <laughs> the catapult one on it's... Ultis is just. I'm yeah. not going towards it. I have such little vigor. I'm really not liking these gravestones down in the from the Weeping Grace. Like, it's kind of oh. weird. There's... It's just like You're... not a gravestone. The new grace, the rune lab labyrinth. You're doing that jump down. No, no, no. I'm, I'm the weeping. Oh, the ailing. So yeah, so I can teach you where I run off. Basically, you just run off and then you do a jump back to a broken, a broken stone. What on earth is that? Necessary. I have a plus sixteen smithing hyperium. But yeah, I knew about the Somber 5 on that tier. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if this was the move to do this all right now. Oh, Which you one? didn't die? Crazy 1 HP Dung Beetle. Um, I'm still working on the plus seven, but I kind of... Yeah, I think... It might have been... in the Like, plus seven's kind of slow. It's very slow. So, I, I feel like most of the time that's probably a later game one to go for. I know. Yeah, I agree. I, like, got most of it set up. And then I got the Lightning Ram Ash of War, so I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm gonna do that, because that is a very rushable square. Mm -hmm. Like, it's... Sure. Definitely possible to rush. And it does build into a line. I think creating like as much pressure as possible in like enough areas is, I don't know. I kind of like that instead of just like forcing one line if we're not like fully committing. Just depends. Yeah, I, 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 cause mm -hmm. at first, like, I don't know if you remember practicing with me for some like other bingo thing, but Remember at that point, I was thinking like, yeah, I just want to force people to do something that's bad. Yes, that was like but, always your... Yes, I remember because you forced me into gar gargoyles. But then the more I did it, the more I realized like, you just, you don't want to just do the same thing every time. Like, you just want to determine whether or not it makes the most sense to do it that way or not. Yeah. Because sometimes it's like, it just depends on the situation. Mm-hmm. I agree. But then also, so, yeah, and then if people... If people know that you just leave lines for them or, or leave some hard square, then they just mm -hmm. don't do it and they leave it. And then, you know, if you just go and do it, then it's like, well, I guess you win. Yep. Two. Uh, I'm going to go do duelist because I have, I'm pretty. Yeah, I think the duelist square is really good right now. Four, five, Pretty well set up six, on seven. at least one of them. Did you see Zoodle had miscounted the sheep eight? Yeah, I, I saw the clip. Oh my God. One, nine, three. yeah, ten, okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so what do I want to do? I really, Ooh. really, really want to do avatars. What's the what I, are the best stone sword keys to get at this point? I guess I should have bought the one from the merchant. I really, really, really want to do avatars. Can you allow me to do? Yeah, yeah, avatars? you can do avatars. I'll do duelist. Um, round table, of course. Um, there's one that's pretty accessible from Ray Lucaria, the Rampart merchant that you were right next to for the Knight's Cav has one. Yeah, um, I kind of messed up and didn't grab that grace. Oh. I don't think this guy even has one. So it's like 40 seconds to that merchant. Oh, he does. From ailing, um, whatever. So it depends on your money. Yep. Depends on what you have. Can you go backwards? You can go backwards in this, I didn't know. He did count fast, I know. I love this square. Yeah, I do like, I do like the, uh, the lightning ram square as well. Um, oh. yeah, I guess this is fine. 
Is this still the best avatar? Which? The... The Western Lyurnia one. Like, there's that, the weeping one, and then I was thinking the, uh... The other Lyurnia one. I definitely think the weeping and the... Like, North Lyurnia one, but... I'm not sure... I'm not sure about the last one. The new, like, the, oh, were you describing the north one as in, like, the rune labyrinth one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, that one for one? sure is good. The mountaintops one with the split one, Azaz? I don't think a plus 16 is going to cut it for that. Mm. A plus 16 smithing. You know what, though? Like, it actually probably does. Well, it, it depends. Do you want me to try it? I can try it. I don't mind. Because you can get double hits off on them, and you you just get double damage. Do they rot? Yep, they should. Okay, I'll try them. Is there a way to, like, an easy fire grease pickup? Uh, Storm Veil, there's one that I can think of, but... Okay. There's, like, a... There's a faster you, setup Anya, for... For this duelist skip now, right? Like, some better jump or something? Mm, I don't know which one you do, but yeah, there's. I do like, the. Some I really do like. Ones. I go on the right side, but I feel like I saw somebody go on the left side. Oh, I like the left side one a lot because you're like over the water with the right side. I'm assuming is with the one. Yeah, you did. I mean, sort of. The I left guess, side but... one is fast. Yeah, that's that's just what I thought. I do not have third church, but I could go towards third church. But yeah, I don't. I'm gonna try the mountain tops one. Okay, one. I'm kicking myself because I got really bad weeping graces, but I still think this one's better. What if the duelist in... I mean, there's... <laughs> I wonder if there would ever be some situation you kill the duelist in the snowfield one. Nah. That catacombs there, there's is There's so a watchdog bad. in there. That catacombs is so bad, Gino. You know? mm. Isn't it the one... Yeah, like, it's pretty bad. Are you saying the snowfield one? That, like... Yep. Has the clean rot night with it? Yep. Yeah, that fucking catacomb is so bad. Yep, it's pretty bad. Like, I It's almost, not that long, though. It's not long, but it's bad. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, man. Okay. I didn't get it a second time. Stop. Oh, that is insane. Oh, I survived that. I'm just curious about the mountain tops one. So I'm going to try that. But, I mean, I already did. Oh, fuck it. We're testing. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. <laughs> like, I already did the, the, the one that was kind of in question for speed. So. But I'll test it with a summer 16 or a smithing 16. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I have lightning on my weapon. I didn't I didn't even remember that I'm still fucking using this thing. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna go kill an avatar that I haven't killed in a long time. Nice GG's. I'm hopefully gonna get this other one. I wanted to save some of my money, but I have to commit some health. No, you don't. I just, I'm just going to commit a little health. I'm going to go kill uh, Miss Begotten. I Crusader. love your vote of confidence, confidence for me, though. That was really nice. Oh. Oh, but I need. Oh, I can't. Oh, I need more. Lots. I need so many stone sword keys. I know. Maybe. And maybe I have no more money because I just spent I'll it all. The best not ever. I dropped my last Does the Arise Aside team count as a catacomb? Faster. I don't know. I'll do Phallic Tree. I honestly didn't even, didn't even see that that was there. Phallic Tree Medallion. Oh, this is going to be really bad, Gino. What's, why? Aren't you fighting an avatar? Is... Yeah, I mean, the boss isn't the problem. It's the whole, like, splitting thing. Oh, 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 right. That's right. How many times would you say you fought that guy before? This one? I mean, like, probably 20... Oh, okay, okay. 40 times with randomizers. I 
I don't know what to do about him. He's so weird. Like, they just idle really weirdly. Ow. How do you, like, take care oh of both of them? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm not dead. That's so cool. I guess it probably would have been faster for me to go kill uh, Elmer than do this one, but I guess it's close. What are you doing right now? Uh, I'm doing the medallions. Okay. Crazy, like after doing so okay, many so edgy plus. Ass, dude. <laughs> what? Wait, what? After I mean, um, I, I did it first try, but like it was ass. Um, yeah, it might not be better. No, it's not. It's, if you have it's a, if you have a good weapon, it probably is because if you, if you have a plus nine. Yeah. Yeah, sure, but it was kind of butt. Um. Ba, 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 ba. I'm yeah, go what I say? It's so funny. Yeah. I've been playing so much NG plus seven. Mm -hmm. It's so funny how quickly things stagger, <laughs> like back on ba like base NG cycle, like a couple R2s and they're just on the ground. Yeah, true. Um, I'm going to check incants for incant only. Okay, I'm about to get the medallion. I'm okay. Right, at, I'm just going to the village. We really demolish this board, I'm not going to lie, but this is a super... Oh, there's black flame. Oh, my faith is so low, but there's black flame. Mm, I can make this work. Uh, for what? Oh, for uh... uh incant only. I was thinking that we could do that. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, I definitely have. I didn't realize that Avatar gave five thousand million runes. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I didn't get my fucking seal. Yeah, and, and look at the like the squares we picked as well. I like them. Like we have, you know, so many diagonal squares. It, it made sense on this one, but I think yeah. in a real match, that's gonna be definitely the play. I really liked everything I did except for the sacred flasks. Maybe, maybe. Like I'm I'll happy with my choices except ever. for that because I just spent so much time doing that. Yeah. Um, but overall, I really, really like what we did together with this board. Like, we, cre we created so much pressure. Like, I know I could try to finish that right now for the bingo, but I'm going to assume that it got stolen. Is kind of like how I'm playing that right now. Um, we're at 39 minutes right now. Yep. I gotta figure out where I can get all these stone sword keys from. Because I've, I've already used, like... I've already used four, and I want to go kill the Crusader, which is another two. I can kill the Crusader. No, I, I got it. I got enough. I love him. The forest banding bridge guy, I guess, has... I love the or, Crusader. Like, unless you want to kill the Crusader. You're robbing me of one of my favorite boss fights. Okay, sure. You, no, you no, can no. Kill you him. can do it. You can do it. I'm going to work on Incan only. And if you're already heading towards it, go for it. Okay. I'll practice it with a plus 16 later. I am curious. I feel like it'd be okay, because he, he bleeds, right? Yep. And then I have Rot, too. And then there's yep. Freeze Grease down there as well. So you can kind of just status him into Oblivion. Yeah, except mid-rolling on him is not fun. Just go light roll. Yeah. Just get naked. Yeah, you're right. That's almost always the answer is just get naked.
Podrick's great rune, huh? I'm not going for that right now, but... I mean, if you're killing Godric, you might as well. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, but I wasn't gonna go for the grace. I was just gonna rerun the section for the grace. Yeah, that's that's fine. Especially with Black Flame, although... No, that's better. That's better, because if someone's racing you to something similar, then... Yeah, I agree. And and getting the grace on the bridge isn't even faster, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree with everything you're saying. Really cool setup. Yeah, I think, I think you and I did a really good job with pressuring on this board. I have a couple of regrets with my choices, but mm -hmm. yeah, this has been good. Yeah, surely against a real person. Uh, <laughs> we would, would have been able to do all of this. Yeah, create all of this pressure in all of these places. Yeah, definitely. Not stolen. We're just so fast. that. I don't know, Gino. You know, 39 minutes to 13 squares is pretty damn good. Yeah. Granted. Yeah, what I've probably learned from this the most is that getting upgraded is really important. Is, like, I was kind of, I wasn't sure whether or not mm -hmm. getting super early upgraded was actually the best thing, but. No, I think. I, like, I think it is. Those initial no matter what. one, two squares, depending on what you're working at, and then going for the upgrades is really, really good. I agree. I do not like this plus 16 smithing, though. It's it's so underwhelming. I feel bad. <laughs> Somber is definitely still the way to go. All right. Oh, the finger is in round table. Incant only. I'm assuming Black Flame is going to destroy him. I suppose I should probably, like, give myself flasks um, and the spell. Uh, I know I saw the, the, the Morgoth snipe, but it wasn't MPT. It was, it was Dom, Domo. I'm assuming this is like a fireball that I launch. Yeah. Bly yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. It's insane. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty Although, solid. Although I do have to be, it is very FP intensive. Okay, so maybe let it burn and then you go next. That seems right. Oh. Um. Okay. It might not be. I have to charge it. Yeah. I think you should let it burn in order for this to be good. Please don't miss. The burn, the burn damage isn't that insane on it, right? Like, no, you're right. I'm like insanely fine. Dude, it's fun. What a fun incant. Hmm. All right, what is the next fastest after this one? Sorceries. No, no. Well, I... Really? Maybe. I always feel like killing squares are just faster. Fire giant. Elmer. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing Elmer right now. That was insane, you know. What a beautiful I hit list that. That was such a cool fight with that in camp. Damn. Black you were fighting Godric. Goaded, yeah. I'd be curious to know how that performs on Radon. Probably not very good though. No, it's. I mean, it's the percentage. So. Yeah. True. Oh, this is bad. Fire giant sorcery only. But yeah, oh, that's funny. so unfortunate. I'm gonna go do. Um, I'm just gonna get the great rune.
What's going on? Yep. Yeah, great rune's good. It's every time you hit him. Every time you hit him, it does percent base, but you have to, like, I think in the Radon situation, wouldn't you want the percentage to actually burn? I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to test. I will test. I'm gonna do that. Um, maybe tonight I'll do some extensive testing with all the incants again. It's been way too long. We're just doing practice boards today. Um, this is only Gino and I's second time playing together, so <laughs> we're just, uh... We're just getting a feel for it. I don't think going safe here is the move. I just made a bad choice with my health. <laughs> Very eventful listening to you play the game. Is it? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's fine. I do worry that I talk too much. So if I ever... No, 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 no. no. You're filling in for me not talking a lot when I'm doing this. I'm just simply... That's, me. That's how I am with Tom in Seamless. I, I, I'm always talking, and he just listens. <laughs> I'm doing the 20 crabs. Sounds good. I have the money as well. I could do sorceries after this. It would be a really good refresher for me. Um... Okay, I, I have like 130k right now, but... I have 64k and Godric's Great Rune, or sorry, Godric's... Well, and the Great Rune, but also the, the Remembrance. <laughs> what would you like to do, Gino? Do you well, I'm, I'm just going to do the crabs. You know what? Let me do Fire Giant with a plus 16, please. Well, <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. But, is it, like, Fire Giant's such a long run to him, though. I feel oh, like he's... Are a you, are you're still being efficient. I'm just assuming that these ones have been stolen, but yes, um... I'm just trying to do the next fastest thing. For you, for the most it part. would be the crabs and then the sorceries. For me, theoretically, you'd be finishing the flasks if they still exist. Uh, did you do Godric yet? I am on the elevator spinning in circles violently. Frog car spin, yeah. <laughs> All right, what am I doing with my life? Okay, flasks. Yeah, I honestly do not remember the best sorceries to get. Like, I guess. Selen. Yeah. Um, Tops is like very inaccessible now. So Selen with the. Oh, that's um, right. The book. Just uh, whatever east or whatever it is from her. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's where uh, Roxling normally is. There's that and Caitlyn. And then yeah. do you have any others from anything you've killed? Uh. Oh. I do not. Hmm. It's always this last, like, shit one. I love this guy box. It's very pretty. Because tops was always my, like, go-to. Yeah. The scroll. Yeah, it definitely feels him. like incantations are a lot easier to get 12 of. Yes, I agree. Well, 14. Or is it 14? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um... I don't know. Does anyone know what the next best option would be for a sorcery? That's something I have not deep dive dove. Deep dove? Deep, 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 deep. Dodge. Dived. <laughs> Divin. <laughs> Divin. <laughs> um, I'll look into that tonight with the well, new faces. I actually don't even know what the word is. It's for sure deep dove, dive, divin. Yep. Yep. 
Oh, what is the next best here? What is the next best one? There's the Kaled, but then I got a Celia skip. There is the mountaintops one, but it takes forever to get to, and there's literally nothing else over there except there is going to Fire Giant. Fuck it, we're going mountaintops for this board. I think. Bike Church. Oh, Aza's Bike Church probably is the fastest. No, it 100% is. I'm going Bike Church. I guess I'm going to kill the Draconic Sentinel because... I'm almost done. I, I need one more. What's up? Godfrey is on this board. So I might as well. Even Draconic. though I probably yeah, wouldn't yeah, yeah. normally do this. But... Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe... Do you have two Remembrances? I'll give you the best nut no. ever. I have zero. How is the okay. debate well, over Bingo Lions going? Don't do that then. Any updates from Dylan? Yeah, I just, I'm just going to do it just because I can. Oh, okay. Well, I'm definitely not going to be the person to tell you no. But like, is that really what you should? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, what I what I probably should do is sorceries at this point. Yeah, I would agree with you. Son of a biscuit, dude. Azaz, I don't know the the like fast skip to the church behind the church to prevent bike from invading me. Oh, you're going up the madness place. Why is this statue the worst thing I've ever seen? Who who buttered it? Yeah, yeah. And I wish I would have done this avatar. This would have made so much sense. Okay, put those connections together. I should have done this avatar to be close to this tier. I think that was a fine skip that I just did. I, I just made it up, so... Was that correct? Uh, I didn't hear a word you said. I was fighting mm -hmm. boss. It's okay, I was just like living for your validation and support and uh, I didn't get it, so... Oh yeah, Luin. Oh, the labyrinth is super close to Muriel as well, who sells what two yes. sorceries? Uh, I think two right off the bat. Yeah, and they're expensive as crap. So how do I make it so that Vike doesn't invade me? Can someone teach me this right now? Since I'm you here. go up the right side and you just jump on one of the rock walls. Okay, go up the right side and jump up the rock wall. I see. Okay. Like yeah, if you hug the right side until you get to the wall before the church, you shouldn't invade, and then. Okay. Yeah, and then it's the wall right oh, before see. the church. I see. I think I can. But is that is that really like one of the faster ones to get? I guess. With this board, if I would have done that avatar, yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, I did it. Thank you. That was helpful. You give such good instructions that I don't even yeah. have to see it. That's really good. Of course. Okay, seven. And then um. You are free. I would say if you find I'll go do Redon. In which case to get okay. the finger slayer. I can try to do well you have sorcery, so you would do sorcery only. Yeah, I'm and doing you sorcery have intelligence right now. from steeple. Yep. What did you get for sorceries? What'd you say? Which sorceries do you have? I have the ones from Muriel, that's it. I'm going to kill the pumpkin head well, right now. Which I have nothing good right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I, I have Starlight okay. and I have Tibia Summons. Literally trash. <laughs> yeah, got it. Yeah, there's no way this gets me to 12, right? Like, Selen has how many? Like, eight? And then the Tome has, what, two? I, you know, it's funny when people ask me questions when they're playing, I can answer them. But when I'm playing, I don't know. Um, I think Selen starts with a base of six. And then when you give her the scroll, it goes up to eight. Oh my goodness. Eight, ten. For, all hit run. Eight to ten. I can't believe you've gotten hit so much. I'm just trying to buff my weapon. The pumpkin head wanted no part of that. I'm sure. Oh yeah, my lightning my lightning flamberge. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's Radon's lightning resistance? 
Mm, I actually have no idea, but I'm sure it's <laughs> not crazy. <laughs> okay. Split damage. Woohoo! Well, how, why, why is it lightning? I might have rammed and forgot to unram. Oh. And you put <laughs> you infused with lightning too? I panicked and I clicked the first button that was available. Lightning is usually good on things. Yeah. I like the effect too. Yeah, I thought the Sorcery Scrolls added the two. I it's I need to look at my notes. Or just redo all my notes. I really want to do redo all of them with the graces. I'll work on it tonight, Gino, and I'll send you the stuff. Okay. All right, where do I get the last sorceries from? So you got Muriel's, you got Selen's. Did you get the scroll next to Selen? Yeah, I just grabbed it now. So you're I'm talking at, to Selen. You're at 10, correct? Well, I'm not sure yet. I have to buy them. Yeah, I'll do that. Maybe, like, Bridgman, maybe, I'll do that um, when I'll be the best not ever. But yeah, I'm on at my 10. own time, I, I just want to kill him as fast as possible right now. Is what I want to do. Um, nice one. That's definitely the way to do it. Does round table sell okay, any? Okay, damage is fine. Huh? I feel like they don't. Oh, disaster. Does round table sell what? Any sorceries? No. So meteor in Kaelin. The rock sling. Yeah, yeah. Nice was the last one. one. Oh my god, dude. What was that entire play that I just made? And no, I'm testing like when it's not time maybe, sensitive, maybe I suppose. I'll give you the best. Finger Slayer Blade ever. is crap on this board, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't have access to the three scrolls easily. Unfortunately. Like there's none of us have been near those things. Maybe Gowery would be the next best one, then? But don't you have to... Oh, yeah, I guess I have killed the boss already. Do you have to kill the boss first for him? Mm, it's been so long since I've done it, I don't know the answer. Gino chat, you, you called yourself very knowledgeable? I never said now that. Now is your time to shine? Um, well, I don't know. I just have no idea what the next best one would be to go for here. Because, like, yeah, Fops has the scroll and stuff next to him, but. But he's, like, super far to get to. Yeah. Honestly, though, might be worth. Yeah. There's got to be more options than just that, though. I mean... No, for sure. I just haven't re-mapped like mapped it based off of our isolations. Cause oh, Tops always and just Celia. Felt, like... Yeah, Night Comet. Forgot about that one. Which one? The uh, Night Comet. Mm-hmm. I think, right? In the, in the, yeah, in the, the, the gate, right? That's what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember which. I think it's I the, far, the far back think, one that opens it, right? Yeah, I believe so. The far back one that isn't next to, like, where you jump from the Golden Sea, essentially. There we go. Music was driving me insane. Brutal timing on that sneeze right there. You sneezed? What happened? Well, I just I just sneezed in a bad time. Oh. Should I go try Fire Giant? No, I hate that square. Fudge that square. I mean, I could do gold free. Do I even remember where this is? Should be here. Did oh, it's not this one. Death? Did you huh? kill Draconic Tree Sentinel? Yeah, I did. Why? 
Because I because I wanted to fight him. It's so far out of the way and you had no remembrances. No, yeah, I can get him quick. Well, I'm going there right now. I have to. If you... If you... I guess technically you could kill Millennia as a great rune boss, right? Yes, you can. <laughs> so that is what I would do for sure. I would kill Millennia and like Redan or something. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Well, it's, that's just the fastest, isn't it? Yeah, technically with your build, like, yeah. Like, I've got nothing, oh. so... Can you get up here like this? Surely. Surely I can get up. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Do, 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 do. Sorry. I... Sorry. <laughs> I, I will refrain from singing to you in your chat. Okay. Thank you. You're far singer than I am so um so I guess I'll what's the what's the best staff to get oh I guess the meteorite staff I should have grabbed that yeah I would have grabbed that if you grabbed that sorcery one. oh and I guess I, I'm not even guaranteed to be able to wield this easily be no, like, but you do have 22 intelligence, so you should be pretty set for any of the early ones. Well, if I get a Zers or if I get... No, they're not. They're not randomized. So oh. they didn't. They didn't randomize the salves. That's actually oh, a really good oh, question. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they, they we were running into issues where we couldn't wield them, and it's just like another point of frustration when right. sorceries are already an issue. Yeah, that's Why true. Why add yeah. another layer of complexity? That's kind of unnecessary. All right, what spells do I have? I think I should kill kill Redown with them, or what? If you did not go into Stormville, maybe. I've Ice Crag. Like, ooh, then maybe. That's it. <laughs> That's not really all I've got. Mm. Got a great bubble. Mm. You could try Redon with it. I don't. I don't. Oh shoot. Okay. Well. More about what's FP efficient. Yes. And I have Gavel of Ima. Is that good? Doesn't look like it. Mm, no, not for Redon. If that's what you're thinking. Goodstone Comma Shard. All right, I guess I'll try this. I, I don't really have a lot of God flasks speed. either, though. But Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, you're going to want... Like, I have six. Almost all of them require six or more. Oof. Okay, well. I'm going to see what happens. This is one of those things that probably I'd want to test first. No, I agree. Um, if cheeses are banned, DTS cheese will not be allowed, no. Honestly, like, the fight that I just had with DTS is probably even faster than the cheese, like... Oh, with your plus nine, 100%. Yeah, yeah he just dies very fast. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe it's not faster, but it's probably about the same. Bad no slicer. Um, I'm actually pro I'm probably not gonna have enough flasks here to kill him. There's almost no way. No, not Radon. I'm still gonna try it though. Okay. I do have frostbite. God, I don't know the tracking on you know his underswipe. Um, his underswipe into the big slam. Yeah. DTS. Um, maybe. Yeah, no, I, I, when he's have, buffed mm -hmm. in uh, second phase and he does his like scoop into so like the scoop has a wave with it and oh then, yeah 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 like his special attack yeah yeah and then he slams like the really delayed with massive AOE. Yep. Um, I don't know how to dodge that. Is it just best to stay in the center of the hitbox? 
and just, just roll? Because I, I want to jump it, but jumping does not seem... No, just dodge. Just dodge it. Okay, just roll. Okay. Like just dodge through, I would say. I, I agree. Like, dodge through the or, center of impact. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or if you're... You could just strafe it if you go to his shield side. There's if The hitbox does not reach over there? As If your positioning is good, it doesn't. But I, I think just roll through is the most... Like, usually, you're not going to be on that side anyways. Okay. But if you're fighting him, so... I recently figured out how to fight him, like, just on the hammer side. Because I always fought him on the shield side, which was definitely worse. Um, really? Oh, yeah. Because I recently transitioned to fighting the shield side. No, shield side's definitely worse. Like, no doubt. Okay. Just but, punish opportunities and yeah, so, he has a tendency to run away. Yeah, he, yeah exactly. But okay. if you're on the weapon side and you stay close range... Um, usually before he does that move, he'll do a sidestep. Mm. And then when okay. he does that sidestep, then you could run around to his, his left, your right side. Okay. And, uh, then you can strafe, but. Okay. Surely this is enough FP. I guess technically... I'm already committing to this way. Thanks, Shite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First try capital skip in a long time. Oh, you're already in there. Yeah, I'm going gold free. Oh, you wanted fire drive. It made more sense for me to do gold free. Because I already had the remembrances, and you do not. So I made the executive decision of going here. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> how are you doing? I don't know how I just dodged an attack, but I did. <laughs> I'm trying to do everything with like lower vigor than I typically would do, just because like I feel like I just use it as a safety net and I don't think I actually need it. So I've only given myself, I think like 25. I just, I would prefer to practice that way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at 25 right now, and it's really comfy. You survive. Well, I mean, I have really good armor as well, but... No. No? Okay. I've whiffed some sh some shots. Man, I cannot believe you. I think I have enough. Still Ice Craig? Yep, yep. I've got three, fla three flasks, a full FP bar, and he's over halfway killed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. I love Ice Craig. I think it might be my favorite sorcery. I don't know if it's mine. I feel like it doesn't have enough range to be. Oh my sure. god. Sure. I'm always a big fan of, of frost, though. Like, I've always really liked any any frost weapons, attacks, etc. Yeah. And then combine that with freaking lightning, and yeah, it's my favorite thing. Wait, for Ice Craig? No, I'm saying in general. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> for my preferences. Yeah, it's very good, Ranson. I think it was like when I did my sorcery only and I did Riker. I think I had to do a. I, I did like a combination of like Rock Sling and Ice Craig for the staggers and the frost. Yeah, I don't think that just did anything for me. I do, I do feel like this was probably faster than Godric. I think so. But maybe not by much. It's, it's tough because Godric would have died so quickly. Yeah. Well. Yeah, the Ice Craig honestly wasn't bad, though. I grabbed the Meteorite Staff and... Yeah, wasn't bad at all. Yeah. All right, I guess I'm going to fire giant. Okay, gold freeze almost done. He's Too bad good. there's not like a better way to get across the fire giant like, from where the avatar is or something. I agree. I'm going to go to finger slayer now. You don't want to do the plus or the 10 flask? 
Whoa, 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 what'd you say? Oh yeah, that's my favorite square ever. I love that one. Yeah, but it's but it is definitely faster. I, no, though. I would agree. I would agree. I'll grab a I'll, I'll grab a second grace and then I'll go. Oh wait, how many one. do I have? I have six. I have six as well, which means that I need two, two, three, three, ten. That's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Gino, don't make me do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> It'll be a good reminder. Uh. <laughs> how how long did it take us to finish 13? Because I feel like we started quick, but 39 then... 39 minutes. It was very fast. But then, yeah, it's, it, it slows is without down a lot. Maybe, fastest, maybe but I... I'll give you the best nut ever. Yes. It was very fast to get 13. Now, you know, half of those would be stolen, but... No, less than half. Surely. Surely. I played pretty clean this match. I did die to something. Oh, Radon, right in the beginning. It was really stupid. Mm. It's really annoying, actually. Is this Boards of Canada? No. It is funny how you say, you sound a lot more Canadian than I do. I get that a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like you, yeah, you the, really you really don't have too much of a thick accent. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. But it's really the it's the O's that that do I know. It. Like, oh. like in my opinion. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, I do. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm gonna work on my speech so that... No, 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 no. No, I gotta work on mine so I actually sound like where I'm from. You do. Have a little pride. <laughs> it, it, it is weird, though, when people say they can hear my Canadian accent or something, but... I think they're just... I don't know. They're just wrong. <laughs> there are certain things I think I can hear for you, but not mm -hmm. many. Yeah, may maybe a little bit. We're going to be relatively equivalent on the Finger Slayer. Um, How did the Misbegotten Crusader go? You I just really lost them. Oh, I see. Okay. I mean, Steeple is so good. Like, Great Swords are so freaking good against the Misbegotten. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, I pull the classic, which is what I do literally every time in bingo, which is reallocate my flask for some square and then don't reallocate back. Yes. Yep, same. I, did I the do same that thing. literally every time. Yep. It's very good. So now I'm, I am fighting Fire Giant and I have zero heals. That's okay. You don't need them. Yeah, I don't need them. Yeah, you're fine. Really, I don't need them. I have fought this guy a bit too much, probably. Oh, like the time when you were like spamming the Blessed Dew Talisman over and over again and, you know, using your fist for like five hours straight to kill him? That one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Classic stump. Did you get stumped? Well, you just, I don't know, the arena's so bad. I i think most things on this board, I'm gonna push for 25 vigor. Like, unless I'm doing snowfield stuff, I survived almost everything that I needed to with 25. So. I think that's my new, my new number. I think Noble too, like Godskin Noble, you, you, you'll you survive an aggressive pope with, with oh. Oh. Watch out for that fireball. No, it wasn't a fireball, it was uh, the AoE. Oh boy. Watch out for that fire breath attack. I hate when that bounces. Simply don't get it. 
I don't know. I can't tell if you're being funny or if like there is actually way to. Uh, yeah, there's not really. Avoid way. it. Okay. <laughs> Thought you were about to drop like a, a knowledge nugget. No, you can. You can. Like if so, basically, if you. Oh. If you stay on him when he rolls away. Then I definitely feel like it reduces the amount that you get, but I've 100% gotten close range regardless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't feel like there was a way to. Nice. Okay, so which one are you doing? I'm going to let you guess. Insane sneeze that didn't happen. <laughs> I thought you were laughing. No, I was I heard, not I, laughing. I, I was. I heard you cut out. <laughs> no. Well, I I have no idea what you're doing. Okay. I I'm going for finger slayer, I guess. Okay, sounds good. Is that the same one you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well then. <laughs> we're equivalent fine. on flasks. You're wait. You're what? We're equivalent on flasks, and I have much more forward progress sure. on Finger Slayer than you. Yep, yep, that's fair. Bless Chino. He said he didn't sneeze. I can't bless him if he didn't sneeze. That's like, that's, that's anti what you want. He gets like seven years bad luck if I do that. Um, I can't remember if I skipped a bunch of the outskirts seeds or not. I'm pretty sure I did. What direction would you have gone to DTS from? No, I went from there. I just didn't pick them up because it's slow. <laughs> I and I didn't think I needed them. Because you thought I was going to do it. No, cause, just because, I don't know. Man, the collector role really, I, I really am destined for it, aren't I? <laughs> no. No, no, no. I'm collecting right now. I killed the double avatar and it was not easy. You just got so, two tears from that one, right? I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I, I will check for you after. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think the only one you get three from in the game is the... No, the... Is the East, yeah. Northeast Learning guy. Sure. Oh, one of those. Wow. It's very interesting. Okay, so I need. Um, How many do I need again? Six. I see it goes, it goes one, one, two, two, three, three. Ten. You're at six. You need ten. Two, two, three, three. Sorry, that was like really abrupt. I <laughs> I was killing Loretta, so my my brain autopiloted the answer for you. No, it was the right answer though. Mm -hmm. But it was aggressive. I need five more. The problem is I actually have no idea which ones I skipped. Probably I should just pick them up regardless. I would I would just go because that's your your biggest bang for your buck currently. Outer wall. And then um, and then and then have fun with the rest of them. I guess there's foot of the forge. Do you do you also see those squares and your brain just shuts off because you're like ugh. Yeah, like especially okay. maybe not the, the flask that, ones. We both the have the ones, same response. The flask ones I don't find too bad, but it's it's the the spell collection. Like those ones. No, I'm like that for almost all of the collection squares. So that is going to be my focus. Is I am going to get better at that, and I'm not going to like immediately disregard them on the board because that's what I do right now. It's just like. Hmm. Well, they should be disregarded for the most part because <laughs> there's there's like never really synergy with them. <laughs> And you're not helping, you know. 
and they're slow. So they should always be last, probably. Okay. All right, going to Finger Slayer Blade. Mm, yeah, I should have just used the list. Um, I have been running around with a copious amount of runes this entire game. Yeah, I basically never level up. Like people, the it's other day, people were getting really mad because I was I was just walking around with 300k the whole game. And I okay. guess right now well, I have 250k. I use something similar. I'm like 150 right now, but like maybe we could do like not 300k. Maybe you could like like use them like a little, like a little usage. No, like, I don't it, need them though. There, there's no point. The it takes a long time to, to level those. up. True. And I'd rather just save them for having like runes in case I got to buy something or whatever. Because you really, I mean, don't feel like you ever really need to upgrade your damage too much, right? Yeah. You're right. I'm not going to argue with you. I, 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 I think you have a point. <gasps> okay. Well, it depends what you're doing. I would agree. Like, it's more about upgrading the weapon and then getting a ton of vigor. I think. Cool. Yes, sure. Yes. I didn't hear what you said, but yes, Gino. Yes. Yeah. What'd you say, though? Well, it's getting the stats for your weapon, making sure it's upgraded, and then yep. vigor. Yes. And then that's yes. it. A hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. So I have, I need two more. Um... Yeah, it would have been a lot faster had I grabbed these on the way. I was muted and I was criticizing you and that's good that I was muted that whole time. So what would you say? You don't. I, I'm not going to repeat it. I don't think. Someone will tell me. <laughs> I just love that the one moment that I try to criticize you, I was muted. So I think it's the universe telling me to not say it. Well, what, what was the I, criticism? Like, uh, you, you're really not going to... you shouldn't have done DTS. We should have had a conversation, and we should oh, have well, recognized Oh, obviously, I knew I... I shouldn't have done DTS. I said I'd, okay. I'll do it because I want to. Oh, okay, then that's fine. Yeah, obviously, yeah. I wouldn't have actually done that. Okay. Whatever brings you joy. I have a question. If you quit out at Finger Slayer Blade Skip, is it still faster than going around? It has to be. Oh, yeah. Like, you mean if you miss it? Well, 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 I mean, theoretically, sure, but like to set it up because I don't like. Um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's still faster for sure. But... OK, and I, I don't have ER tool on, so I had the load screen, but. OK, okay. got it. I think I have the lineup back and I'm about to grab the blade and I'm going to do it in a way that makes Gino proud. I'm just fighting Millennia. Oh, I see. I'm gonna beat you to the Finger Slayer Blade, surely. Jeez, dude, 125. 125! Pretty good for this board, I think. Pretty decent. Yeah, it seems not bad. Mm -hmm. Not sure if that's our fastest so far. It's definitely our fastest Blackout. It was a very fast 13. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Our, our 13 was very fast. So. I really like the board developments for this board. And like, obviously we both said this already, but it wouldn't have happened that way, but I feel like we created really good pressure in many directions, which was really nice. 
But we also need to be willing to pull the trigger to also push that as well. So you don't think that you would want to force a bingo unless it's more points? Yeah, two two is just kind of low. Sure. Uh, I would say. I, I so really so like it depends the... on the bingo in that case. Sure. Yeah. 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 Of course. Someone said that they really like Team Gino Machino for the memes. No. I don't. No, I, I, I don't want to do that either. It's just going to feed into the fucking comments that I'm already getting, so. Yeah, I don't think we need that. No, I agree. We're gonna do Brino Machino. I think I think that's what we're gonna settle on. Also, unless you can tonight. think of something else. Moose. Sure. Like I, I like I said, Team I really Moose. do not care. It seems so. like most people want Brino Machino. And I had literal oh. threats coming from your oh chat God. saying that if I do not name the team Brino Machino, they are going to boycott me. Really? And so now I have fear. That's pretty intense. I know. Can you control them, please? I can't. It's not my <laughs> yours, it's yours. No, they literally said, hi, I'm from Gino Stream. And if nah, you do that's not name, such a lie. it was something along those lines. Your strength, extraordinary. The mark of a true lord. Okay. Well, that was decent. Yeah, no, that was really good. I'm I'm super happy with uh, the second board. I still think like that that plus nine is so powerful. I plus sixteen is very underwhelming. I you know what? I think if if anything, we should do team blueberry brioche. I think that's what our team's name should be. Well, instead of like just go against the whole. Yeah, I think that'd be funnier. The whole narrative of Gino doesn't need a teammate. Yeah. So then we'll just spin it. <laughs> That would actually be kind of funny. Yeah, but I think. No, I, no, I like. I no, like yeah, yeah, people. no, no, no. I, I'm voting for that name. No. No, I, I please, in fact, I'm no. locking it in. No. I, it's un, It's no, not up for debate. Please. It is though. Please, we we can be civil about this. No. And by civil, no, I've I mean, already forced I will, it. I cannot, I've already typed it in the Discord. It. I've already no, added it to the it. website. You never posted once in that Discord. There's literally no way. You've ever posted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. That should actually be our name, though. I think. Okay, I was just. I'm, I'm to simply. Sure I'm gonna in. simply drop out if it's anything other than that. Please don't do that. Yeah. I actually had a dream that you dropped out the other night. <laughs> and then I and then I had to like play by myself, and it was it was actually it wasn't. A you dream, had a dream a about <laughs> Elden Ring Bingo. Yeah, it's begun. <laughs> Probably not the only one. I've had two other ones during okay. the other season yeah have you um don't think so oh well get on it no i don't i don't need are you a dreamer? dreams do you have dreams uh sometimes yeah do you remember them sometimes yeah are you a good dreamer or are you like an anxiety dreamer um well m my most recurring dream is relating to mm. doing pull-ups <laughs> so okay. i would say not really anxiety okay. all right got it i've literally had so many dreams where i'm doing like muscle ups and one arm pull-ups and stuff what it's insane fuck you know yeah <laughs> actual giga chad all right i want i'm curious i'm in uh the misbegotten crusader i want to see what this plus 16 is like oops Yeah, those, um, those are, that's definitely, <laughs> that's definitely my most common dream at this point. Like, at least recently. Wow. Yep. What's that say about you? Um, I don't know. It probably just means that I Work like out? doing it, I guess. That's not a bad thing. Nope. I do have, I, I have had another dream a few times where I'm like back in, now this isn't an anxiety dream where I'm like back in, uh. College. 
Yeah, back in yeah. like university or something. And I, this is what happens every time. I have an exam for a class that I've never gone to. <laughs> oh, n yeah, I've had those before. I had, because I had a college that, dream the yeah. other day. It was really yeah. weird. And for no the reason. thing is, I've done that numerous times. So it's basically one for one. You've, 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 you're oh, saying yeah. you had the dream numerous times or you've no, done no, that? No, no, like I've done it and had the dream, yeah. You had that in real life, Gino. Yep, Where like a week you... before, never been, basically, except for tests or something. Okay, well, now yep, I get it. that's a classic. Yeah, I'm, huh? I, I have anxiety speaking to you about this currently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I just destroyed that Misbegotten Crusader. That was hilarious. That was a really yeah, good pretty fight. pretty weak. I mean, it was a long fight, but oh. it was reasonable with the plus six team. And the what great weapon did you have again? Flamberge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, any great sword really is. Yeah. So. What about Brino Mabrino? <laughs> okay. No, I'm I'm locked in on the name. No, it's why why be... don't you like that though? Oh, Isn't sorry that good? Sorry if you hear Peach. I don't know why she's barking. She doesn't normally bark. Um. I can't even hear. Okay, good. Um, because it's not about me. It's a team effort, and I like that you would be recognized as well. Can we please be Brino Machino? No. Please. <laughs> Why are you asking like that? I don't know, because I feel don't, like don't I have talk like to. That. Okay, I won't talk like that. Can we please be Brino Machino? Would <sighs> we? Why now? I, you know, I was going to say yes until <laughs> I just heard that. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, think of, I'll think of something then. Okay, think of... I'm sure there can be a much better name. Think of something that you would like and please make it that it would involve you. I would I would like that. Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, Brie plus one team name. Brie plus one. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. God dang it, these are funny. Uh yeah, we'll see. But um yeah, I think today was really good. Second board was much better for me. Sorry about the first one, but I mean I learned important well, things. We I um, mean this was a slower board, I think, overall, even though we finished it faster. But I, th I think, um, what was I saying? I have no idea. I don't know. I have no idea either. Good job, team. Thank you. Oh, no, I, no, I think, yeah, I think this was just a slower board than the first one. But, like, just all the later game squares. And I don't mm -hmm. know. I think if there we was, played. There was, like, not a lot of synergy on this board. It just was kind of yeah. random tasks. Go do it, essentially. So. Yep. It just felt like I was constantly just going somewhere else, which wasn't a uh, terrible, but yeah, just lots of killing. That's why I was slow. So. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I'm happy. I think we played well. Um, but yeah, we'll set up something. I mean, we can just do offline practice too if you want to do board yeah. tonight or something. Yep. But um, otherwise, we can do like maybe once a week, or if you want to do more, of course, we can do more. But I, a reminder that next week I am gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I won't be around for yep, that. Okay. So sure. if we wanted to do a different day during the week, that would be fine. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I will look into a couple of the things that we had questions about today and that I really need to refresh my mind on, and then we can, uh, I'll just send you a list, okay? <laughs> okay, sure. Okay. Any critiques for me? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think, I don't think we need to take this too seriously, like. No, I, I so... agree. I'm, I'm just kind of chilling, like, I don't, I <laughs> I don't really care if we win or we lose. I just want to... Yeah, so like... I just want to feel like I have mm -hmm. had fun with it for yeah. the effort I put in. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Like, so yeah. I'm basically... I'm just saying, like, if you make a mistake, or I guess if I make a mistake also, like... No, it's for not you, a I, I'm not going to get, like, angry or something. No, no. So. And I said that about you. I was talking about you the other day, saying that, like, you Whoa. always are very composed and level-headed. And mm. I, like, have rarely seen you actually have any type of um <laughs> name one time like what uh bingo. name one time because you said bingo. rarely which means it's the happened. only time i've ever seen you um flustered i would use the uh. word flustered because you weren't upset you were not mad um mm. you were not upset in any way but you were flustered and i said the only time i ever remember seeing him like that was i think it was your first match of bingo 
Oh, um, uh, well. But yeah. I think it was just because, like, I mean, you had gone in and it was something entirely new. You still won. Um, you did great. But the Breegees, the Breegees is kind of funny. I thought you were going to say there, that time where huh? I got hit on Demon Princes when I was doing uh, level that, 1 plus 0. was bad. And I, like, instantly ended my you stream. You instantly ended, yeah. That, that was, was the only time I can think of where I've been. I, I think I messaged you. I would have to go back and dig, but I'm fairly <laughs> certain I messaged you, like, you okay? Like, I'm sorry. That's awful. And then I fucking missed the run! But it's fine, because I'm not yeah. holding that. I don't remember, actually, that um, I missed it. I yeah. just was reminded Classic. right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Um, thank you for your time. I appreciate yep, it. Thanks. And, uh, yep, I'll message you later. Yep, sounds good. Okay, goodbye. All right, see ya. Okay, well, that was that was, um, that was was pretty good, dude. I, I feel like I... Uh, I'm getting back into the bingo... The bingo mindset, dude. And it's it's still weird playing where bingo is not the main goal. But at least it's a big factor now. And the way we played that game, like the squares that we were getting, 100% would be very forceful, right? Like setting up one square away from bingo and all that stuff. Which is, we're going to want to do that. Especially if bingo is worth like four points or something, but... I'm going to end for today, guys. Uh, I, I honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to be on tomorrow because um, I'm, I'm not feeling so great, but it's, it's fine. We'll see. Might just simply play Minecraft all day tomorrow, dude, or practice Master Run or something. I don't know. We shall see. Uh, but yeah, no, I think I think if we played how we played in this game, we probably do pretty well. Like, maybe we don't win every match, but we probably do pretty well. And and we, at least, like, I, I think um, we could work on the strategy part a bit, but when it comes to actually execution on the squares, I, I feel very confident that I'm decent at executing things. And I, I don't need to go, like, time everything. I don't... I don't know. I played the game a lot. I probably played the game more than... I wonder if I have the most hours out of anybody in Elden Ring Bingo. It's certainly a possibility. I don't know. But yeah, I've, I play the game a lot, so I feel pretty good about my execution on stuff. Like, even just random bosses to no-hit them, like, no problem, dude. Like, Worm Face or whatever, so. Uh, I've, like, I've around 3k hours in the game. Which is quite a bit. Like, in terms of PvE hours, I'm probably getting, like, nearly up to my DS3 amounts. Because, like I said, I have about, I have over 5k hours in DS3, but probably around 1,500 of that is PvP. And so, meaning that, you know, roughly 36 or so hundred, maybe 37 are PvE. And so, I'm getting there, dude. Uh, but yeah, so if, if I do stream tomorrow, we'll probably just, like, maybe I will, I'll, pro I'll probably stream tomorrow, dude, but maybe just shorter. Um... We will do the, what do you call it? The the nightmare run, dude. Finish that up because we, we killed Millennia. I actually didn't, I wasn't intending on killing Millennia, but we did before we started the bingo today. And it was, it was a quick kill. I have to go see how long it was, but there's no way it was more than like 12 minutes. Very quick. Um, and, uh. And so yeah, all we got to do is kill Gideon next. We I I already we just skipped Godskin duo. And yeah, we'll continue that. But uh, go set a K Woody, you guys. He's doing Final Fantasy VII: The Rebirth. I haven't played any Final Fantasy game, but or actually I played I think fourteen for like ten hours, maybe. Not a large amount of time, but yeah, go set a K Dub, you guys. I will probably be back on tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then.